Yeah, that that's the Rainbow Road one. Yeah. And then the the, the break breaking kitchen is probably my favorite. Maybe, maybe that's why they came back, is people just started like making breaking bad edits for some reason. We were wondering why you weren't getting any lambs. Yeah. Well, chat. It's time to follow in the footsteps of Claiborne. Say hi, YouTube. I forgot last time, so. In your current fort, you had three boars that were unable to reproduce. Yeah, it's why I always bring two males. <laughs> always bring two males, because they might just want to screw each other. Got to at least keep them happy. For real this time. Hi, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Um, before, before we get started, uh, I, I just want to say real, real thank you to everybody who's bought merch. And, uh, the reason I want to say that is we are, um, a total of, uh, one sale, one, uh, away from selling 100 individual orders of merchandise over on the store of Blind IRL, uh, which can be found in the description of the YouTube videos and also by typing in exclamation point merch in the chat. We have stickers, we have mug, we have two shirts, and there's uh, two more shirts coming soon, TM. So, let's play some dwarves. Um, now that streamers ad segment for streamers stuff is out of the way, um, we started up a new fortress yesterday. Yeah, somebody had one arrive broken, but uh, seemed we're, we're, we're getting it sorted, so um, which is unfortunate. Mugs can break in shipping pretty easily, unfortunately. But anyway, um, Water Lungs is the fortress that we started up. Uh, it is, for those of you who missed it yesterday, it is uh, half Untamed Wilds and half Terrifying, which means we have giant walrus, giant um, uh, penguins, um, and various other crazy giant uh, sea creatures spawning. But we also have... Um, giant undead eagles we've had we've had undead reindeer we had giant undead bull moose giant puffins and we caught one of the puffins and it's poorly trained but we we have it and it's very angry because it's trapped and uh, most recently uh we just caught not one not two but three goblins and uh, it appears that our good friend Claiborne is throwing out a vile force of mug to the chat. So if you would like to win a vile force of mug, type an exclamation point enter in the chat. And uh, uh, Salty Tempest is a poor trainer. So we're going to run through some dwarves. We're going to read some dwarves descriptions. We're going to do a brief fort tour. And then uh, we are going to um, turn on like dwarf redemptions and such. Now keep in mind, um, this fort is resurrecting. So anything that dies... Uh, may come back to life. Um, I've tried to make it a pretty layout, and so far I'm quite happy with it. I, I think it's it's starting off quite nicely. Um, we've got this lower layer here, which um, is currently draining, and the reason it's currently draining is um, uh, Catan's undead corpse is here, and uh, Rakust's uh, dead. Uh, so I'm currently draining it. I've built a wall here to drain it. So it, it's going to start draining, and it'll it'll drain hopefully quicker rather than slower. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to, like, redirect around it. So we'll, 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 we'll figure it out. I'm not, I'm not too worried. But um, regardless, I uh, <laughs> had to um, make some adjustments, or I'm having to make some adjustments to this because uh, it's suboptimal. So I'm not exactly thrilled about that. Um, Soul Shinery, congratulations on winning the mug. Just click on that and confirm your Twitch account, and you'll have to pay a small portion of the shipping, but I will cover part of the shipping, and uh, you get yourself a mug. So uh, we did have some dwarves die. We're up to 53, um, and I have two petitions that I need to complete. I got to make a Farmer's Guild, and I've got to make a, uh, a Temple for the Walled Coven. Uh, we are currently making this into the temple for the Wald Coven, which has already been um, assigned. And I just need to set this as long-term residence only. We need to get it up to 6,000 uh, dwarf bucks because I am playing with hard economy on. And this down here is going to be the Farmer's Guild. So that, that's going to need some work. And so is this. Uh, this is our giant puffin. We probably need to name 
soonish. Um, and then over here is is the tavern. Uh, we've got the hospital, which currently has uh, Linux Town and um, Iden and Dumat all like getting tended to. Well, not all of them. Um, but Dumat is getting tended to, I think. Yeah, because seriously injured. Um, because a fight broke out and some zombies got rezzed and things happened. Uh, over here is where the military is training. Quite happy with how this room looks. And uh, we've got just like stuff kind of everywhere right now. It's a bit of a mess. But we're working on things. So um, hopefully sooner rather than later, we will be able to get things um, sorted generally. Um, and thank you very much, Claiborne, for gifting out a mug. Uh, does the reanimation effect apply to the whole map or just a terrifying biome? Uh, just a terrifying biome. So if you happen to die in this corner, uh, you're fine. Uh, if you die anywhere else in the center, you're reanimated. If you die over top of the ocean, you shouldn't be reanimated. So anything, ex anything on like this half of the map with the ocean on it, that's this whole... Actually, it's way easier to show an ASCII, so I'll just show you an ASCII. Uh, everything on this side. So everything where the ocean starts, things won't be resurrected. And everything up here um, in these tiny, tiny corner bits at the edge where the, uh, you know, this stuff here is, uh, it shouldn't. And all of this yellow is uh, fetid slush. It's raining schnot, which is gross. Is that a frozen ocean? Yes, and it doesn't thaw because it, we are very far north. Um, we are all the way up here. We're right on the edge of this haunted glacier. Who will have access to the shipping address? Theoretically, I can see it if I request to see it. That's it. But I won't, because I have no reason to. And then if you request a return or something, then fourth wall can see it. It's like buying anything from Shopify, essentially, because they I think they use Shopify as their back end. Beware the water buffalo hair coming back to life. Everybody keeps saying that, but... So, hair used to not be mangleable. In order to stop things from coming back to life, it had to be mangleable. But hair is now mangleable, so it's no longer an issue. Also, can I just say that mangleable is a word I, that is way harder to say than it should be. Um, a devilish potato is alive in the fortress. Aegis is alive in the fortress. Bastet's alive in the fortress. Uh, devilish potato, you are pissed. Uh, we're trying to sort you out, though. Um, bunch of rocks is alive. Cilantro gamer, Claiborne, ear, uh, earless old Zwari, Joe True, uh, Lightning, Roger, Linux Town, Lyagushka, and Salty Tempest, Stilonitis, and are all the living dwarves in this fort. Um, we should check in with earless old Zwari, who's the expedition leader, is currently hauling two plump helmets. Um, he, uh, he, he never feels, fails to seek out the most dangerous and even stressful situations after experiencing trauma in uh, 250. And uh, Jornelius, thank you very much for the second month. Mildly surprised that you're alive? Why are you mildly surprised? Not that much has happened. We've only lost like three or four dwarves. Uh, Aegis is still a legendary miner, and you're in love with Asob. Um... You're impervious to the effects of stress, actually, after being caught in, freak, caught in freakish weather in 250, but you dislike abstract discussions, and you would uh, much rather focus on practical examples. Uh, I have it disabled permanently, Blood Odin. And I'm going to have it disabled permanently until I can zoom in, because I unfortunately can't play the ASCII. I might actually just delete it, because I can't play the ASCII without being able to zoom in. She is too small! Everybody's surprised that they're still alive. Um, Aegis, you still dream of raising a family, but uh, you've had quite a bit of stress. Um, as far as bedrooms go, how many dwarves still need bedrooms? Quite a few. Okay, so we're, we're going to focus on getting these requ these petitions done, and uh, then after getting the petitions done, we're going to start focusing on other things. Yes. That. So. And, um, Tire Asylum. 
What kind of dwarf would you like? Where is Orange's dwarf? Orange doesn't have a dwarf. But maybe we should give Orange a dwarf. No, not currently, BWS. Someone was saying they were able to change the font, though. No, this is a hospital, right? Right in the middle of the screen. Uh, we have a hospital with an artifact bucket in it, actually, which is a, a gray chalistoni bucket. A gem bucket. It's a fancy bucket. And, um... Bearded miner or metal worker of some variety, if available. And my only... Uh, what's it called? Armorer is taken, but, um... You could have id software the miner who's not totally horrifically mad and i could um give him mining when building an above ground fort do you make a do you make a shallow temp fort I don't know what you mean by shallow temp. Please define shallow temp. Um, no, probably not. Because <laughs> I, I don't have... Uh, like, do you mean like cool temps? Um, no. Oh, a shallow temporary fort. Oh, I... Under okay, so I thought you meant like shallow temperature as in like low, low temperature. Uh, because temperature is processor. <laughs> um, I guess it depends on the design. I have. Usually it's like one layer down, like one or two layers down, I'll just place a bunch of dormitories until I get bedrooms set up. Um, you have put a thousand hours into Project Zomboid again and have returned. Well, welcome back, Anonymo. It's been a minute. I hope you enjoyed your thousand hours of Zomboid. You're waiting on bus. Oh, did you already like train over? That was quick. Glad you found your way. Um, but, uh, Kyra Asylum over here <clears throat> dislikes abstract discussions and would much rather focus on practical examples, isn't given to flights of fancy and is quite comfortable with others that have a different appearance or culture. He tends to ask others for help with difficult decisions and he can occasionally lose focus on the matter at hand. He tries to do things correctly each time and he tends to consider what others think of him. He isn't given, he is a calm demeanor and he has a greedy streak and he needs alcohol to get through the working day and is getting used to tragedy. He personally respects power and finds introspection to be a waste of time and doesn't care about art one way or another and doesn't see the attainment of knowledge as important and dreams of mastering a skill. He likes pig iron, cinnamon, and glossier and giant elk antler, jute fabric, and scepters in the words of the berries of serenity and the sight of the, of the festive suitor and when possible prefers to consume apricot wine and two grain wheat seeds and absolutely hates moon snails. You walked to the wrong station by mistake. Please don't say what station. I know which station you walked to, but wait, did you did you walk to the one that your bus leaves from or did you walk in the other direction? I mean, they're not that much difference in distance. <laughs> For whatever it's worth, but they're all all three of them are in walking distance from here actually. You hope I'm still having a great time in this fort. I mean, I sold most of the greats for whatever that's worth. Personally, you find the temporary fort turns into the permanent fort too easily. Yeah, that tends to happen. Yeah, that, that definitely tends to happen. That doesn't sound great. What, that I sold all my grades? I mean, it was greatly appreciated. So we started digging down over here. But we didn't make it down very far, and I haven't found anything, really. Although I did found um, Jet, which makes me happy. I, I, I mined out... A little bit of that clay stone there. Um, and I, I found some other nice-ish materials, which is nice. I also found Gabbro a little further down. I usually make, like, temporary craft dwarves areas. Like, for me, this whole layer right here, all of these craft dwarf stall, like, these two mechanics workshops, this these stone worker shops, this jeweler shop, all of these are temporary. But I'd be willing to bet that they will just be there forever. <laughs> Uh, 
And uh, Paulo Bookins. Thank you very much for uh, that prime sub for four months. Back to wage slavery. Beats beats the gig economy. Also, chat, it's party time. It's been a while. There's a bunny in the tab. And an artifact, apparently. Erdem has claimed a jeweler's workshop. I'm just going to queue up some... Uh, Some wooden splints and some wooden crutches. I don't have any perfect gems in this fort yet, though, so a perfect gem would be nice. It's literally on your playlist. <laughs> yep. It's a, it's a, it's like one of the the best songs on the whole thing. Far and away. Ability to stand lost, motor nerve, nerve damage. Oh no, Linux Town! Right upper leg is dented. I really hope that this dwarf's able to recover. What do you use perfect gems for? You put them on a pedestal and admire them. It's kind of it. All right, dwarves, time to get back to work. He inspired you to, to play guitar or inspired the uh, the way you play guitar. I, have you listened to any of his like personal stuff or just his Dwarf Fortress music? Because he's written other stuff. Like he is like a performing artist as his day job. His personal stuff too? Gotcha. Well, that's good. I mean, that's good. That means that he's like gained fans from his work in Dwarf Fort. But especially his dwarf stuff. Yeah, I understand that. And so we are mining around this, and I'm going to fill in a lot of these walls. Uh, this is going to be a temple. Oh, forgot to click that button. Like, right now it feels like I just have tons and tons and tons of materials, but... Oh, I know what, what's happening here. I scrolled. Feels like I got tons of materials, but I know I will work my way through them. I know that I will work my way through them. Without too much trouble. Oh yeah, no, that that's that's in the works. But these are these interviews are not as easy and quick to produce as some people think they are. I'm also working on an interview with the developer of WarSim who recently released his game into 1.0. Um, by that I mean I've recorded it and it's on the Patreon right now if you want to go give me a dollar and listen to it. Um, but uh, I will be putting that together into a full proper finished thing soon. Oh, it does. You know, it, there, there are some people who for some reason think that ASCII looks ugly, and I, I think that they haven't spent enough time looking at ASCII. It genuinely looks beautiful. Like, just the high contrast colors and, like, everything. Like, it, it looks gorgeous. 
There's like a level of imagination that it gives the player. It's it's super neat. Really bring it up? No, I completely believe it. I've never, I've only used an OLED once and it was at a trade show, but they're, they're neat monitors. It's neat tech. Sard earring, actually. That's the second artifact earring in this fort, I think. Erdim the gem cutter has created Nobot Fokker, a sard earring, and claims it as a personal treasure. So, it's their personal treasure, hey? Uh, this is a Sard earring. All craft store ship is of the highest quality. Uh, it is encrusted with emerald and cut carnelians and decorated with mule bone and encircled with bands of uh, rose-cut sards and mule bone. This object menaces with spikes of sard and copper. On the item is an image of Urid Scale Puzzled, uh, the goblin, and a dog in shale. Uh, the dog is striking down uh, Yured. That uh, relates to the killing of the goblin Yured by the dog, uh, by a dog in the murky sea of, in the mid autumn of 251 during Uma's Oza, the attack of Roars. PG48 UQ for a few days, uh, and you. <laughs> no bot fucker. Not but, bot. B O T. With two little umlauts above it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It runs a lot. Don't fuck bots, chat. Yeah, no, of course the game runs better when it has no graphics to process. Obviously. Just going to throw all of these except for the horse bone and the dog bone. Apparently, I've got man like mangled goat wool, <laughs> which can go away. as well as mangled water buffalo bull hair. Uh, it's because they're lowballing you. It's a barter system, right? So if your trader sucks, they'll lowball you and they will pay you less. The better your trader gets, the more money they will pay you. Uh, it's siltstone. So Erdim sleeps where? So Erdim claimed that as a personal treasure, so we should put it in their bedroom. Unless they don't have a bedroom yet, which is definitely possible. Well, I can assign these two up here that apparently didn't get assigned yet. Give one of them to Erdim. There you are. I think it's that one. Never mind. No, it's not that one. I mean, maybe you do already have a, a bedroom. Let's see. Oh, there you are. Erdim the gem cutter, top one that doesn't. So this is Erdim's bedroom. And I'm going to make, let's say, pedestal. Let's say rock pedestal. And I'm going to make 15.
Plenty of times. Sniper. Any pros? Nope. <laughs> Just tedium. They look cool. This bunny needs a place to graze. Which means that bunny's gonna die, because I literally haven't dug down to the caverns yet. Unless I just keep digging. Although it is somebody's pet, so hopefully they feed it. I'm the 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 design is really growing on me. I mean, they're kind of slow to build. Like, they're not the most time-efficient setup, but they are cool-looking, which in Dwarf Fortress speak means they are optimal and fantastic. Like, they're quite slow to put together. I think that they'd be faster if I was doing a macro, but I'm lazy and thus will not, so. Let's see which one's still this one still needs a bed up here. And then this one will get will get done pretty quick. This over here, what's your value sitting at? 2000. Um do I have any extra altars? I can't remember how many I made. Not very many, apparently. The third wall. What happens when you break the third wall instead of the fourth wall? Um, I actually, now I'm wondering. Almost want to Google the third wall. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Welcome back. What is the largest bedroom size you would aim for? Size does not equal value. Higher value bedrooms make dwarf happy. Lower value be bedrooms make dwarf indifferent. This is a temple, so we're, I'm giving them chairs for seats, places to sit. The important in temple. I might actually get rid of that chair in the corner there. First, a character who addresses the medium in which they are situated. So third wall would have to like address Twitch chat then. Huh. I'm not really saying much during ad time anyway. Okay, let's do this. This, 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 and this. We'll check the value of this for 3,000. I think I'll probably just engrave around the edge. the coolest water. Nothing wrong with reusing content as long as people enjoy it the second time still. It's called reruns. Can always sub to skip those pesky ads. Unfortunately, not everybody can afford to sub. And I don't really like pressuring people into this. Decked? Yeah. You haven't been able to find him again? But yeah, Tekkit is busy. He has a full-time job. He works as a metal fabricator, so... Unfortunately, he doesn't have the most time to dedicate to uh, streaming. Which I personally think is a massive shame, but... 
He also like his priority is like YouTube edited content too, which uh, as he said, he's like very, very far into editing and writing. I mean, if you ask him on his stream, you can ask him about all the crap he's made for his apartment. Uh, earring. Robot fucker. There you go. Gets to go into your bedroom. And we will go to war if it gets stolen. Which would be weird because, like, literally nothing is allowed in here. <laughs> um... I don't know, Clay, Claiborne is not as uh, anywhere near as determined as uh, some people in this chat have been over the years. Claiborne's pretty determined, but uh, I think Navy still wins. By a lot. <laughs> when it comes to that determination of making every person in the chat into a sub. You're just the new guy. True. True. Navy still wins, though, for because uh, as the one person to drop the most subs in a day, which was 250. Navy's, um, something else. Pretty sure he's still got the biggest ever cheer on this stream as well. I'm going to queue this up as a farmer guild hall just so that I can prove to them that I'm not neglecting them as much as they probably assume that I am right now. Conti, thank you very much for chucking out a sub to Wave Depletion. He's actually a, it's a 25th month resub for Wave Depletion. Long time lurker in this stream. You're on the leaderboard now? Now you are. Yep. You like the chained burb? It's semi-wild, so it might go crazy and start killing people, which I don't really want. Uh, this is going to be a guild hall, and this is a farmer guild hall, because uh, I'm have I will i about to agree to make it, so I might as well know what I'm making. There it is, farmer hall. The Born Guild. I'm not going to make this one public, though. This is just going to be members. There it is, the Born Guild and Water Lungs, which we will approve. Then I've got another religion to make stuff for as well. It's, it was random. You clicked the wrong one by accident. I don't know if that sounds mean. It's way too easy to click the wrong button, though. You could easily live with with on two months in that with that money. Uh, welcome to uh, the the international economy. Also, when did people start saying Zam? Speaking of young people talk, <laughs> where did that come from? Like in the last three days, I've suddenly started seeing that. Where did that, what, what, e explain? Be forced to do labors in military? Uh, I think that there's like a weird sideways way of making them do labors, but they're not technically supposed to do labors. And forced, no. Um, once they petition, so when they're petitioned to live in your fortress, they're a guest. And when they're a guest, no, you can't really force them to do anything. But once they've been in your fortress for, um, once they've been in your fortress for an extended length of time, I think it's two years, they can petition for full citizenship and then you can force them to, or ask them to join the military and such. No, I, I, it's just misspelling the word damn. That's, that's actually all it is. I gushka. I mean, the first occurrence I saw was Zam Zaddy, which I, I'm pretty sure is like damn daddy, but like intentional mispronunciation for some reason. <laughs> or misspelling, I guess. I guess let's scam train it. Uh, you were too slow, so unfortunately you didn't. But thanks for the dollar, Claiborne.
Resurrecting pol- I haven't seen any re- polar bears yet. No one will find me. I haven't seen any polar bears yet, actually. We have seen giant walrus, though. Which, one giant walrus won a fight against an... <laughs> Un, uh, against an undead giant eagle, which was pretty exciting. Uh, Jerry Gord, thanks for the five pack. I appreciate you. There we go. It certainly goes. to expand that out to back here. What's the value over here doing? 4,000. Go for statues. I've got two copper statues that I can place. Has around three polar bears at most, according to the wiki. I mean, let's look at what's on the surface right now. Well, okay, so I've got three caged goblins, which is hysterical. And then there's two zombies in the creek, um, who, I, who I will kill once they start to drain out eventually. Um, and uh, we just need to keep an eye on them. And then there's just a bunch of wild puffins outside. Lumi Blade, thanks for the dollar. Gonna hop you a bit myself. I'm finding my creation a great fun. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Excuse me? What does that mean, Orange? Or uh, not not Orange, Diamond. What What does that mean exactly? Giant puffins are adorable. Puffins in general are adorable, but the comically large puffins are even better. I just want to get a breeding pair. There's cage traps outside. I just need one of them to stand in it. Actually, I think I can make make cop I, I, no, wrong, wrong button. Let's just go across this, deconstruct those, and we'll make copper floors. Oh, okay. I understand what you mean now. <laughs> Give it all to a streamer in Canada. I don't know if I want to be part of somebody's, uh, <laughs> like... Divorce negotiations, but do what you got to do with your own money, I guess. What is English? A language, allegedly. Let's make 50 charcoal. Several languages in... That's actually a really good answer. Several languages in a trench coat. Also, sup, use rune house things. What's this fort's story? Doesn't really have one currently, because we're still getting to know this fort. Not really, animal. I just acknowledge its existence sometimes. By the way, what's up, no one? Yeah, S -s 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 sizzle tongs got really fun. Let's see what um, engraved copper looks like. And then down here, we're going to smelt, snelt, uh, tetrahedrite. We're going to do 25. And 
But uh, thank you very much, everybody, for the little hype train. Appreciate you guys. It's okay. I phase in and out of being able to pronounce it and not being able to pronounce it. It's just the natural progression of things. Choo choo indeed. Seven subs and two dollars. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's just a really, really, really damaged rat leather tunic. Um. an earring, right? Yeah, this one. The applewood earring. We'll put the applewood earring in here to increase the value of this temple. I think it was worth 2000 You accidentally embarked on a heavy aquifer? Good luck getting through that. It's not impossible, but it's extraordinarily tedious. There we go. So we can recognize priesthood. The sacred music. So a devilish potato is the only available named dwarf to become who could become the sacred music aside from Kyra Asylum. I kind of want to give it to devilish potato because devilish potato is just pissed. <laughs> and I think it, like maybe it, we could just have an angry Pete priest as part of the uh, the chapel of um, whatever that word is. Can't read it because it's cut off. Um, so a devilish potato is now the sacred music of the fabulous Coven. Um, and I'm going to rename this to the Chapel of... I can't call it fa fabulous. Uh, the Chapel of... Chapel of Chapels. The, the, the Chapel of Beasts. Belches, blisters, boats, b bones, books, brains, belching, bowling, burns, mm. busts, anger. Pre I mean, we could call it the Temple of Anger. <laughs> um, chaos. Um, I don't know. That doesn't fit the fabulous Coven, though. Clobbering. <laughs> It's a really good word. How about, okay, because it's fabulous, let's go colors. The Temple of Colors. The Fabulous Col Col Coven and the, the Chapel of Colors. Um, let's see how a devilish potato feels about this, who is one of the most pissed off dwarves in the fort, but is now slightly less pissed off than they were before. Um... How do you think, how do you feel about this? Uh, is relieved after dis discussing problems with an acquaintance. Uh, felt proud after the establishment of a temple for the fabulous Col Colvin. And was proud after the establishment, uh, remembering the uh, establishment. And uh, was delayed. So doesn't really feel much about they themselves becoming a, uh, the sacred music. Um, he's got pretty bad PTSD pretty much from a friend of his dying. But then we'd have to, like, let them out sometimes. All right. Um, hmm. Does Devilish Potato know any musical forms? That's a good question. I'm probably. I mean, most dwarves do. One, two, three. Uh, he knows um, the, the poetic smile and the luxurious queen, which is very fitting for the um, fabulous Coven to have. Um, knows diamonds ever onward, uh, fogs and nothing more, the sun sets on wilts, uh, rusts, uh, assaulted perfection, um, which I'm very curious about. Hold on. What, what, is, what is assaulted perfection? Uh, it is a poem authored by Stozu. Uh, it is an example of the learned serenity, and the work has no particular subject. The poetry is not awful, but not very good either, so it's a bad poem. Um, the wise will tell. Um, the deferent adoration. And my friend Eggs. And my friend Lake. Friends with Eggs.
So there you go. And um, we've got a child playing make believe in the temple, which is fitting. Procedural art forms. Yeah, they sometimes make sense, and then there's the rest of them. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to put the uh, demonstration table in here, I think, which we'll make out of sandstone, so it's a slightly different color. Put uh, engravings around it. Can put some statues over here at the back. Put some statues around it. I'll check the value in a moment. You need a dwarven insult. Bronze brain. There you go. <laughs> Cat herder, as I think one that Vinsadi came up with. What, the just reading about random factoids related to the game? Yeah, they're pretty good. Is that a statue of a wolf? That's pretty badass. Got a bunch of different animal statues in here. Can't wait to see what they end up being. There's like a, a, a rat, I think, over there. It's like a wolf or a fox, maybe. Oh, a blizzard man. Interesting. Finally crafted the image of a blizzard man. All right, what's this one? Copper statue, an image of a bark scorpion. Someone must, someone must hate uh, bark scorpions, I would think. Woodhead. <laughs> Woodhead. You tree-headed face thing. Dwarf gravel butt. Orange made it to his destination, so. I'm going to um, eh, put a hoodie on because I'm cold. Also, chat, there is a slight chance I will end stream early today to go hang out with Orange. <laughs> Depending on what time he gets out of uh, his new job over here. Doing, like, orientation shit today. Uh, and then over here we have an image of Zoss the Amethyst. Is an image uh, of Zoss the Amethyst, the deity of mountains. Oh, that's cool. Depicted as a male coyote in copper. Huh. We have a coyote god. And I think the second religion is related to this god. Not the one that I'm, I just built the temple for, but the one that still has a um, request up. That's kind of neat. Mountains, coyotes, connection. I don't know if I would say it's that much of a connection, but... Kind of neat, that much is for sure. That needs some more value. Hmm. It's done. What'd you do? Put it in memes. <laughs> this is a very my chat right now meme that no one will understand beyond uh, the next few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one like beyond today will ever get this. Also, can you please make more South Park memes with my emotes? That'd be great. <laughs> This is the the most right now reference and and I like it. 
I'm going to send this to Orange. He'll probably see it later, but. Um, <laughs> it, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Well done, Diamond. This is why we tolerate Diamond's strange typing. It's because he then turns around and makes these works of art for us. I can just hear you bronze brain coming out of one of their mouths, like, just perfectly. Had a, yeah, he, he literally had the Kenny from South Park jacket. It's like Jake from State Farm, but... um, What am I doing? Work orders. Uh, let's do Rock Throne. And Rock Table. I'm going to make both of these out of Siltstone. Although we are actually running out of Siltstone right now, which is pretty good. Um, I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to uh, keep some more bedrooms. You're making lasagna? Ooh. Somebody on Discord posted a brownies recipe, and I was looking at that last night going, I have literally everything I need to make that. Maybe I'm making brownies this weekend with a recipe that I haven't used before. All of the recipes I've used before call for less sugar and different ingredients, slightly, slightly different ingredients. Like most of the um, brownies I've made in my life all require sweetened sugar and don't use as much sugar. This one requires unsweetened sugar and requires a lot more sugar, which makes me go, hmm, I want to try that. So maybe I'm going to make brownies. Move some dwarves from miner's labor to more safe mill. <laughs> I, can I just say the, the kind of hystericalness of the fact that being a miner is more dangerous than being in the military? I just want to highlight that. No, unsweetened chocolate instead of sweetened chocolate. instead Unsweetened chocolate instead of sugar instead of just using sugar. Sweetened chocolate instead of sugar versus just using sugar. Sorry, I said one thing and was thinking another. I said unsweetened sugar. I mean, okay, unsweetened. It calls for unsweetened chocolate instead of sweetened chocolate in place of actual sugar, which is how I'm used to making brownies. Is using sweetened chocolate instead of unsweetened chocolate. Whatever. <laughs> Is the I, I would say that unsweetened sugar is just like dust, <laughs> but <laughs> do I have any cabinets left? I might, I might need to make more cabinets too. Okay, I do need to make more cabinets too, but it's okay. We can do bedrooms like this. Four bedrooms. That was two for one deal. Excellent. I love it when dwarves are married. They move in faster. That's actually pretty good. Pretty much every dwarf in the fort has a bedroom now. How's the value of this? 4,000 of 6,000. Okay. So I need to do... Basically just like a dining table in here. Nope. Dwarves sleep so infrequently, they they just share the bed too. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen them sleeping at the same time in the same bedroom. But, yeah, they'll just share the bed if they are. That's like asking, does a married couple on Earth both need their own bed? It's like, well, maybe if one of them snores really loudly and the other one has a CPAP machine. Um, Sterlonian. 
What kind of dwarf would you like? Approximately what job and whether or not you would like a beard? I'll scroll down so you can get some of an idea. Mason or carpenter, if available, no uh, beard preference. So I don't have any... The only uh, stone cutter is named already, so I can give you Endoc the Carpenter. Also has an axe. Is married, has two kids, and or two lovers and a kid. Sterlonian. An ad's about to start, F FYI. Um... Never feels discouraged and has a great trouble mastering fear when confronted by danger. Uh, has a strong sense of duty and often feels uh, and and often feels envious of others. She tends to. Uh, I thought I saw combat. Uh, she she tends to reveal personal information and she could be considered rude. She is quick to anger and she has a n little interest in joking around and she can occasionally overindulge. She needs alcohol to get through the working day. There's another artifact happening, a child. Um, she needs alcohol to get through the working day, and she does not mind being outdoors at least for a time. Doesn't really care about anything anymore. Dreams of creating a great work of art. She personally finds sacrifice to be one of the highest ideals, and uh, she thinks she it is the utmost importance to present a bold face and never grouse or complain, or even show emotion. She finds that those that com can complain or uh, she finds those that develop skill with weapons and tap fighting distasteful. And dreams of creating a great work of art like steel, onyx, opal, and moose antler and uh, blue bone fish, Rami paper, and the color flax. Uh, gauntlets and shadow legends, uh, shadow horrors for their uh, macabre ways, and, and she prefers uh, to consume giant crow and tomatilla wine and dwarven sugar and finger mullet and passion fruits. <laughs> and she absolutely hates leeches. Um, well, it's Salty Tempest is her, is, uh, her wife, actually. Um, but Lev, Led Shaft Lashed is a really good name. Yeah. Yeah. Did I hear about our new sponsor? You, you, you mean our, our new, our new sponsor, um, uh, Blind IRL's actual merch store that has now sold a total of 101 individual units with a pro... Oh, with almost uh, one, three, three, seven in profits, actually. Um, Blind IRL's merch store, uh, my new sponsor. Uh, you you can buy stickers or a mug or another sticker or a different sticker or like five of the same sticker or like a t-shirt or uh, this hoodie that I'm wearing right now uh, because we're stuck in an ad for some people. So I'm making you guys, um, you know, stare at my ad for my shit if you're not watching the Twitch ads because I'm a douche. You can recommend to mug. Yeah. Also, there's more t-shirts coming at some point. I've got goblins in a cage. I need to figure out what to do with the goblins in a cage. Child withdraws from society and claims a craft store shop. Is drawing pictures. Stacked leather. Do you want bones? I already have dog bones. Rough gems. Square blocks. Actually, it might be... Might be rough gems that you want. Yeah, I think it's rough gems. All right, we got to find some gems to mine out of a wall somewhere. There's some gems. Let's see if Kiddo runs off for him. Break the goblin's legs. Uh, it's not quite how the game works. There's no, like, break leg of thing command. I could actually, if I set them up right, I could use them as target practice for ranged dwarf. Considering trying a fortress where every single dwarf is a legendary one, you think uh, 20 is your minimum populations for mood to trigger? Uh, no, they can be, like, little kids. 
I mean, that was basically long death. Every dwarf was legendary. Uh, so this is the kid of uh, sharp shark jumping walrus, and uh, she's working secretly. A vile force of darkness has arrived. Who? Oh wait, never mind. It's just otters. I I thought it would be an otterly vile force of darkness that would arrive. You should make that meme, animal. Do it. Also, hi, FG. Speaking of FG, mods, can I get a shout-out for FG, please? This is a resurrecting biome FG. So the idiots that drowned in my lovely water feature are now zombies in my water feature, so I have to drain the water feature to get the zombies out. Um, it's kind of inconvenient. Um, Foltig, the dwarven child, has created Zokolamathul. A dog bone scepter and offers it to the walls of drowning. Well, that's very nice of you, little kiddo. Meaning I can put it into the uh, farmer's guild and not feel bad about it. This is a dog bone scepter. All craft worship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of point cut adventurines, and this object menaces with spikes of dog bone. And mule leather on the item is an image of octagon cut gems. Uh in dolomite. The uh on the item is an image of spurs slipped the sard earring in dolomite. And it's worth enough that it'll get my uh, whole room down here up to value, you think? Yeah, it is. Good, good. We're playing with a hard economy, so I have to put way more stuff into stuff to make stuff worth enough. It's a funny sentence to say out loud, but... I hope it made sense. <laughs> I have to put way more stuff into stuff to make stuff worth enough. Got seven wagons of two dwarven civilizations to come at once, and they tried to stay in a single spot near the depot, and they just died. And now there's a pile of stuff, most, and most of the merchants are leaving. How uh, will this affect your trading? Uh, I can't say for certain because I don't know exactly what your relation with those factions are. Uh, they'll bring less next time because they will blame you for stealing it. But that sounds unfortunate. <laughs> there we go. The, the, the guild owners should be satisfied. Uh -huh. What? Well... I didn't make a temple for the Wald Coven in time. Probably ask again. Sorry, Wald Coven. I got three petitions at the same time. One for this thing, one for this thing, and then a, another one, so apologies. At least I was able to get the fabulous Coven done. And actually, how's a uh, devilish potato doing? Seems to mostly just be socializing. I'm still stressed, but... Wants to acquire need. He wants martial training, which is weird, because I put him into the military, and he certainly didn't like it. <laughs> Crypt sis. Crypt sis? That's what? I don't think she knows how to pronounce the word sus. It's a coffer. I want coffins. You just want to punch some people? Pretty much, it seems like. So I'm not sure if these are friendly or unfriendly zombies. I'm assuming they're unfriendly, so I'm just going to wait for this to drain down to, like, six steady, and then I'm just going to send my dwarves in. You just want boxing training. I get you. Some migrants have arrived. Are the doors locked? Currently, yes, the door is locked. Are... Oh, we are locked in here. That's good. Hmm. 
Question is, is how many migrants, though? Uh, 97? Is it 58? 59? Do I have a mayor yet? Hey, we have a mayor, mayor who is uh, Earless Old Zwari. Got appointed mayor. Can your dwarf request be a butcher? Why? Do you want a butcher as suited giraffe? <laughs> I feel attacked. Yeah, literally. The 60 dwarves. Hmm. I kind of want to just build some more cage traps out here. You got elected mayor. This is me trying to catch the random giant animals that walk across the ocean. Also, speaking of random animals, what's alive on the surface currently? Just giant puffins? All right. I'm going to disable this. Probably going to get a bunch of dwarves running out in a moment. It's terrible for them to be out here because it's ra raining noxious ooze at all times. That's not the tool I wanted to use. So what I want to do is I want to start building a structure up top, right? Um, because we're going to need it eventually. Why did, I, why did I do that a second time? I'm good at this. I play this video game. I know that I need to click the select material after placement button. I wish there was a hotkey for that. Something I do actually wish was in this version. Stay hotkey for that. And then I will suspend that corner. Fit all these. And let's make this a little bit more interesting looking because this is how many tiles long? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 24, 25. So that would put like that in the middle. So if I do that, 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 that. Go big or go home. Sometimes you got to go less all in. Less than three, less than three, less than three. Troopin', that's one year. Hot damn, dude. Look away for two minutes. You may have been mayor for a bit. I only just noticed that you're mayor. You have to type in exclamation point tickets to see how many you have in the first place. If you get uh, bopped backwards. If I do this correctly, it might just look like an upside down cross, which I'm totally okay with. This will eventually become a surface structure, but it's gonna take some time to do. I'm gonna have to do it in parts too. That's kind of the aesthetic I'm looking for. Although I think it's too far to the right. By one block.
Good win, FG. You did it. You invested all of your savings, and uh, it came out as a positive. Congrats. Also, how's the new computer, by the way? Picture looked pretty. That seems doable. There's a donkey in my fort. Can I eat it? It's of course, the natural thought it's a mule, not a donkey. Two of them. Also a pig. It doubles as a space heater, just like my computer. Keeps me warm. Alright, so we're going to need roofs for this to be even remotely useful. So see what's alive on the map currently. Giant puffins. Gotta be kind of careful. But seriously, Troop and Panda, thank you very much for that, like, 12 months. I hope that you've been well, dude. It's a long time to give some oddball on the internet money, so appreciate you. Let's just get that last one undone. Um, it looks like all of these should have cages in them. We made that 50 charcoal. There's also like <laughs> giant zombie eagle and giant zombie wing down here, which uh, the giant zombie eagle lost in a duel against a giant walrus that wasn't a zombie. Um, giant walrus won, for whatever it's worth. Um, down here, we're going to uh, turn this on for a moment while the dwarves run back inside. Uh-oh, a mule skin is fighting. Oh no, that's horrible. Flying zombies doesn't sound super healthy. Flying giant zombies even less healthy. Let's get this door locked. Donk. I can turn this back on. Speaking of flying zombies, or zombies in general, you know, those two are starting to uh, get pretty close to like being movable. Or removable, I suppose. Could probably just send my military in, but to well, unarmed zombies. They are. I don't want them to develop too much extra exhaustionness. I could also just put a bunch of traps here and hope that they just trap themselves, which would probably be the smarter way of doing this. Actually, it's hoping that they just very conveniently step into a trap for me. All right, so down here is going to be two things for the mayor. We're going to give the mayor an office, which is going to not be this whole room. It's going to be half of this room. And then if the mayor also very much insists, mayor can also um, get a fancier bedroom. F fancier? Fancier bedroom. Uh, so mayor gets this. Mayor already has meager study because Mayor had previous job, which means I need to go find the Mayor's meager study, which I'm pretty sure is literally just a square in the middle of nowhere. Which I'm not... Ah, there it is. There's the Mayor's me meager study. We're going to remove that. And then this is the Mayor's bedroom down here, which I'm going to need to pretty up. So, um... Let's see. How satisfied are you? Currently, not even remotely satisfied. Well, we can work on that. We can work on that. Let's start off by giving you 
Uh, let's go to military and let's go to weapon rack. We'll give you two of those because you insist. And uh, we'll go back to military and we're gonna go to armor stand. And we're gonna give you uh, two, two of these. Um, hopefully that helps too. Um, I will put a couple of engravings on the flow um, and uh, some on the back wall and some on this wall and some on, uh, well, we'll see what, how, how, how you feel about all that as far as upgrades go in a minute. And we're also going to give you a chest if I can. I can't because I don't have any. So what instead I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go uh, rock coffer. Um, and assuming you don't cough too much, we're going to make 50 uh, rock coffers out of uh, no, not claystone. I was gonna make them out of claystone. Apparently, I got a bunch. I got a bunch of shale lying around. So we're gonna do 50 out of shale, and I'm gonna do rock um, cabinets out of uh, shale as well. And we're also gonna do 50 of those. Yes, we're gonna do a rock lobster. Definitely, we're gonna do a rock lobster. Sorry, I, I've been I've been very much not looking at chat, but you know, shale's pretty. This whole fort's pretty. So, FG, when are you coming back to Dwarf Fort? I, I saw that Jess was streaming today because um, hopefully she's feeling better. Good lord. Yeah, she's been sick for, like, for forever. Chat, you guys have a job. Go pester FG to stream Dwarf Fort. I need to give you one cabinet and a second chest. It's a very easy job, really, if you think about it. I have this, like, a absurd amount of power still, and it's not safe for me to wield it, frankly. <laughs> I don't think it makes it any better that I acknowledge it. <laughs> Let's do shale around the edge here. I got a bunch of shale blocks that I'm not using currently. Hmm. Dwarf Fort? I mean, Dwarf Fort is pretty sus. <laughs> FG, go play Gas Station Simulator. I mean, that game looked pretty fun, actually. Not gonna knock Gas Station Simulator. Looked like an okay one of those. Follow the Siltstone Road. All of the silt leads to the Farmer's Guild Hall, something. Kind of works. Could also add the Farmer's Fields to the Farmer's Guild Hall, but that might be pushing it. It has several already, pretty small. They're adding an... I read that as an airship, and I was like, wow. Gas station simulator got wild. <laughs> and I wasn't even going to question it. <laughs> um, we'll make 50 doors out of siltstone. Speaking of, no more giant puffins have been caught, Chet. I'm trying. Got all of these traps up here, but no more giant puffins have been caught. Only the one giant puffin has been caught. The rest are flying up on layer 12 or something. 
And apparently not really moving much. They're probably waiting for their friend who lives in my basement. I need to add more traps. I need to build up before I can add more traps. Couple of coral and ash clowns. Are you uh, digging through a spire currently? Or fun tube or whatever we call them these days. Ah, okay, gotcha. Coral and ash. That's kind of cool, because, like, ash doesn't technically, or not ash, coral doesn't technically exist in Dwarf Fortress. Why is there a gem, a quiver, and a red sandbag sitting on the floor there? Really? How'd you get through it? Never? Did you wait for it to freeze and then dig through it, or did you try pumping out or draining it? Getting through uh, heavy aquifers or something. Uh, it seems like the ocean is perma frozen, yeah. A fun tube, yes. No, I'm kind of tempted to see if I can dump lava over top of the ocean to get a layer beneath it to free to, to thaw, rather. I think that might be a bit of fun as just like a long-term project for this fort. I currently don't really have any long-term projects for this fort. Um, but once I get the fort itself up and functioning, we're, we're getting there pretty quick. I think that could be a bit of fun. kind of keeping an eye on these zombies. I could safely tell the military to go fight them still. Let's see if they do. Soldiers go grab their stuff. If the zombies pop out. I don't actually know if these are friendly or not. They're just listed as undead, so the answer is probably not. You have a buckler? That's interesting. Bronze buckler. Let's just move them up a little bit. They don't seem to be afraid. Which leads me to believe that they might actually be friendly zombies. <laughs> okay, no, they are... Whoa! Definitely uh, not friendly. Catan's uh, rotten corpse is fighting. Um, Clay Commander, a.k.a. Clayborn, um, uh, smacked it in the head. With his iron... Wait, why do you have an iron warhammer? You're supposed to use a, the silver ones. Um, with his iron warhammer fracturing the skull, the force pulls the neck, uh, tearing apart the fat and bruising the muscle, and bruising the upper spine's nervous tissue. Uh, bashes uh, the corpse in the right lower arm with his iron warhammer, bruising the bone. Uh, Clay then bashes uh, the rotten corpse in the head with his iron warhammer, bruising the muscle and jamming the skull through the brain and tearing the brain. Too bad it doesn't need it. And then fights that a little bit more, and then eventually hits it in the head, and it, the part is crushed. Um, meaning, congratulations, uh, you didn't get the kill even. <laughs> uh, it appears that Lycott did. Yep. Killed the, the zombie dwarf in water lungs. We can chuck that body. This one's going to take a little bit to get out of here. I'm going to cancel that order. And then they run back in here, I think, and then store their gear. Yep. And then they, they go back to doing what they were doing. I'm pretty sure that dwarf just kills, stole your, your, your stuff. Under the ocean to get the bottom layer to melt and provoke creatures to spawn, maybe? 
Well, I mean, I'm just kind of planning on just pouring lava over the surface because it would make a layer of obsidian and melt some of it. It's just easier that way. Um, a human caravan has arrived, meaning I need to unlock the door. Wait, although I'm only going to do it if there isn't zombies on the surface. There isn't zombies on the surface. All right. I don't really have much in the way of trade goods still, <laughs> um, but I can absolutely unlock the door for you. Why is there a disc there? Yeah, I bought a copper disc. Okay, well, I can sell that. Also sell the corkscrew. Um, can also sell the pipe. Tempted to make um, 12 silver crafts real quick. Just so I have something to trade. An ad's about to hit, but you guys aren't going to miss much. Trying to get caught up on what you guys are on about. It's only frozen until you... It'll only stay frozen until you don't thaw it? Oh, you mean until I thaw it? But yeah, I mean, I, I I could totally put lava underneath it. I think it's just easier to put it on top of it. Because there's some brave humans walking through a haunted glacier to trade with me. Yep, I mean, if we look at the uh, livestock even... Oh, okay. They're not covered in goo. Oh, well, actually, man, they managed to get in without getting covered in goose. That's pretty good. Maybe it's not actually raining fetid flesh right now. Or slush, rather. What's the plan with this fort? Currently, just survive. Um, I've got a couple ideas. It's a terrifying slash haunted biome, so it's one of those... It's going to take a bit. How do the merchants get through the door? Don't they need a three-wide portal? They do not, unless they are bringing wagons, and they only bring wagons if you happen to have a, um, what's it called? Uh, a, 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 a noble in your fortress. Caravans don't. Wagons do. Surviving is a reasonable goal. Uh, some might disagree, but... Right, so let's go to silver. Bring that bracelet. Let's bring those earrings. And let's bring those figurines. And let's bring those rings. And the one scepter. Then I just have a bunch of war hammers. Oof, yeah, I don't know if that's in the planner right now for lava tuning. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're, if, you're, if you're good at, like, distributing lava, it might be. The concept of a dwarven, like, job planner is really funny, though. I don't know if that fits with my idea of what your shift's going to look like this month, dude. Goal to achieve that does not lead to any interesting stuff. Well, I mean, I'll make sure interesting stuff happens. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. But I am playing it kind of safe right now until we're stable. Which I usually do. Aw. Can't afford the cheese. He's too pricey. We'll buy some cheese. They just brought food, but that's actually quite appreciated here. We now have fish, we've got more plants. 
Gives us food variety and keeps the dwarves happy. This fort is so cool. It's pretty cold, that is true. Now we're gonna start building up here with this structure. That's gonna be the plan. I'm also gonna have to move all of this stockpile down. Can you not plant sandstone? Add what? What, like, like, constructed sandstone? I mean, constructed sandstone, sure. Um, no, non-constructed sandstone, sure. Uh, constructed sandstone, no. Up, yes, you heard me. Hmm. You know what? No, I'm not actually going to add that area to the burrow. I am going to lock this door briefly. And turn this off. Let them dig this out. And then I'm going to put two hatches over top of it. I don't have two. So I'm going to make another shale hatch cover. Let's just make 20. I don't have enough shale to do that, so instead I will make four. I have four shale, apparently. But yeah, you can plant on any stone if it's not constructed. If it's constructed, you can't plant on it. When the merchants are staying around on the map, you found the only way to get rid of them is to deconstruct the trade depot. What's another way to solve the problem? I mean, you could just kill them. They're supposed to leave after two months. And if they didn't, that's... something's broken. No, shale, not shell. Onto the ocean from above? That's kind of a plan. That's an option. Although I need to get to lava, and I need to bring lava up. Fortunately, we're on a beach, so there's fuckloads of sand everywhere, so glass is also an option. Obsidian ocean, sure. Which will also give me, like, a layer of water that I can dump stuff on. Or dump obsidian into. Now push those up in the priority order. It's also the only thing that hasn't been signed up to go yet. Need a different organizer. Somebody that isn't Zwari. It's all going to be free glass. Glass ain't free, son, but yes. I mean, you get obsidian if you dump lava on water in Dorfort. What do you mean? I guess I'm missing the part where it's kind of dumb. Okay, yeah, we need a we need a different manager. We'll just give it to Cezir. We have a new manager. You get rock? Mm hmm. Then Door Fortress, you get obsidian rock, not obsidian glass. But yes. 
specifically you get basalt. Mm -hmm. Will hot water melt ice? Uh, lava will in fact melt ice, yes. So currently you're making shell coffers. I'm going to remove you from other jobs so that you'll be more efficient about this. Because I need you to go and put your stuff away. Come on, you dwarf. Lover is. Oh, this is actually um, Claiborne's lover. I was like, that name looks familiar. She's going to go get a drink before doing paperwork, which, you know, mood. I, I agree. Um, and there, now she's going to go listen to poetry. All right. So now that those jobs have been queued up. Work orders. Mail hatch cover hopefully get done quick. There's a trader in my river again. You are correct, yep. Or you were correct. Which is funny, because I'm not sure why they're pathing down there. There's absolutely no logical reason for them to path that way. Actually, how many of them are in the river? Um... Well, I'll just let them leave. At least the zombie's dead now. Greetings, porcelain. That was faster than expected. Y'all done? I'm surprised they left so quickly. That's weird. But there they go. Still no new puffins have been caught. Oh, that was quick then. You might get back on the same pass. All right, let's get these dwarves back inside. I don't actually know how many of them are outside in the first place. And get this lever pulled. You opened hell for the first time. It was pretty fun. Hell yeah, dude. Opening hell is generally a pretty good time. Once your test is booked. Hell yeah. Get out of here, human. I'm not actually sure if that's all of them. Let's see. Okay, it's just, it's just the one human that's left on the map. Sweet. Oh, yeah, I know, Old Zwari. Oh, yeah, I know. What's up, Frank? I think other Frank was here earlier, too. <laughs> All right. Um, we can now do that, and I can turn this off. So the dwarves can access this upper area, although we have to be careful about zombies. Zombies, which is kind of a concern. I'm going to place two cage traps down here. Just in case zombies take over this this area. Hmm. What kind of blocks do I want to use for this? I like the color of mudstone for the stairs. Thank you. 
FG, what kind of dwarf would you like? Approximate job request? And, um, beard or no beard? I know I don't have any tame otters, unfortunately. You didn't get mugged, though? I mean, chat could mug you. Mug you with love! How old is my puffin? <laughs> that is such a strange, out of context statement. That cheesemaker, this one? The one that's currently pray praying to TCAC Glimmer copy? Okay. That one. Who is. Shem. He's got kind of like a cultist's I'm gonna kill you look to his eye. Kind of, kind of looks like a Jawa, actually. Um, FG squared. Oh. I'm now double checking that I spelled squared correctly. Is prone to strong feelings of lust and does not find most jokes humorous. It is not his birthday and he doesn't generally think before acting. He can occasionally lose focus on the matter at hand and he likes to take it easy. He is somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger and, ten and doesn't hold on to grievances. He does not is not particularly interested in what others think of him and is currently more shameless. Does not He's not inherently proud of his talents and accomplishments and doesn't try to get things done perfectly. Tries to keep things orderly and is currently more rude. Needs alcohol to get through the working day. Yeah, what a, what a rush. You're praying and it's just, what a rush. Uh, he dreams of creating a great work of art and personally finds that those that develop skills with weapons and fighting are distasteful. And doesn't care about nature one way or another. After being cut, uh, at less extreme after being cut in the snow in a snowstorm in 242. So he's starting, he's starting to care about nature a little bit because he got caught in a snowstorm once. Um, he likes mica, rose gold, and aquamarine, and cedar wood, and impala leather, emperor penguin tooth, we do have emperor penguins here, and uh, pigtail fabric and totems, and the words of the berries of serenity, and the sight of the um, adoration of butterflies, and when possible, prefers to consume fisher berries, tomato, tomato wine, and you hate cave spoders. Um... And uh, you are a member of the Earthen Creed, which is a religion. You're a member of the Born Guild, a uh, farm, our farmers guild, and you're uh, of course a member of the of the Whales of Drowning, which is our uh, our, our local group, and the Accidental Ceiling, our uh, dwarven civilization. You dig it, you better. You're a dwarf. If you don't dig, what are you even doing? Clearly not dwarfing. Um, so. Bad news is is somebody dumped a bunch of crap into the into the waterway again. Good news is. Uh, they didn't drown this time, so um, we can uh, maybe, like, actually make it into something this time. Um, let's make a silver uh, floodgate. I don't know why I'm making two of them. We're making two of them. Probably a bit acidic. Just, like, my attitude. Oh no, not withered pigtails. Um, you, over here. Uh, uh, process plants. Um, milk animal. And uh, make cheese. Um, we're going to have to dig around this. But I And we're also going to have to block this off, I think is what we're going to have to do. Because these stupid, stupid humans keep on trying to exit the fort this way. And it's <laughs> rather annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig all the way along this ledge. And then I'm going to channel out this, this, and this after I get a floodgate constructed right here. Um, I haven't had a crash since yesterday. So I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Tentative statement that we're okay for now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> True, we did make them a log flume. That's actually a good way to put it. It's like, have you tried the dwarves' new log flume? I, well, I mean, the last three that did uh, didn't come back, so must be a good time. Clearly, the water be heated uh, by a block which is heated by lava adjacent to ice. Yes. Don't know why that's there. They didn't come back, it would mean that they just left. I mean, to a degree. Floating guts leather shoe. Okay. You have a good night, Andoro. We'll see you when we see you. Actually, hold on. Do I have any charcoal right now? Nope. Okay. Sounds gross. I mean, many things can sound gross. They're dying to go on that ride? I mean, they'll die if they go on that ride. Uh, if you give them a lever that they can pull, they're very, very useful lever pullers. Just wall them in a room by themselves and they'll pull the lever as soon as you tell them to pull the lever. They're pretty good at disposing of people that you don't want. They have a, a nasty habit of getting elected mayor if you let them train speech too much, though. There, I got dwarves making charcoal now. You know, it, it's kind of funny. It's just sitting there in the shadows quietly and nobody's nobody ever really says anything. But this entire stream's, like, existence is kind of owed, not necessarily to that meme specifically, but to Roller Coaster Tycoon, so. Like, my streaming career wouldn't exist as it is without Roller Coaster Tycoon. And if you're super ballsy, you could put the, the vampires into their own squad, lock them in a room by themselves with swords, and just make them train military for all eternity, and then they'll be some of the most effective soldiers you'll ever have. You just might lose, like, half a dozen dwarves every time you let them out. Uh, technically both, because in this in this stream we... Or in this on this channel, I streamed OpenRCT2, which is the two of them mashed together into one game. Or became that eventually, so technically both. I like how you didn't mention three. <laughs> One has gone berserk from an unsatisfied mood. Well, then they're useless. They're just a, a potato at that point. Three never existed, just like, like, I don't know if it never existed. It, it has its fans, but I'm just not one of them. Maybe you'll route a siege through their prison. I mean, that would be kind of fun. All right, so let's see. Can I get that floodgate constructed yet? Nope, they still haven't built it. Build the goddamn floodgate, you slow sons of a... What are you even doing? Game is saving. I, uh once built a fortress that the entire defensive structure of it was a lever triggered cave in where I would cave in a third of a Z level every single time I got sieged. It was a, it was very, very effective. The problem was I ran out of map. <laughs> um, it worked extremely well.
Uh, that's not a not dwarfy way of getting rid of them. Although, I don't know why you're bothering disarming them. They'll die eventually. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Just, do, do, do you, you do know that my graphics card caught fire while, uh, streaming Roller Coaster Tycoon World, right? Like, it actually caught, it sparked and caught fire during a stream of that game. I will never fully forget that that game exists because of that. Also, yay, it's payday. You can't blame it. <laughs> no, I would too. Oh, am I just... I understand. I'm just out of copper. Or out of silver. I'll make a copper floodgate then. That would do it. And then over here, I'm going to ask you to make... Tetrahedrite ore. Just do that until we run out of charcoal. Uh, no, I wasn't reconstructing. I would just move a layer down and do it again. Move a layer down, set up the trap, do it again. Move a layer down, set up the trap, do it again. Move a layer down, set up the trap, do it again. It was a fun fort, but... deleted a bunch of emails. You got laid off today? Oh no. Can I ask what industry? Shit sucks, dude. Do you have any kind of backup plan or are you just kind of SOL? You know, that's actually something that, that's never happened to me before. I've never been laid off from a job ever. Got a dwarf with a strange mood in here somewhere. It's so hard to see now. Crafts dwarf. There you are. Claims the craft store shop, just a possession. It rotted your eyes with a spell. That's something. Jesus. Attack, you have backup? Okay, that's good. They laid off half the company. I am so weirded out by all of the tech industry right now. Like, I'm not a person who likes conspiracy theories, but it feels like such manufactured hardships for a lot of those companies. It's so strange. But yeah, half the company, holy fuck. I've been laid off twice, once from a big bank in 2008. Yep, that checks out. And then the second uh, you company you were working for merged with another. Luckily, uh, you learned to see the signs and had another job lined up the day before and you got laid off. Well, that's good. Did Salty say? Now you're trying to figure out how to collapse the same level over and over using obsidian casting? Uh, yeah, I would look up uh, pistons on the DF wiki. Be a good place to start. Okay, cool. Got everything you need. Two pieces of tetrahedron and silver bars. Well, that'll be a nice artifact regardless. Crafts dwarf shops. Any bets on what the dwarf makes? Let's see if I've got a floodgate yet.
Having a job plus the severance was real nice. Yeah. One of my favorite layoff stories that I ever heard was a friend of mine who worked at McDonald's and throughout this entire time he was going to university. Worked at McDonald's, was a manager. Target came to Canada. Um, after Target was in Canada for like, I think it was about 10 months, they started like power hiring and headhunting managers from fast food restaurants and local grocery stores. And so he got hired at Target with like a $10 an hour raise over what he was making at McDonald's. And three months after they hired him, they announced that his store was closing. And um, he got eight months of severance, eight months of full-time pay as severance, and then went and got a, before the store closed, he already had a full-time job managing, like bumped up a second time managing a Canadian tire. Um, so quit McDonald's, got a job, worked for Target for three months, and then moved to Canadian Tire. <laughs> and got like, three years worth of pay in, in a year because of all of the severance he got from like the different job swaps. Been laid off once due to HR not wanting to... Oh, man. Why right, do you instead of a full severance pay instead they just came up with a tax budget instead? Hasn't changed the fact that the whole, whole ordeal was awful? Yeah. Eight months, yeah, that was the wild thing. Everybody who worked in management at Target in Canada who'd worked for less than a year got eight months of severance because most of them left other jobs for it. It was wild when, Tar when Target left Canada. And then Walmart bought all of the locations and now everything's Walmart. Because, like, that, that single-handedly destroyed all of the competition in shops like that. You got laid off from your dream job two years ago due to the company going under? Oh, man. Created a tetrahedrite scepter and claims it as a family heirloom. Tetrahedrite scepter with silver? Kind of cool. The tetrahedrite scepter, all craft warships of the highest quality. It is encrusted with rectangular tetrahedrite cabochons and encircled with bands of cushioned tetrahedrite cabochons. This object menaces with spikes of silver. Sops up, rat aside. How's things, dude? Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same question, but I also didn't want to ask Asma. <laughs> so I'm going to, I think, start building a... I think we're, we're, we're going to actually make something that I always want to make and never do. I'm going to make a... Uh, artifact chamber that is guarded by giant puffin. And maybe we're going to collect artifacts. Maybe that can be the goal for this fort. Artifact collection? You know you know the um oh, what's it called? The seed vault. We could be like the seed vault uh but for dwarf fort. And I could like hollow out this area around here and we could have windows going in so dwarves can see them. With, yeah, exactly, with giant protective puffins. Naturally, the dwarves have arrived to trade. Instead of uh, storing seeds and also more haunted. Yes, with, with zombies, of course. <laughs> with zombies! And blow! What? Um... All right, so let's go let's see. What silver stuff do I have around? Some bracelets. I got some earrings. I got some more rings. I got some scepters. A couple bars as well for good measure. I want a giant puffin. I, I, want, a, I want a breeding pair of giant puffins, but... They refuse to get conveniently stuck in my cages. It's quite annoying, actually. Ugh. Allergy tests are a thing. Let's lock these dwarves inside. 
Uh, that or just a really big net devilish potato. What's up, Gamble Camel? Diplomacy. I'm your outpost liaison from the Mountain Homes. Let's discuss your situation. There's much to share. We've updated your maps. What requests do you have of our merchants? All of the wood. Name is Leston. I really wish I could search this. Anything else I should import as well? Um, bar, seafoods. And... Play sheet. Oh, really? Can I not, like... Hold up. It's just on. I actually, I, I guess coal would just be under blocks. Although it's probably not under. Which miss coal blocks, but that can't be constructed. Hmm. I mean, we could just stick to the wood, it's fine. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I was like, I, I didn't see the stone menu there initially. Um. Where's, where's Malignite? Coal. See no lignite. Why is lignite below garnerite and above gypsum? Because it's not alphabetical. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll go with this. That's fine. They want seeds and crowns. Okay. Can make them some silver crowns. Trade, mark all. Not much in the way of value, but I'm just buying logs, which is quite a bit of logs. I mean, buying all that. All that stuff's super cheap. Fortunately enough for us, um, pick by the meats, by the fish, but I don't actually need the plump helmets. By the trousers, pieces of cheese. Oh shit, they bought a book. The Mountain Home for the Beginning Practitioner. Aw oh, man. I will trade less with you then. Screw that bronze pick. I don't even need it. I do need the logs though. Book is Spencer. All right, well, I will buy the cheese, and I will buy this, and we will bring something else for to trade for uh, that book, like uh, cut gems. Assuming I have any. Oh, they're there. Bring these, 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 these. Good wins indeed, good wins. Never seen what happened. Then bring books. I'm apparently just sitting here and starving. Also, hot damn, that's a lot of wins. FG, are you just all inning? Spider drowned in the toilet? Oh, that's sad. Poor Spoder. Might actually just barely be enough. No, it's not. Eh, okay, there we go. I was able to get a close trade on yellow for the book. So we have a book. Book acquired.
Raining more fetid slush. Mm. Rip spider friend. Fun fact, most common cause of death of spiders in houses is uh, dehydration. All right, chat. I think I'm going to pause the game briefly, and I'm going to real quick grab myself some lunch because I'm hungry. Um, so I will be back in like two minutes. Don't go anywhere too fast unless you really, really want to. Um, I will, I will be back in a, in a moment. Cheese for everyone! Sandwich! Let's take a lovely fruit, the tomato. Remove everything that's good from it, the seeds, the vitamins, the, the nutrients, everything that's good about it, and just jam it full of shit garbage shit sugar and put it in a shit bottle that sounds like shit when you put it on your shit. It's shit! Stop eating ketchup! Early food for me today. Oh no, I have to read a thing? Hold on. I'm going to read a thing with half a full mouth. Um. Um. Syntactical penguins love grammar, but capybaras usually misspell words frequently. Mountains love hugging goats that also are cats in spirit. Bring out pessimistic cheese war bots. Uh, verily, these 
scared uh, beards grow to become long, glorious locks. Microcline rocks. That's not how you spell rocks, but I'll correct it. All right. <clears throat> I back. Sort of. I'm still eating a granola bar, but. So currently the burrow is on because the dwarves are here. All right. So what we're going to do. I'm not going to joke with you. If you um, go after me about ketchup, I will actually just time you out for the day because it just the thought and the smell of this stuff makes me hurl. So it's halfway an ironic joke, but it's also like genuinely a, like a dislike. So if you're going to be a dick about it, I will actually like be like, okay, that's not funny anymore. All right. Okay, well then you'll understand my dislike of that statement. <laughs> okay, so creek drain right here is going to be connected to this. Though I don't think this is in here currently, so. Let's follow the dwarf that is... Um, going to do the the thing, the connecting of these jobs. Got to unpause that. No, no, the sound blurb is funny, which is why it's there. But it is like a genuine like I hate the shit. <laughs> But, you know, like they say, it's okay to not like things, but don't be a dick about it. Why do I keep pausing it? They just cancel it. What's going on? That's odd. Not reach sight. Why? Walk up there. Oh. <laughs> Got too full. Um, I guess that makes sense. Let's mine out this. It's weird that it doesn't fully cancel it. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Now that I think about it. I don't think I've ever actually seen that before. So I could just set this to be dug out. What a silly thing to argue about, though. Some things just don't taste good to some people. It's kind of just that simple. Still not reach it? I go pick up the... The lever. They should... Oh, I see. I have to put a thing in front of it. It's like cilantro? Sure. I mean, I love cilantro. Plenty of people dislike cilantro. It's like impossible for me to eat a taco without cilantro. But whenever my sister-in-law comes over for making tacos, because we make vegan tacos pretty frequently when she comes over, um, it's like I I can't use cilantro or put cilantro anywhere near it or even have cilantro in the room with her or she'll just like have to leave the room. 
Also, isn't it nice that you guys can just talk in whatever languages you want? I like it. It genuinely drives me nuts that so many chats on Twitch are just like, "No, you cannot like use the words you want to use in whatever language." It's like you have to speak this one language. It's like that's so limiting and tacky to me. All right. Um. Although I also have this advantage of like, I have a mod that speaks Russian. I have a, a mod that speaks French. Multiple mods, actually, that speak French. Horseradish tastes like bleach to you. I can see it. Also, better question. Why do you know what bleach tastes like? You lost me there, Asmog. Moderation? <laughs> It's a pretty well-moderated chat, generally. I mean, yeah, you can. Right-click Google Translate. Literally, that, that's it. Like, if, if you're using a Chromium browser, just right-click Google Translate source. Done. Super, super, super easy. But now I, I am genuinely curious as to why you know what bleach tastes like. <laughs> Someone took the... Uh... The Tide Pods craze a little bit too seriously, I think. We're going to drain that, and then we're going to get this one right here draining. This is just going to let all of this flow, and now suddenly we have our river again. And then all I need to do now is just this. Where are you headed? Seems dangerous. I should just seal this whole thing off, really. The less English you'll hear. The further into the country you go into Quebec, yes. You stay, stick around the cities, eh, not so much. I mean, yes, you'll, you'll hear you'll, you'll hear French everywhere, and everything will be in French, and all the signs will be in French. But if you're in this most of this most of the cities, just start off in French, say hello, and then swap to English, and vast majority of people are totally cool. I ran into some troubles one time when I was in Quebec when I was uh, there for a sports event because we were in one of the smaller towns in the middle of nowhere. Um, and that, <laughs> we, we had some trouble. This was back when people still used cash for things and I remember my mom having a hard time paying for gas once. <laughs> you guys not have bedrooms? You're supposed to. The traders left yet? Yes, they have. Lock the door. Check the traps. They still all empty. I will continue crying at my lack of giant puffins. And uh, we can now turn this off. Okay, so hopefully this leads to less randomly drowning merchants. But, like, you know, this is still pretty shallow, so I guess we'll see, right? I don't they'll just speak Canadian, but it's a hilarious sentence. You're very funny. I was going to say, technically, um, French is Canadian. Technically. Let's go back to, to building this, this vault thing that I started. I kind of want to dig down and use different materials, like... I could use dolomite or claystone. Uh, you know, maybe we, maybe we just dig out a bunch of marble. I could do that. Yeah, let's let's dig out granite. Let's go down into this granite layer. Start digging out granite. We'll do this for uh, that layer. I also need to find some caverns eventually, so if we hit caverns, I'll consider that a bonus. You're off to bed. You have a good night, FG. If 
by making a 7x7 seven seven bottom later to stop it from evaporating? Oh, definitely. But where's the fun in that? <laughs> like, certainly I could do that. I absolutely, there's a lot of things I could do to make a lot of my forts safer, but where's the fun in that? Like, totally. Absolutely, I could. See how many dwarves still need bedrooms? Quite a few. Okay, we should get back to that. There's space in the middle here. So if I dig out some more here, I could... Uh, these. Leave a hole right there. Let's just do this and that. Like a thousand people strong, strong. It was a different feeling from Montreal. I mean, it's it's yeah, it's it's like falling into France. Except they speak Quebecois instead of French. But I also live far enough from Quebec that I don't I don't speak a word of French. I can like read some French because I've stared at a lot of cereal boxes and they're all French on the back. And when you're little, you get bored of reading the front. So I can read some French, like th some words. It's like, oh, I know what that word is, but I would be able to say that I can read it. It's possible to build over several world tiles like an aqueduct. Uh, you mean from fort to fort? No. Wait, really? America has no official language? Has anyone? That's interesting. I always just kind of assumed it was English. The more you know, hey? Learn something every day. I mean, the, I, I always refer to America, like, as in, like, the United States of America, obviously, as uh, they're, they're closer to the European Union than they realize, <laughs> although somehow less coordinated in a lot of ways. But yeah, I know the, the states are, it's 50-some-odd it's countries in a, in a trench coat, pretty much. Some more than others. I mean, like, California is basically its own country. Same with Texas. But... You know, so, some of the more flyover states, eh. I mean, like, aside from being large food providers, they're a little bit more dependent on one another. Like, no one's going to argue that Rhode Island is its own country. Okay? <laughs> like, no one's going to argue that. Although, like, Hawaii could very easily be its own country just based off of a tourism industry. Coffee export, maybe. Let's get some more of these bedrooms done. With the This is America Speak English bumper stickers piss you off so much? I mean, that's just blatant racism. <laughs> uh, like, why don't you just get a bumper sticker at that point that just says, Hey, fuckos, I'm racist. Someone's going to clip that and take that out of context, and I'm going to regret saying that in a bit, but... <laughs> Also, hey, Raz. What's up, dude? By the way. You snuck in. How's things? Hold on. Orange was sitting on my patio and he sent me a message on Discord like ten minutes, like five minutes ago, saying "made it back." And I was just like, "You know, the door is open, right? Just let yourself in. It's fine." Yeah, 
You recently learned that there was three countries uh, within the other. There's three countries within other countries in the world. There's a um. Uh, there's a there's a Danish territory in Canada that's like 500 meters squared. I've driven through it. It's weird. <laughs> if you get out of your car, they make you they'd like check your documents, which is kind of hysterical. We didn't even realize we were driving through it until there was just like Danish flags everywhere. We're like, what the hell's happening? <laughs> I'm gonna stick it like that. It's just like it's it's a sad portion of the population that thinks it's okay. I I think that there's this this weird portion of a lot of populations in the world right now that don't seem to realize that um, free speech does not allow hate spe hate speech, but they don't understand the difference, which is sad. All right. Well, let's do. Got to fly. Take care of yourself, dude. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So what we got to do is we got to get some um, boulders coming up. Kind of tempted. Especially if I'm going to be doing a lot of star. Ooh. We found native silver. What do you guys think? Little minecart route coming from down here to up there. Could be fun. Could be fun. You want to see how minecarts work? Sure, we can do. We can do some minecarts. the The actual reality about minecarts is they work until they don't. Let's see where we're gonna pop up. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like, okay, not actually up into the creek there. We're gonna stop like right here. I'm also gonna erase this one. So I'm gonna go to like right here on this level and then we're gonna go across because there's this right here and I think this is gonna be our masonry district over here. So if I'm going across, I'm gonna go to about there, Oop, maybe not there. We're gonna go to, about here, which is gonna pop us out right there. So let's go to about there, and then go up, and go up, and go up, and that will pop us out right. Okay, that's a little too far. Let's go up to about there, and that's where we're gonna jump out right there. I also need to uh, put some more dwarves into the military, so I think I'm going to do that first. We all speak the same language, but many people pronounce words differently. And some people also put them in very, very, very different orders. Which is why Google Translate equals hysterical. Pessimist and lives a slow-going and leisurely pace. Dreams of creating a great work of art. Oh, also, Diamond Destruct redeemed a dwarf four minutes ago. D Diamond, what kind of dwarf do you want? Uh, it sub seems to have run out. Raz. Yes, I know the feeling. One that is conflicted with self and rocks. Can you translate that to English? <laughs> Remember how I said some people just put words in the different order. Uh, one that is conflicted. So you want somebody who's pissed? Because I could give you reg. That dwarf's pretty pissed. Um... What do you mean by conflict? Unless you want me to go through their thoughts and be like, he is conflicted by this since he... You want the pissed off child? <laughs> you are being serious right now? 
how good Google Translate is. Write something and uh, and translate it to another language and then translate it back to the original. Yes. Nom gone be good. Chat, do you know what Diamond's trying to tell me? <laughs> it's <go> okay. <laughs> Diamond destruct. There you go. <laughs> well, fair enough. Um, okay, so this is um, this is Diamond. Uh, she has an incredibly calm demeanor, and she is very comfortable with others that are different from herself. She forms strong and emotional bonds with others at times to her detriment, and she does not. Ha she is not a private person, and uh, she freely shares details of her life, uh, and tends to be a bit stubborn in changing her mind about things. She lives a fast-paced life, and she tends to hang on to grievances. Uh, she is moved by art and natural beauty, and she is troubled by this since she dislikes the natural world. She thinks she is fairly important in the grand scheme of things, and she tends to ask others for help with difficult decisions, and she prefers that everyone live as harmoniously as possible, and she tends to assume that the worst of two outcomes will be the one that comes to pass, and she, uh, and she tends to be swayed by the emotions of others. She tends to make a small mess with her own possessions and needs alcohol to get through the working day and likes working outdoors and only grumbles mildly at crappy weather. I mean, so here's the thing, right? Dwarves are alcoholic from birth because you know how humans uh, have like 70% water in their bodies? Dwarves are like 95% alcohol. Um, she personally believes that those who sacrifice for others should be deeply respected and sees the denial of impulses as vain and foolish pursuit and uh, finds herself to be somewhat disgusted with elegant speakers and dreams of raising a family. Uh, she likes pyrolustite, uh, steel alexandrite, and giant mountain goat hoof. Uh, and the color purple top and quivers and rabbits for their ears and nightmares for their unfathomably horrifying nature. And the sight of the adoration of butterflies and when possible prefers to consume bat, cranberry, and hemp seed oil. And uh, can't stand hamsters. Doesn't like them for their puffy cheeks, turns out. So down here, um, I'm a automate. these oh well that was kind of unexpected you like nightmare creatures holy fuck not that uncommon actually a vile darkness of force ever has arrived um so there's now several goblin crossbowmen walking onto the map one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to unpause this. We're going to jump over to here. Crypt and I'm going to... Force, Crypt of Darkness. Thanks for the dollar, uh, Claiborne. I'm going to pull this lever over here and uh, open this door and just trap them all in cages. And then I will I uh, crush them in the crushy thingy. Very curious about um, where they came from, though. This is an iron breastplate. It is sized for goblins. It's got an image of an apple tree. The image is a symbol of the inferior midnight. All right. Why are they inferior to midnight? Uh, a goblin civilization is made from tin. Um, okay. Well, let's see. There's a goblin forest retreat. So there's no elves here. They're all goblins. And it's these guys that are up in the in the glaciers. Not uh is it the guys with the fortress of like ten thousand? Yes. Castle Ghoul is a really good name for a fortress of goblins. The Wrath of Metal is the name of that local government. Well, yeah, no, goblins are like elves. They, they're they immortal. Fucking Slayer? Is that, is, that, is that what we're doing now? I'm curious to see if the giant... If there's anything else on the map that's going to fight with them. I mean, there's the giant puffins. That's something I got to do. Just make sure they don't 
vault in that way. That, that would be awkward. I don't really want to have to kill them multiple times. I'm just going to catch them in cages. It's one, two. Okay, there goes the siege. See you, nerds. All right, let's... um. No, don't remove the door. Oh, right, it's been taken by invaders. All right, well, let's, uh, let's just pull this lever and uh, turn this off for right now. I'm going to have to be quite smart about this. I may actually just dump their gear off of them. I may actually just dump their gear off of them. And then just release them. That's probably what we're going to do. Anyway, let's siege over. It's easy enough. No giant puffins in the traps. Yeah, there's a few ways to strip them. Get that goblinite, pretty much. I'm gonna station the military right there for a second just to claim back this other door. I have to grab their gear first. Yeah, we designate their cages with dump designation and then undump, undump the cages. Yes, that's that's how you do it. So I don't actually need them to do that. So I'm going to cancel the order after they're done. Uh, lock that door. Turn this off and we'll get the other two. I think I make, might make a room specifically for removing their gear because that's probably how I'm going to have to deal with the majority of them. I just had a werecat dwarf expelled come back to hunt you. Oh, that's awesome. I, uh, I, I've, I've definitely had that happen in forts before where it's just like, oh, you were made into a were creature here. I'm so sorry. And then they come back and fight with me. And it's like, you know, I deserve that. <laughs> I accept that I probably deserve that. Well, over here, I'm going to build a built stone kind of entryway right there. Super lazy trapping, but hey. There's FG's dwarf. You're a gem cutter. Dream of raising a family. You don't care about art. Finds those that deny their impulse is somewhat stiff. Doesn't often... Tends to avoid crowds. Doesn't go out of her way to help others. Often feels envious. Uh, tends to be a little wasteful when working on projects. Is quick to form negative views about things. I feel like this dwarf could possibly be good in the military. Bored after being unable to practice a craft for too long. Maybe not. Oh, you. You're a jeweler. Pun? of raising a family and feel strongly about the law constant state of internal rage is incredibly brave there you go just looking for uh, military recruits currently maybe they will grab some untattered socks you're are you accusing me of having tattered socks in my fortress you might be right but like are you accusing me of having tattered socks in my fortress You're not from a cold weather place. Gore-Tex is waterproof and wind resistant, so I guess it would depend on whether or not it's windy. You're impervious to the effects of stress, dreams of creating a great work of art, finds a preservative skill mastery off putting. Story would be good, but they Yeah, we'll give you a shot. It's time to get uh, some new recruits into the military.
right. No wind? Well, I mean, I Gore-Tex Gore isn't necessarily warm, so I don't know. So I, I would say no. No, goblins will not die if caged in eventually, like dwarves. They might go insane. This dwarf dreams of mastering a skill, respect sacrifice. Generally, acts impartially is rarely moved to mercy and uh, will sometimes uh, take the time to come to pass, will occasionally overindulge and tends to not be swayed by emotional appeals and can handle stress. Has two kids. All right, Erdem. Military is now up to five, which means I'm going to actually need to make more gear. But let's get them all training. Captain Claiborne is going to teach them how to train. I'm actually kind of curious how many of them are going to go get gear. There should be enough hammers for them all. Sticking with the pointy end, this is hammers. Silver hammers, specifically. Hit him with the heavy bit. Let's do forge copper shields. Let's grab 10. More hammers of a pointy end IRL. True, there's the pointy end and the not pointy end. In different squads of the same training area, yep. Although I generally give different squads different barracks because it feels weird. Oh shit, is this actually an aquifer? Oh wow. <laughs> okay, we gotta redirect this. So instead, let's do that. Fill this in a little bit. Instead, I will go up and around it. Also, I've got a weaponsmith that's been possessed and has already begun a mysterious construction. Ooh. Any bets on what this weaponsmith makes? What have they grabbed? Can't be much. Piece of silver and alder logs. <laughs> oh my god, a bill and whip. <laughs> Wait, did you just get a bill and whip? Or are you saying that we're gonna get a bill and whip? A teaspoon. Uh, I wonder if they even I wonder if they can still make artifact mortar and pestles. Silver could be good. I mean it could also be like a spear. Which could be less than optimal. What are preferences? I'm not gonna tell you. That's cheating. Serrated disc. Wouldn't that be a metal crafter? I mean, this dwarf's definitely going to craft an odd, an an, ob, an object. In a moment. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. 
that's pretty good. That's, 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 it's, it's not a whip, but that's pretty fucking good. Uh, Solon the Weaponsmith has created, uh, Lyktomist Thalbost Istir, a silver mace, and offers it to the, uh, walls, uh, the, the whales of drowning. And, uh, was that a possession? Oh, it was just a possession. Okay, so they don't become legendary from it. But, uh, Claiborne, uh, you got a new toy. Squatty Leedy, uh, you are now using a new weapon, a specific weapon even, and it's that. Um, this is a silver mace. Our craft store ship is of the highest quality. It is The object is adorned with hanging rings of silver, and on the item is an image of diamonds in alder, which is pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah, the name is pretty funny. It's not like Bottomus, it's like Otomus. Thalbost Istir. There's no B. Pretty funny though. So the question is, did Claiborne grab it yet? Your brain put a B in there automatically? You know, I've said this many times, but you, you think the thing you want to... You, you hear what you want to hear and not what's actually said. Oh, did I not confirm it? Maybe I didn't. I didn't confirm it. I always forget to hit confirm. Specific weapon, that one. Confirm. There you go. So you're the only one with an artifact now. And it's the artifact item. You were crying for a second, probably with happiness. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to guess. Um, you want to wander as well. All right, so where down here? Put some monster slayers in and so you can expel them because nobility? They are nobility. That seems like a bug. I mean, there they must be nobility somewhere. But they certainly can't be nobility where you are. I realize that making it this shape is far less um, convenient <laughs> and makes far less sense, but I'm doing it anyway because it looked cool. Not going to slow it down that much either. Does Dwarf Fortress take damage type into account, like uh, silver against werewolves? Why does everybody think that silver would be better against were creatures? I mean, it takes metal types and weight and sharpness into account, but there's no magical properties for metal. Specifically, anyway. Did a monster hunter become king of a human civ once? Really? Well, that's kind of interesting. Part of the lore and werewolves in your world? Yeah, but last I checked, Dwarf Fortress doesn't take place in our world. Not yet, at least. Yes, not yet. Which is also, like, the actual correct answer for the vast majority of things to our fortress is not yet! <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's not specifically silver, and it depends on the werebeast type. So, 
I, it's not like a fair, like honest thing to say. It's like, do they? No, they don't have specific weaknesses to a specific type of metal. But also, like, good luck figuring out the one that they are weak to. So, like, is that really relevant information, I would beg to ask? <laughs> weak to screaming metal. Well, fuck. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I found booming metal recently, and I, I'm still not sure what that means. My favorite metal that I ever found, though, was I found black metal. It's like, ah, yes, black metal. The most normal type of metal. By a forgotten beast? He probably already is a were beast, though, Tygo. All divine metals are the same? I don't actually know <laughs> if that's still the case. Um, no. And uh, we are going to make all of this out of, because I don't like the look of the engraved tracks. We're, we're making them out of, you know, actual materials because they just look cooler that way. Oh, right. And then there's water dripping out of the wall here. Whoops. Probably finish uh, cleaning this up. The most metal kind of metal? I don't know if there's a heavy option, but I would think heavy metal would be the most metal type of metal. Although, at that point, I would just state that almost any metal should be considered metal metal in, in a world where things are metal. Platinum, maybe? Not lead. Platinum's heavier than lead, is it not? Gold's pretty heavy? Yeah, but platinum's heavier than gold, at least in Dwarf Fort. using whatever's closest. I'm gonna get this cleared up. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be all of it. I'm so happy that they made the built sections change the color or like hide the areas that you've dug out. What's this track for? Moving uh, stone up. And I'm just going to slowly extend it as we dig deeper. But initially, it's going to be for, for moving, I think, granite. And I'm going to make a track stop up here, which is going to be full breaks. And it's just going to dump. Gonna go right there. And then down at the bottom. Gonna make a track stop here, which doesn't do anything. It's gonna be a track stop. And then right here I'm gonna put a wall so it doesn't derail. Which I'm just gonna build out of marble. That'll look nice for down here. Also gonna use it for bringing up all of this uh Native silver, which is kind of awesome that it's down here. Kind of looks like, um, like a jellyfish. Kind of neat. But yeah, I'm going to make, I'm just doing it this way so I don't have to make a billion wheelbarrows, basically. Just doing it so I don't have to make a billion wheelbarrows. That. Oh no, Wiz! Don't have enough to wager that amount. 
If you want to find out how much you have, um, just exclamation or exclamation point tickets. I'm gonna make uh, wooden minecarts for the lowest possible chance of randomly turning a dwarf into a red mist. Use chestnut wood. Why not? We're gonna make two. Best of luck with your investments, chat room. And also, thank you very much for everybody tuning in today. I think today's stream is probably going to be a little bit shorter just because Orange is in my apartment right now. So I think plan for today is we'll probably aim for like like an eight and a half hour stream instead of the, the normal like 10. Ever wonder how all alloys got invented? It was just a, what if I put this orange rock in this gray rock? Do I ever wonder? Not really. Have I read about it on Wikipedia before? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't know if that necessarily counts as wondering. Also, um, my parents used to have this massive, like... Uh, it's not... Encyclopedia is the wrong word. This massive, like, text... His, historical textbook, I guess. Um, that had, like tons of random information like that about like the stone age and the bronze age and it was neat it had lots of colored pictures and i remember going through it all a lot when i was little all right so this specifically is going to be for na oops, native stone uh native aluminum nope silver silver nuggets um and also granite all right, that'll be down here. Nope, that'll be granite. Are going to be the only things that go into that stockpile. And then there's going to be a minecart route that is put here, and then we're going to add. This is the first. Oh, is it not constructed yet? No, it is constructed. What the? Okay, never mind. I already did add the thing. I just didn't see it pop up. Um, and then uh, we're going to uh, take items. It's just going to be all types of stone. But it's only going to take from this one stockpile, so it's only going to get the stuff that goes into that stockpile. Um, it's going to be pushed to the right. And I'm going to put this minecart on it. And then it's it obviously isn't going to go because like a lot of them are still incomplete, but... Um, up here at the top, I'm going to add a new stop, which is going to go up here, um, which is going to tell them to push it back down. When always push south, always immediately, because it'll already have dumped all the items, and then it'll push south. Um... It should be easy enough. And uh, from here... Am I blanking on what I'm doing? Oh, I know what I'm doing. Tasks. Let's unforbid the tracks that didn't get finished, which is why they're carrying it. Up to the top. Hey, Taurus. Debating the wonder on metallurgy? Not necessarily debating. Literally going over an NDA, a couple secondary contracts, and then discussing certain specific rules which you wouldn't be familiar with. Okay. So I'm glad it went quick, though. Like, it's nice that you weren't, like, stuck in a classroom all day listening to boring shit. It was definitely not for a cat milking operation based in the basement of your workplace. <laughs> knowing, knowing Vancouver, it wouldn't be cat milking. Certainly wouldn't be cat milking. It would just be like opium the the deliveries. Um Alright, so or actually not probably not opium. More more likely something slightly more nefarious. Okay, well now they're carrying it down. <laughs> they're they're just carrying it up and down because all of this stuff isn't constructed, I think. Yeah, okay. We just need these to get unsuspended and finished. Whoa! Hi, Jess! Thank you much for the raid! That's the first raid I've gotten in, like, several days. It's, it's good to see you. What's up? 
How was your dwarfing today? I saw that you were dwarfing. We're building a little minecart track to transport stuff. This is a um, haunted slash uh, <laughs> untamed wilds map, um, which means that the surface is uh, very angry at my existence at all times. Beer. Currently, it's not so bad, though. It's mostly filled with these giant puffins, um, which, ha which have been here for a very long time and seem to refuse to leave, which is odd because they're annoyed after being caught in a uh, in a snowstorm, Roxy, for you. Thanks for the third month. Cheers. So, um, Lurk Dwarf present. Rev up, Rays. What's up, dude? Thanks for the third month as well. Uh, terrifying. Yes, terrifying, not haunted. Terrifying is ba is like the Untamed Wilds version of haunted. Um, we earlier had undead giant moose running around. Oh, hey, bees. It's kind of awesome, actually. Uh, we had undead giant moose running around, and we also for a bit had. Um, uh, what, what's it called? Uh, an, end, an undead giant eagle? You had some pathing issues earlier game that kind of killed your, killed your fort super early game. Uh, mostly user error leading to pathfinding problems, but meh. Okay, gotcha. Not user error, it's more just poor design decisions on Dwarf Fortress's part. But that sucks. Um, but this is the fort itself. We've got these pretty little creeks that are still filling up. They had zombies in them for a bit, so I had to drain them. Um, but uh, this is this is my little bedroom design. We've got these little targets, um, which I, I need to finish more bedrooms, but I've been distracted by this minecart route that I'm building. Um, and, oh yeah, it, it it's, it's vomit, not snow. Um, there's fitted slush everywhere. There's also snow, but it's raining snow vomit. Snowing snow vomit? Sure. Um, it's snowing vomit. It's delicious. So we are keeping the dwarves as underground as possible. <laughs> for as much as possible. Um, for what I should assume to be obvious reasons. It's pretty gnarly down here. Also, it looks like my uh, minecart route might be working. Let's see. Up, 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 up. Get that finished, please. Just dwarf things? Yeah, it's just vomit. Yeah, the fort's coming along quite nicely, actually. Yeah, let's just... Game. I need to remove this claystone. Can you please help me remove this claystone? But yeah, today's an interesting today day today because one of my mods is actually in my apartment, which isn't something that happens very often. So... It's actually kind of weird streaming with another person here, but is what it is. It's been like fucking four and a half years <laughs> since I actively streamed as a second person in my apartment, so. Also, hello, Alistair. And also, welcome Raiders, by the way. And of course, you guys should go follow Jess, because it's, it's nice to have, you know, it's weird that I'm saying this shit again, but it's nice to have other big streamers streaming Dwarf Fortress, you know? Like for a bit there, there was a there was a lot of big streamers streaming dwarf, but they're all gone again. I sag. All right, I'm gonna dump this boulder. We'll just get rid of it because this boulder is blocking my friggin. Also gonna dump this one. Okay, that's that one gone. I can unsuspend that, and I can unsuspend that. And let's see, does this minecart route have everything done? Yes, it does. It does indeed. Means I should be able to go down to here and wait for them to bring the minecart over and watch it go up. Yeah, but they were only here for like eight minutes. Eight to ten minutes, really. I don't really count that. <laughs> Established potato. You had a dear woman in your library yesterday who was debating existence and came to the conclusion it wasn't real and left feeling shaken. Wait, how do you know that she came to the conclusion that it wasn't real? That's kind of whack. Oops. There you go. So this is my minecart now. Goes up. Goes down to here. Okay. Um, and then we watch here to make sure that they load it and then it should go up once it's loaded. So dwarves should come over and start loading stuff in. They load all this granite in. 
They load all the granite. All the granite and silver nuggets, of course. And then they push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, and the dog follows the dwarf. They push it up to here. And then they dump it out. And then they push it back down. And that's how my minecart work. Disbelieves the idea of existence. Oh my word. <laughs> that shit's deep. So not the most necessary uh, thing, but eventually we'll just have all of the, the boulders up here. And so I can just make a boulder stockpile right here, which is just going to be for all, no metal ores, no clay, and just other stone and economic. Uh, actually, let's just make it for just economic stone. And then they'll fill it up with whatever the fuck from the top too. And uh, I can go around and I can uh, get rid of all of these masons workshops that are everywhere. And we can rebuild them all over there. So I'm actually committing to the part where I said that this these two were temporary. Sort of. And this one. All right, dwarves. Why are you... What? What? I mean, it's not deep enough for you to drown, but like... Any tips for were rabbits? Uh, quite a few number of your doors have been bitten. Uh, when the world turns to uh, build as many doors as possible is the first thing. Um, Batar. Second thing is once you've built as many doors as possible, when the full moon starts and they all turn, pause the game and lock every single one of the ones that's in a lockable room in that room. Just go locking all of the doors and try and seal as many of them in as possible because that is the only chance you have. Which sounds kind of brutal, but it's very much the truth. The only chance you have is simply lock them in, make sure they don't get out. Um, and then at that point, it's a matter of just like weeding them out until as few of them are left as possible. And once as few of them are left uh, as possible from there, uh, you can begin to slowly rebuild your fortress. Has discovered reasons of why the wheel and execu execution are, are yeah it's it, that's interesting I've just I've never seen um I I've never seen a, a dwarf discover like existence that's that's wild did I start my own? it's never gonna happen <laughs> mad dax Uh, do library discoveries advanced dwarf tech tree? There is no tech tree in Dwarf Fortress. So I wouldn't even say not yet. But, um, there is no tech tree in Dwarf Fortress. Just period. Aside from, like, maybe knowledge of training animals. I guess that's kind of a tech tree. Dwarf ha Dwarves have tech, but they don't like trees. Just like me. I've actually been over this with chat many times. I am firmly anti-tech tree in video games. I hate tech trees in games. Tech trees ruin games. Intruding in the flow here. I mean, possibly. But I think it is. Yes. I do know what that is. I wasn't sure, but yes, I do know what that is. It's like a bubble on your eye. Why do you ask? What's up? Got diagnosed with it? That's terrifying. It's not something I've ever had to deal with. I'm very familiar with the specific problems I have with my vision. 
in my eyes, but I'm not familiar with things I don't have. Doesn't seem so bad. Just I'm I'm, I'm reading symptoms and treatment. Seems not that bad overall. Assuming you have access to eye doctors. Dr. Linden, what kind of dwarf do you want? Are lame, you prefer tech rivers? I definitely agree. Also, gypsum. That's exciting. A doctor for the doctor. Um, let's see if I have any available doctors. Hold up. I have to add one, which is well, probably not a bad idea at this point. I could give you a... Uh, okay, well, do you want a surgeon or do you want a diagnoser? They're both ecstatic with their lives, by the way. I can choose. I mean, I can, I can add a bone doctor if you like. Or I could just add another doctor. I, okay, can I just say that it's funny to me that the <laughs> the animal dissector is a competent is a competent diagnoser. So what I have with my eyes, base night, um, is I have um, coloboma of the retina and the iris in both eyes. Essentially what it is, is it's a defect from birth uh, and it's a weakness and deformation in the retina at the back of the eye. And it's also can be a deformation in the eyeball itself. So I basically was born with deformed eyes. Um, and so for me, what I have is something that I was born with that I've always had that is just slowly getting worse. Um, I also have some other vision issues which are unrelated. Um, but the main source of my weird looking eyes and the actual vision problems I have is from the coloboma and it sounds terrifying. Um, but it's something that I've largely just learned to live with. So, uh, Rith is our new doctor. Who's going to be the one that's this, that, uh, Dr. Linden is going to get. Disclaimer, you're not a doctor IRL. There actually is a heart surgeon who watches this stream sometimes. Um. Definitely Dr. Linden. He's a doctor, just not that kind of doctor. I'm a doctor. Not that kind of doctor! I can't even remember what that's from anymore. So... Eye problems are terrifying, but re like after like a 10 second Wikipedia skim of what you've got, it sounds kind of scary, but at the same time, it seems like there's plenty of ways around it largely. Wait, hold on. Oil fist? That is an incredible name. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> well, we know who's doing the rectal exams. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> uh, perfect name for a doctor. <laughs> yeah, that, that like, the, the throat examination's open wide! <laughs> we... <laughs> I just picked a dwarf with skills in it. That's all I did. I was like, I need somebody who's like got some doctoring skills. Also, he's very happy and optimistic and is incredibly brave in the face of looming danger, perhaps a bit foolhardily and tends to ask others for help with difficult decisions, like where to put his fist. 
Um, and he tends to be a little wasteful when working on projects, and he is pleased uh, with his uh, own appearance and talents. He doesn't seek out excitement. He is trusting, and he sometimes acts with determination and confidence. He is quick to form negative views about things. He generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity, and, he's de and he doesn't try to get things done perfectly, and he's quick to anger, and he has a greedy streak. He has a sense of duty and occasionally overindulges and needs alcohol to get through the working day and does not mind being outdoors at least for a time. I've read so many of these lines before, quote, if Tyler 1 is insane, that I only need to read like the first two or three words in, a, in the sentence to know what the rest of them is, so I stop reading at a point. He personally disregards tradition and finds the pursuit of skill mastery off-putting and doesn't particularly value loyalty. And dreams of creating a great work of art. He likes Billin Bloodstone and giant fox leather. Gems and... Simangs? What is that? For their ability to swing through the trees. Must be a monkey. Uh, and the words of the berries of serenity and uh, the sound of the phrase of lathering? Well, oil fist, obviously. And the uh, sight of the festive suitor, when possible, prefers to consume sweet potato, wine, and rice flour. And hates mosquitoes. That is one hell of a name. <laughs> like, it's that's, that's just too perfect. Rith means bell, so bell oil fist. Obey the praise of lathering or see my oiled fist is where my brain goes with that. That is just too goddamn funny. Oh boy. Um, Okay, um, I just paid myself <laughs> in the background while I was reading that. That's how much I read these. I'm sorry, what? The roosters? Oh, it's early spring. We're about to have a zombie rooster on, in the fort. Um, we have a zombie rooster in the fort, chat. Uh, actually, a headless zombie rooster. Um, so, hmm, or rather a hen corpse. It's not a rooster corpse. It's a hen corpse. It's a hen corpse. Um, so the first of spring is the day of the year where anything can die of old age and door for it. And, um, so this hen died of old age. And is now a headless... Zo well, actually, sorry. It was a full hen, and now it's just a head because the chickens killed it, I think. <laughs> the chickens killed it. Well, at least they're dealing with their own problems. The rooster bites the hen corpse in the right wing, denting it. Um, this reminds me of those videos of, like, chickens just, like, pecking um, a mouse to death or a rat to death. They just, like, just, like center in on the spine and go, bang, and it's dead. The rooster uh, scratches the rotten hen corpse. Rotten hen corpse scratches the rooster in the head. And then the, the rooster... The rooster pushes the hen corpse in the left lower leg, bruising the skin. Uh, pushes the corpse in the thing. Yeah, they're just bumping into it. All right, well, I, I will uh, send the military up here to go squish it. Although... I think it's dead already. Is there an undead head anywhere? Nope. It's they the the, the chickens dealt with it themselves. Um who got it though? I really need to know. <laughs> who got the kill on the zombie hen? Maybe none of them did? That would be a bit of a shame. Is afraid after experiencing trauma. Are none of them credited with the kill? Well, that's a shame. Chickens don't call cops, apparently. All right. Well, I need to move my chickens down here anyway. I'm thinking give them a little pen over here somewhere close to the, uh, the Farmer's Guild, maybe. Like uh, attached back here, perhaps, to the Farmer's Guild.
Family business? Oh, naturally. This ain't cud. No, this ain't cud. This is Dorfort. Also, hello, Haddock. Were you, were you watching Cut on the YouTube or something? Vogel! Thank you very much for the Prime sub for the fourth month. I still find it hard to say your whole name, but... <laughs> it's good to see you around. Is there a way to get rid of mud in a specific place? Build a floor over top of it to, and delete the floor. We'll get rid of it. Build a floor and remove the floor. We'll, we'll do it. And how do you deal with webs stuck in the air after you cut a tree? That's a good question because they shouldn't be stuck in the air. They should fall uh, with the tree. Um, I don't know, actually, in regards to the webs question. Um, but for uh, mud, just build floor over top of it and then remove the floor. Quote of Tyler1 is insane. Thank you very much for continuing that sub you got from Anonymous, by the way. Do monkey men exist? I... I I don't know. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Uh... Or real... Uh, eh, eh. I don't... I don't think so. Uh... Uh... Capuchin men do. They live in tropical forests. There's also giant capuchins. They're about half the size of a dwarf. Lion Tamron Man? Yep. Aww. <laughs> That's a cute little sprite. You can toggle them to an L. Very small. Also half the size of a dwarf. Have I seen the horrid leech man? No, but I've seen the wonder and glory that is the worm man. The Worm Man is far and away my favorite. Spider Monkey Man? I already closed the wiki. You want to link it? If you link it, I'll, I'll take a peek. What are you doing? Watching a spinning demonstration. What an awkward place to be watching a spinning demonstration. Spider monkey and leech. Let's take a look at this. Okay, the leech looks like something out of Caves of Cud. And uh, the spider monkey man... Oh, I see. I'm on the wrong page. Okay. Yeah, I, I think the, the, the golden lion tamarind's my favorite. The leech is something special, though. That's something else. Trying to get these done. This is going to be my new um, chicken coop. Let's just do shale floors. Shale floors. Shale floors. You know, it's kind of disturbing actually. Wait, where are you putting the chickens? In a tiny little box underground by themselves where they can't see sunshine. <laughs> it's kind of disturbing if you actually think about it. For more than like a couple of seconds. What, what's something to ask Tarn the Leech Man? Does a chicken coop need to be? A uh, one tile. You can fit them all into one tile. 
if you want to be real mean to your poor chickens. Where is this miasma coming from? Um. Oh, there's the zombie chickens mangled corpse. <laughs> we can get rid of that. Um. Let's open this. Turn this on. Sign more dwarves. Ducks, chickens, pea heads, and something. <laughs> Why do none of the gibbons get man or giant variants? You know, I I would be we could ask him that, but I'd be willing to bet the answer would be we didn't have time, oversight, we didn't think about it. It's usually my experience with that. Also, we're about to get hit with an ad. I'm gonna go through some of these dwarves once we get through this ad. I'm just gonna smash this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to really like max up my military in a minute. Also. I'm going to unforbid, actually, hold on, before I do anything stupid. Still just giant puffins, okay. I'm gonna unforbid all of these, all of these woods over here. And um, I'm gonna turn off this. Squidmen are just kind of quiet. They just kind of keep to themselves. I'm also going to expand the size of the woodstock pile. And hopefully we can get Creedence Kilt Clearwater Revival to play this year. Um, and down here we're going to grab you. 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 And I'm going to go to workshops, farming, nest box. Throw a door. Most of the dwarves are pretty happy, though. We're doing okay, actually, all things considered. That's the wrong tool. Siltstone, siltstone. Rinse, repeat. Same story. I've never seen one. Quote of Tyler one is insane. Not in classic DF, not in current DF. Never. The only like underwater big creature I've seen is a giant Mako shark. And I saw it once for about 10 seconds and then set up a huge trap for it and it never came back. <laughs> and I was sad. Time to change that? How exactly? I do plenty of ocean forts on Untamed Wilds. I've just never seen one. Well, that's not true. I've I've seen them in um I've seen them in uh arena, but that that doesn't count. Okay. I need to make let's just say 30 beds. How can one trap a sea beast? Uh, you drain the water around it and cross your fingers. Okay, so I'm gonna lock this door so that they, hopefully, lay some eggs and get us some chicks because my chickens are too, are getting too old.
I'm going to place two water wheels here, I think, in this spot right here. I do a gear assembly. Oh, I need gear assemblies. Um, actually, I'm just going to place some mechanics workshops down here. Uh, let's do one. Yeah, let's just do a mechanics workshop right there. I'm going to tell them to make me two mechanisms. I'm going to need a, a millstone in a minute. Only <laughs> you loved the haunted ocean that only went. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Yeah, I was like, oh no, it's a scary ocean. Ah, <laughs> whatever shall we do? To be fair, th this is technically an untamed wilds ocean here on on this particular map, which is pretty similar. Sperm whale man walking out of the sea. They would uh, they would drown actually. So the the f the hmm that's a religion name. What's up, Putin Scoop? Here from Jess's rate. What's up? Uh, you watched a YouTube video? Oh, you watched my YouTube summary? So, well, cheers. It was just many many days of waking up and then panic at the lead making a video as quickly as possible and trying to beat the Reddit posts. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what it was. Um, you think one of their spears may be pregnancy? Really, Stone? <laughs> really? <laughs> what gave you that idea? <laughs> Perhaps, yeah, maybe. Um, I think we should we should make them a temple. Why not? I think, uh, let, let's make them... Hmm. Chat, where in this district do you think we should make them a temple? Uh, my current two temples are this one right here. Uh, this is the uh, Temple of Colors for the Fabulous Coven. And then up here is just my generic everything temple. Um, where should I put the temple to the pregnant creed? I'm not going to make it look like a womb. I'm just... I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> like, not, not to be too much me, but... Imagine <laughs> making a pregnancy. That's, uh... Huh. <laughs> Think it looked like a smiley face? Aye. Upper left? I'm kind of thinking, like, up, upper left, like, here, maybe? Or, like down on this spot maybe in this little nook in the river right there when he's farming why am I scared to click on that imager link ad hoc also hey Ben what's up dude you know I, I don't really like doing that no one will find me. It just really takes me out of it. I like making weird symbols and patterns, but I don't like doing stuff that exists in real life. Doesn't feel dwarfy to me. I think I'm going to go for this kind of area right here. But uh, we'll note down the name of the god that they worship when I build it. And... Um, we can, you know. Once we've noted down the name of the god that they worship, uh, we can make some statues of it or something. Um, rock block. Let's get some more beds made. All right, so let's pass out some beds to dwarves that don't have bedrooms yet. The kids don't need them just yet. You can have a bed. You can have a bed. The definitely a doctor, not a doctor, has a bed now, which is good.
I love it when they automatically already have a pair. It's like half as many bedrooms need to be made. It's quite a lot of granite down there. Oh, sperm whale. Undead sperm whale. Not a giant, oh, it is a giant sperm whale, oh boy. Somebody on Reddit said that they were messing around in arena and they said that it took um, 150 fully adamantine clad dwarves to kill a giant sperm whale. And I believe it based on like the size of the, We're going to have to go back to the well on that joke. Lyagushki. Guy at Lyagushka, Lyagushki, I Laya, I give up. And I'm just going to say a random thing each time. I need to go back and watch that VOD. <laughs> where, we, where, where Waylon, like, unknowingly fixes weeks of anguish on my behalf. I realize sometimes I'm just using the boulders and sometimes I'm not. How's that, chat? Making a millstone and a quern. It'll do. Chat, dumb question. Do you need a quern or a millstone for gypsum? Because I can never remember. Pretty easily with gyms. I'm really glad you can't like completely peak max out dwarves anymore. Like that was something I didn't like about older versions of the game. I think having uh, full squads of perfect dwarves just removes all of the fun from the game. There we go. Let's do that. We're going to do granite floors for this. Still can, drowning chambers? Yeah, but like I said, it's harder. But to me, stuff like that actively ruins the game. Dwarves are too strong as is. If like 10 dwarves can take out like 200 goblins, it's like, come on. No reason to build anything cool. Kind of ruins a lot of the fun of it for me. take a little bit for us to get this done, but we'll get it done. Uh, there's little arrows that you click on, Bear on a Bus. Not true. Brokely. Unless you're talking about, like, one dead giant creature, in which case you need to have some sort of, like, challenges and boss fights. Oh, there's lots of things in Dwarf Fortress that make the game way too easy. Military is one of those things, but... No, what's a good idea? Mm. 
this is either going to look horrible or look kind of awesome. I don't know which. I love just the flood of dwarves coming in to build a thing. Never going to get old. Been doing this for thousands of hours and it's still not old. There we go. Oh, got the Earthen Creed and the Pregnant Creed asking for spots now. I mean, I do too in regards to militia, but um, I don't. Uh, what what I don't do is uh, use tricks to overtrain them super fast. That's that's the thing that annoys me and takes the fun out of it for me. Also, welcome back, Bastet. Giant sponge killed your fisherman. Oh, no. <laughs> the fisherman probably deserved it, though. It's a kiln? Okay. It's a kiln. I'll just place you over here. This is the temporary thing now. It's like I, I've swapped from having like a bunch of temporary stuff up here, which I'm still in the process of deleting, to now just having a bunch of temporary stuff underground. Also, we need to make more drink. That time again. Also need to improve my butcher shop's locations and do a bunch of stuff, but... Only if they, it only matters if they were square as mug. You know, there, there was a mod. I can't remember what tile set it was for. I want to say it was for, um, obsidian back in the day. Um, that just made all of the giant sponge sponges and sponge men look like SpongeBob, like little SpongeBob sprites for the game. It's pretty good. It's a quality mod. Something something crafts dwarf ship, something something highest quality. Alright, well I will get this one assigned to the pregnant creed. Which is a name for a religion. At least unlike the other world, this faction actually has religions. The other um whoops, no not library. Um Pause. Wrong thing. Remove current assignment. Yes. Um, temple. Earth and Creed. Cult of Glistening. Fabulous. Pregnant. So they worship the god of metals and dance, which is interesting because it's actually the same god as the other uh, faction that we have, which is, or the other religion that we have, which is the Fabulous Coven. Huh. The Walled Coven, on the other hand, uh, worships a different god. And then there's also the Earthen Creed, which wants a temple, uh, which are these guys. They also worship the same god. So I've got... Three different religions based around the god of metals and dance. It clearly isn't the sphere of pregnancy. It's just a, a interesting naming convention. <laughs> um. Hmm. You're picturing a mosh pit for a temple. My favorite music that I ever had for a faction bear on a bus was a, uh, uh, there was a handful of dwarves that um, enjoyed the sound of future metal, which is 
perhaps one of my favorite, just definitely not a like band name thing. So I think I'm going to prioritize. Yeah, we'll we'll just do them in order that they come in. So we'll we'll make this into the Earth and Creed, and we'll queue up another one, maybe just down here, I guess. I guess this is gonna kinda become a temple complex, I suppose. Sathados, thank you very much for the 27th month. Time marches on, doesn't it? Time marches on. Have you put much time into this version of the game yet, out of curiosity? And uh, did you see that they uh, changed how uh, death accumulation works in, in Dwarf Fort in the last patch? Also, investments are open. If you wish to invest your tickets. Requires fuel. Well, that is important. <laughs> it's like, why did that not work? It requires fuel. And for you bet that blind is mailing orange and forcing him to work in the back room. You know what's cute about that is you assume that I have more than one room. On the shores of an evil ocean and it rains blood. Oh, just like here, except here it's raising snow, or, or it's not raining, it's snowing vomit. It's lovely. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> uh, we, we also had a zombie giant eagle fight with a normal giant walrus. The giant walrus won, bit one of its wings off, and then it hobbled off the map. <laughs> I demand an opulent dining room. I, I don't even have a table. Just ask Orange, it's true. This desk is the only table I have in this apartment. I'll just let you make charcoal for a little bit. So this is uh, set for the pregnant creed, so I'm going to uh, accept that. And then the Earthen Creed is going to go down here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if anything, it's chat that's forcing blind to work. Because chat will stop subbing eventually if I uh, don't give you guys all of the Twitch streams. Empty bags? Vile Force of Darkness? Oh, no. Where exactly? Oh. Are we? No, we currently are not. All right, well, let's turn that on. Got him, got him. Got him, got him. <laughs> Snatchers too, apparently. Got him. Okay. <laughs> Easy. To be fair, that's trying to catch zombies, not snatchers. They just happen to snatch. Mayor's ended a mandate. Oh, crap. You had a mandate? Also, I just realized I haven't put the cabinets and stuff in the mayor's bedroom. Zwar, you should have told me. Why is Gift a dwarf off? Good question. I don't know. <laughs> Why is it off? It's because I haven't turned it on yet, probably. Probably because I don't want it on, generally. There you go. You can be unsatisfied with all of your stuff, but at the very least, have all the stuff that you need. 
Yeah, usually if it's off, it's either A, because I forgot, or B, because I decided to not turn it on today. And today it's the latter. I decided to not turn it on. We'll turn it on once there's um, more dwarves that people have picked themselves, I think. Because, like, I'm, tr I'm still trying to figure out exactly how to divvy the dwarves up. It's like, there are people that are really good at claiming dwarves, right? And I kind of want those people to all claim dwarves. And then once they've all got dwarves and we've got, like, I don't know, a third of the population named, then from there I can turn on Gift the Dwarf and give the rest out to the scragglers. Can you pick the puffin? No, but if you guys yell at me enough, I'll just name the puffin. It has to be a good name, though. Carpenter has been possessed. A possessive carpenter. All right, let's do... This will make this also out of shale. Let's do that. Let's. Do a bunch of this. They're probably gonna be like, oh no, I canceled it. So I'm gonna suspend these corners. They're also gonna do the same there. It has marble in your farm layer? Ooh. I don't know what that means. Do you know say? So why would I name it something I don't know what that means? Took 10 almost completely newbie axe dwarves raided a tower and they all came back with 70 plus kills and legendary of most everything. That's odd. <laughs> My guess is probably what happened is uh, they just had really, 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 really weak zombies. I had to bet. Oh, okay. What? That wasn't supposed to be unforbidden. Let's cancel that for now. Never encountered such a thing? Clearly you haven't ever had your dwarves repeatedly kill the same zombie neck 45 times in a row. <laughs> I once had um, a dwarf that had like, it was like 1100 kills. And the reason they had so many kills was because they literally just killed the same human arm just repeatedly during a necromancer siege. <gasps> I don't even know why I'm excited by this. I, sh I, f I should be excited by this, but I'm not because doors are busted right now. <laughs> Pretty badass though. I was ignoring that one because I was like, ah, oh, it's a carpenter, whatever. What the fuck are they, they going to make? Why are you excited by a door? Um, So the way doors are supposed to work, locked or otherwise, a building destroyer, which can be a troll, um, any forgotten beast, any demon, uh, any titan, can just walk up to a door, regardless of if it's locked, grab it and rip it off of its hinges and throw it. Or knock it over. They can just topple them, locked or otherwise. They've always worked this way in every version of the game I've ever played until this one, where now you can just lock a door and it's like a drawbridge. So normally, yeah, and I also hope it comes back. Normally, I would be ecstatic about this because um, I would be ecstatic about this because it would mean that we now have an untoppable door. But because the way the game works right now, it's kind of like, yeah, we have a door. <laughs> it's just an expensive door, which is nice, but would have been so much nicer if the game still worked the way it used to. I I very much hope it gets fixed eventually. This is a tower cap door. I'll uh, 
Craft Starship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with bloodthorn and mule leather and encircled with bands of tower cap uh, and birch and cushion gypsum cabochons. Uh, on the item is an image of dwarves and in plume algate. Uh, the dwarves are traveling. The artwork relates to the foundation of water lungs by the whales of drowning uh, of the accidental sealing in the early spring of 250. On the item is an image of Phoebe Odor Peaks, the goblin, and a tiger in pigtail. The tiger is striking down Phoebe Odor Peaks. The artwork relates to the killing of the goblin Phoebe Odor Peaks by the tiger of, in the murky sea in the late spring of 253 during Utu Nugul, uh, the onslaught of biting. On the item is an image of Bufut, uh, Right Cell, the goblin, and Zom Sinsears. Uh, the goblin in pigtail. Zom Sinsears is striking down Bufut. The artwork relates to the killing of the goblin Bufut by the goblin Zom Sinsears in the murky sea of the mid autumn of 252 during Splendorship, the, the disemboweled sieges. Jerry Gore, what kind of dwarf would you like? <laughs> the bite of 87. Also, since we're uh, getting hit by ads right now, Holly Golly, thank you very much for the raid. Apparently, I missed you the last time you raided me. Your stream was good today. Any peasants? I actually do think I have some peasants. We also have some fish dissectors, which are worse than peasants. Um, well, let's see. We we got which one do you want? We got. Zuglar, Stukos, and Thob. It's the killed by a tiger. It was the end of the fight. Cut him up with his claws and his teeth. Ooh, you suck. Man, you have to deal with me in real life, too. It's, it's pretty great, isn't it? I can hear you laughing. <laughs> but... Uh, your, your dwarf made a weapon rack of a dwarf he killed seconds before. Oh, that's pretty great. You know, that's actually really hard to do now because it's so easy to keep dwarves um, really, 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 what's the word? Um, it's so easy to keep dwarves happy currently that I can't rem remember the last time I had a fell mood, like at all. He says that as there's like a really, really hyper pissed off child in the middle of the screen. I genuinely cannot remember the last time I had a pissed off, a dwarf pissed off enough to do that. It, mu it must have been years ago. Uh, Jerry Gord. <clears throat> you know, it's funny. For years, everybody screamed, I wish they got, would just, just remove tantrums from the game. Tantrums ruin Dwarf Fortress. And now people are like, I wish tantrums were more common. <laughs> It's it's so funny hearing like the development of Dwarf Fortress from the community's perspective. Good luck. No one will find me. Yeah, that was a cool fort. That was a cool fort. Except for where creatures visiting our taverns. Yeah, that bug I would like them to fix. So socialization? Socializing and um, the stress rebalance that they did at the same time. Or no, it was the, it was, I can't remember what version it was. It was the version where they changed it so that when migrants migrate to your fortress, they have zero stress. Which I think was 47.5? Can't remember. Um, Jerry Gord is 57 years old. Uh, high stamina, zany, and an emotional obsessive feel that uh good spatial sense and disdains romance uh is a competent spear dwarf apparently and uh finds something humorous in everything no matter how serious or inappropriate probably the zany uh forms only strong emotional bonds with others and at times to his detriment and zalsar thank you very much for the would be two years in a world with only seven months Fort. Fourteen months. Yes, that's that that would be two years in a world with only seven months thank you very much for the 14 years well, that was the first big stress change, but there was another stress rebalance before this version. It was like one or two versions ago. So, Fados. But yeah, there was a really big stress rebalance in version 40. 
Um, but there was a second one that they did where they it was it was the same patch where they made it so that dwarves group up and talk and like discuss with friends and discuss their problems with friends instead of only talking with somebody in charge and like it forced them all to socialize all of a sudden out of nowhere. Anyway, um, forms only strong emotional bonds with others and sometimes to his detriment is somewhat fearful in the face of um, and somewhat a fearful in. Uh, where was I? Somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger, he is grateful to help others uh, when others help him out, and he tries to return favors, and he tends to consider what others think of him, and he sometimes acts without del deliberation and confidence, and he likes to keep things ordered. He likes to keep things practical without delving too deeply to the abstract. He, can, he tends to be a bit stubborn in changing his mind about things, and he doesn't seek out excitement. He is quite polite and can handle stress. He tends to share his own experiences and thoughts with others, uh, and he is very humble, and he generally is quite confident in his abilities when undertaking specific ventures. He generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity, uh, and he isn't particularly ambitious, uh, and he is quite comfortable with others that have a different appearance or culture and needs alcohol to get through the working day. He dreams of raising a family, and he personally finds romance distasteful and always values a harmonious existence. He likes ash glaze, lay pewter, and white jade, and plum wood, and the green glass, and manta ray parchment, and the color of amethyst. Whenever I read, like, manta ray parchment, it reminds me of an old joke that I saw it was on a bumper sticker, actually, that just said, You have won a car! Bumper, sticker, coupon. And each time it said that, it would get smaller. <clears throat> so it's like, you've, you've won a car, bumper, sticker, coupon, photograph. Was the bottom one. It's a photograph of a car, bumper, sticker, coupon. <laughs> but anyway. Um, he prefers to consume brown bullhead, salmon, and pineapple wine. And hates lizards. There you go. Welcome to the fort. Manta ray parchment is oddly specific, yes. Alright, so in here I'm just going to place some stat use. I'm going to place some more. <sighs> They're running on automatic. I did it a second time. perfect number for what I had. And this one down here can get the artifact door. Human caravan has arrived. You guys want to buy some goblins? I know they can't, so. Oh, sweet. The door's open. I still don't really have anything for trade. Just have blocks, man. I should just start making rock crafts or something. Make more grates. That would be a great holdover. I wonder what the value of that door was. I didn't actually look at it. Just gonna get these zones constructed. So all I need to do is just make them happy and then I stop having the thing popped up up there. Earthen Creed, yep. A new temple, the Earthen Creed. It's 530 is the value on that one. How about this one? 1600? Okay, well, we're getting somewhere. Getting somewhere slowly. Uh, you throw them into a pit of lava and hope they burn quickly. Generally. At least that's what I use them for. It's like all these ones. In fact, you know, these guys, I might just crush them. I'll worry about them later. And all of their stuff. They don't actually have particularly good stuff anyway, currently. But yeah, you can't sell sentience. That would be slavery. You can, however, crush them with a drawbridge, which is what I'm going to do. Because I'm lazy, and I'd rather that stockpile that gets full of giant puffins and not those annoying animals. Um, let's 
order some death on some poor unsuspecting animals in the fort, like the Keat. Oh shit, the Puffin is trained now. It's officially trained. And I don't think it's lost its training once, which is pretty good. Which means, because it's trained, do I risk it? I risk releasing it. Worst case scenario, we just have a lot of bits of an undead giant puffin in my fortress. Save before? What's the fun in that? He's free. It won't lose its training if the animal trainer isn't too busy. I mean, probably what I should actually do is be like, all right, who was assigned to you? Just double check who's assigned to you. I I know which dwarf it is. I know what they look like. I just can't remember. Why is they? Why do they have a cat in a cage? These awful traders have a cat in a cage. Um. Did I not have a specific trader for you, trainer for you? Guess it's just anybody. Oh, I see. But it was it's Salty Tempest who's who's the the trainer. Salty Tempest, you just used to list it in the other screen, and I just forget that. I'm gonna remove your other tasks. You're going to spend most of your time keeping our giant puffin train. And the giant puffin's going to live right here anyway. Pen pasture. What, the full time job is petting giant puffin? Only lose its training if it's inside of a cage. I I feel like I've had like giant like or rather not giant but uh, jabberers randomly lose their training before. So, hence where my paranoia comes from. <laughs> um, let's make a silver altar. Let's make two of them. Eh, let's make three of them. I do not know what to sell to the dwarves this year, so I, th or rather, is, are these humans? Oh, yeah, these, these are just the humans. I'm just going to let them come and go. I'm not going to bother trading with them this year. I got other priorities. Such as, like, finishing these. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Devilish. I don't generally tame random critters unless it's like, oh, I found a dragon. <laughs> But chat insisted on this one. And I'd much rather the giant puffin be happy, you know. And I'm going to give her a nest box because I'm not a monster. Well, I can be sometimes, but... In this exact instance, I'm pretending to not be a monster. And this thing is going to guard our uh, artifact hold eventually. Yeah, no, we, we, it's been laying us eggs for a while. Speaking of nests, there we go. Got my hens laying hen eggs. 
which is good. Living in a place where it snows, vomit. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, as much as we can admire their courage, um, they still get the same fate as they would have otherwise um, by being thrown into here and crushed. Bye, goblins. They're just dumb to be. I I mean they go where their where their overlord tells them to go. Um, I mean it can't be. I mean maybe they're coming from this haunted mountain. Actually, I think it's just a sinister mountain. I I I've I've been practicing uh, interpreting horribly worded statements from people like Diamond Destruct in the chat for a while now. So. It's all good. I feel like I've just been making beds on repeat. How many beds do I have? Okay, maybe not as many as I thought, but still more than I expected. We're fine. Curious about how this granite layer is doing. It's clearing out quite a bit. What? It's okay, Diamond. Like, you're good practice. Potato typing is that I, I, I mean, considering you type with an actual full-size russet potato, potato, I think you type quite well. Okay? I think you type extremely well, considering you are typing with a full-size potato. You know, like, imagine trying to type like this. I, I, too, would have a hard time. Perfectly understandable, even. I think the funniest part about that is potato typing is that bad, uh, but intended to say isn't. It's the best part about that whole sentence. <laughs> it's like you tried to say isn't, but just you, you didn't. Also, can I just point out just how satisfying it is to have a functioning minecart track? It's so satisfying. It's just like, we. Then they reload it and do it again. Here's a gold star you tried. Well. Gotta try sometime, right? And they do it again. And it's perfectly safe. Port's going pretty good, brother. Cool. Just admiring my very basic minecart. This is the actual fort. It's coming along quite nice. I've got two separate temples I'm I'm working on and probably neglect not working on fast enough enough for them to actually be satisfied by them. But um doing okay. Oh god. Put that setting on again. Change the button. There you go. These uh, dwarves really like the gods of metals and dance. 
or the god of metals and dance. I've got multiple, multiple, multiple temples that they want me to dedicate to the god of metals and dance. A better word is if trainers animals free to roam plus animal trainer is not busy, it will always be fine. If animal is free to roam plus animal is too busy, it will oh yeah, obvi yeah, obviously. As long as the animal trainer has access to it, it's just when they're semi wild, I I generally don't <laughs> let them freely roam. Especially considering like two thirds of this map is a resurrecting biome. Animal needs house training. You don't. You, you, you should know this. Also, I think he's lurking. So <laughs> we shouldn't be too mean to Animal while he's lurking. Oh, well, we cheated with this one. <laughs> because apparently this tower cap door is, like, worth way more than I thought it was. We're at 6,000. All right, so the door for this one uh, makes it valuable enough. We're going to recognize priesthood. Holy flute! Chat, I think, okay, do we give it to FG Squared, Bastet, Bastet, or Cilantro Gamer? Who do you think is the holy f flute of this fortress? Bastet, FG Squared, or Cilantro, C Cilantro Gamer? Your flutitude is on <laughs> Flutitude is on hell. What's <laughs> the word to say? <laughs> Seems to be the chat's voting FG. So we're going to give it to uh, Bastet. We'll pretty that up in a minute. I really hate that there's two goat kids in this fort. I'm going to geld the male one. Where are you? There you are. Get in early. That's just mean, Orange. <laughs> Some migrants have arrived. Really now? And where exactly are they going to sleep? In my non-existent bedrooms, eh? Can the migrants get in? Oh, probably. Yep, door's open. They seem to be bringing a stray baby alpaca and a stray foal, which I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat the mule, Katie So, alpaca, the yak calf. Very dangerous job. Oh, geez, I just realized these are still forbidden. Set all these to be dumped. Speaking of birds... I'm kind of... Okay, I'm kind of tempted to turn on hunting. I'm wondering if these giant puffins aren't leaving because I caught one of them. Uh, Thob, have fun. Go be a hunter for a little bit. We'll see how you do. Eat the puppies as well. I'm waiting for them to grow up. The Guild of Labor is a craft store guild. Wait on that one for a second. Let's just get this. Get this done first. Let's 
Um, Guess I'll just do this. I'm really starting to like the higher, the harder economy. It's kind of interesting. It's actually like forcing me to make bigger spaces and make them nicer, I guess. The e is like the best way of putting it. Like, it's way harder to just be like, well, I'm just going to uh, put a chair here and a table here and another chair here and another table here and then forget about it. It's way harder to just do that now. Door not stuck. Door held open by lever. Big difference. Already got 22 dead clowns. Hell yeah! Good luck for Operation Skeet Shoot. Actually, just rip up this flooring. I figure as long as your, your dwarves are, like, decently trained... It should go pretty well. Just purely based off of the fact that um, it would be able to fire pretty far. And, like, the biggest issue with siege dwarves is that they aren't able to fire far enough because they panic. Well, someone has to, Pax Mac. That's me and Ross's game dungeon. Once every year or so, I just like sit down and watch everything that Ross has done in a year. Oh, that's a kid. I was like, why aren't you building the wall that you're standing next to? Very confused for a moment, too. The value of this room is 3,000. Not too much, but hey, it's going up. You love Ross's stuff. Ross, Ross is very good. He just uploads slow enough that YouTube hates him. It's kind of the exact opposite problem that I have. I upload fast enough that YouTube hates me. It's amazing how quickly uh, YouTube becomes an abusive spouse when you slightly diverge from the norm. Yes, you can ballista through fortifications. I think you can also ballista through held open doors. Or at least you used to be able to. I don't know about current version. YouTube hates him. Find out why. Watch my videos and you'll learn pretty quickly. They aren't all eight minutes long. <laughs> and I upload nine hour long VODs. You've come to lurk? Well, that's good, Kano. Enjoy your lurks. Actually truer. Thank you very much for that raid today. How was your how was your dwarfing time? That's exciting. <laughs> oh, hello. How's things? 
Raiden, good night. Good night, Diamond. You know, we were saying earlier that I hadn't seen any were creatures in this world yet. Uh huh. Yeah, it's a uh, religious character. I'm curious as to which religion they're part of. They forgot the slash orange. But uh, hello, anxiety. I feel that. <laughs> um, Kor Koro Manu and Divgen, as well as Kurska. Uh, if you guys are just stumbling in. Uh, I, I stream way too much Dwarf Fortress and other weird things from time to time. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, and then weekends are optional for me. What is a civet? It's a little ground critter. Uh, let me grab one. Or grab a picture of one. It sounds like a car, is what, is what it sounds like. But it's kind of like a monkey cat, I would say. They're like these little guys. They're kind of cute, actually. They're like Almost monkeys. Yeah, Honda Civet. <laughs> exactly. Like it's so it sounds like if Honda was French is kind of what they sound like. Uh, but yeah, chat room. If you want to see more dwarfs, click on that heart up by actually true or up at the top top of the chat. You should do it. You should do it. Somebody has to. I'm pouring more coffee, which is why you guys are still staring at the critter picture of this cute, beautiful little critter from Wikipedia while I pour coffee. Orange, would you like some more coffee? Okay. All right, so I've now poured myself some more coffee. And uh, let's see what this sprite looks like, actually. Timmy's? I have... Um, I There isn't a Timmy's, like, reasonably close to here, so doubtful of this Timmy's. Although it's possible. There is one that's in a weird spot. Bah! Well, it's playing with um, Diamond Destruct. Can I say that that is a hysterical sprite? That is absolutely a, a hysterical looking sprite. Has Diamond been bit yet? Okay, well he got attacked by a, a hand corpse, so that's terrifying. Um, Kid seems to be dodging. Oh, nope. Sorry, Diamond. <laughs> Diamond uh, is a wear civet now. Although he's a, a dead civet. You know what's actually awesome about this? It was the only, like, red-faced stressed dwarf in the fort. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. But it's the case. Let's see. Do, do cage traps catch these right now? No. Oh, God, it's an elf. Human? Human. The sect of urns? What, uh... The thing is the <laughs> enemy of Thanker. Uh, uh... <laughs> Do you think that's a kobold group? Thanker? Also, Ly, uh, Lyhost... Dagger framed the outrageous tundra. It's a pretty good name. Um, well, that's a shame. They used to be thinkers, now they thankers. I'm pretty sure there's a cobalt group called Thanker in this world. Oh, well, it's going to make it off the map. Unfortunately. All right. Um, back to training, you weirders. Well, we did lose the most stressed dwarf in the fort, so I guess that's fine. But um, that's a bit of a shame. Also, happened to die in an area that might not actually be in the resurrecting area. That might actually be good. Um... I'm going to place a coffin right 
there and a coffin right there. And let's do a tomb. So Diamond's going to get buried, and Catan's going to get put over there, apparently. All right, how's the value of this doing? Not quite high enough yet. I'm trying so hard! Bite infects the victim, yeah. Also, uh, chat, F's for Diamond. It's kind of hysterical that Diamond left, like, a minute ago to go to bed. <laughs> so, um... Sorry, Diamond. It's a very cud style temple, just like metal walls that have engravings on them. W. Uh huh. Oh no, did Dwarf. What, 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 what? what? Oh, I see. They're the zombie in the Fort Rith. This could get, get bad in a sec. Uh, Stukos is fighting with Reg. I'm not sure how Reg died. Um, but the military come flying in. And uh, let's just say... It, se it seems like our Mace Dwarf uh, as... Or what? Or actually, apparently, I have a mace dwarf. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, bashes uh, Reg's corpse in the head uh, with a bronze mace, bruising the skull. Bashes the corpse in the head uh, with his bismuth bronze mace, and the uh, injured part is crushed. That's a bit of a shame. At least they can get up there real quick. Who's the new Raging Dwarf? There is no new Raging Dwarf. Oh, wait. Never mind. I see what you mean. Uh, Stukos, the one that just got the shit kicked out of them. Thanks for the penny, Lumi. Yeah, the one that just got the ever-living piss hammered out of them. Which, honestly understandable. I, too, would be mad. You think Reg was... Oh, wait, was Reg Diamond? Uh, that would make a lot of sense, actually. Well, should be able to get their body put away. Yes, it was indeed. It was indeed. I cannot wait until we get the children sprites. That's, like, the patch that I'm looking forward to the most right now. It's just I want to be able to see who's a kid at a glance. It drives me nuts that I can't do that in this version. I'm going to have to break pattern for this particular one. So we'll get a bedroom that's this. We'll get a bedroom that's this. And then a bedroom that's this. Baby dwarves look like naked men, but sometimes there are naked dwarves in my fort that aren't babies. Entirely unrelated. Throws me off. Because dwarves are born with beards. Well, male dwarves are. Five thousand and rising. Hmm. 
This is going to be like the most tables and chairs in a temple that I've made so far. I really hope that this one never levels up. It's <laughs> getting them up to 30,000 value is going to be interesting. I mean, like, put an artifact in them. That's basically going to be your only option. I'm not going to make that bedroom incorporated into the tracks. Well, I mean, they're not being pushed, so it's not actually dangerous. It wouldn't actually be dangerous to do that. So I could, but... Eh. Make an upstairs? I could do that, yeah. Like, double the size. So how goes this fort? Um, well, a child died, but that's fine. Um, they were angry anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Diamond. Um, a, a kid died, but aside from that, everything's been pretty smooth in this fort, generally. Everything's been pretty smooth. Make an upstairs with misters? That doesn't increase the value, though. I mean, it will increase the average mood of a dwarf in there, but it wouldn't increase the value. No, probably what I'll do, actually, is cut out this wall and build over here. Give them a little water feature inside the fortress. Copper bars. Five thousand to six thousand. Right, we almost there. Just need some more walls. Sorry, I mean it. It didn't pick up on the mic, so it's fine. I don't actually know anything about how flails work in Dwarf Fort. Like, genuinely, I have no idea how flails work. Depth stone carver. Better engravings yet? Just an image of a dwarf. An image of dwarves. Wow. You've got a style. Single cut gem. Single cut gems. An image of dwarves. An image of uh, water anvils. A superiorly designed image of a diamond, a diamond, an anvil, and a warhammer, and a dwarf, and a giant sperm whale. Yep. Mm -hmm. The image of our fortress. Panda electrons were discovered in diamonds, and now there's one researcher in the USA who knows how to replicate a uh, pinned electron effect and use that knowledge in time crystal construction. Man, I wish I was a smart person. <laughs> Shit seems kind of neat. Um, do silver bars. Gotta be getting close. Going to college for mathematics has made you realize that you're a smart person? I mean, you went to college for mathematics. I play video games on the internet. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Different realizations there.
half blind and peeps. Um, my ceiling. Last I checked. What's up with you, Joe True? Ruby Squeak Bird, what kind of dwarf would you like? I will turn my camera off and slowly scroll down the list. Approximately shout out a dwarf that seems appealing to yourselves. But uh, how you doing, Joe? Thanks for the first resub in 30 minutes. Appreciate you, dude. Any? You don't want a particular gerb? Wait, 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 wait. Working from home, pretending to... Basically, pretending to work hard. Do you want happy lady? Do you want angry lady? Do you want a baby lady? <laughs> a fish cutty lady? The first lady? All right, I will go to the happiest. Not the angriest. The angriest actually is a lady. We're gonna go to the happiest, and I will give you the first unnamed hap uh, unnamed happiest lady. You are Dobar the Doctor. 66 years old, you're in love with Iden. Staff Cloister. And, uh, no kids, just a lover. Fortunately, he's not dead. Which often happens. Um, what do you need? Oh, your in traction benches. Well, that <laughs> seems like Stukos over here is getting tractioned. After fighting with a zombie. All right, so you, um, the happiest dwarf, are in the same room with the least happy dwarf. Um, she is an incredibly calm demeanor, a strengthening after seeing Cole's dead body in 252. Uh, can be very single-minded and is and is a pessimist. Is unfriendly and disagreeable, and she is bothered by this since she values friendship. She generally is unhindered by the thoughts of others concerning her actions and is very trusting and often cheerful. I turn around after a new romance in 252. And she tends to be swayed by emotions of others, and she tends to be a little wasteful when working on projects, and she is often grateful when others help her out, and she tries to return favors. She tries to do things correctly each time, and she likes a little excitement now and again, and she often does not often experience strong cravings or urges, and she is somewhat fearful in the face of danger that is imminent. She rarely feels uh, discouraged after being caught in freakish weather, and she likes to brawl and, try and tends to hang on to grievances and can handle stress. She scratches her head when she's bored and needs alcohol to get through the working day because yada yada dwarf and stuff. Uh, she personally sees a family as one of the most important things in life and has a deep respect for animals, plants, and the natural world, sees competition as reasonably important and values independence. Values peace over war and doesn't care if others take the time to master skills, and uh, she dreams of seeing the great natural places of the world. Interesting. Likes cobaltite, nickel, red diamond, and llama wool. Uh, the color bronze, coffins, and rings, and horses for their strength, and tick men for their ability to expand. I hate it. Uh, and the words of the berries of uh, serenity, and the sound of the lacy phrases, and, when pos and the sight of the festive suitor, and when possible, she prefers to consume passion fruit wine, and absolutely hates rats. And um, it seems like Esmil over here is washing a uh, fitted, fetid slush off of themselves. Ugh. Ex tick expand. <laughs> I hate it. I really, really hate it. Speaking of hating it, um. scrolling hold up somehow my discord got scrolled up oh there it is um chat i'm gonna give you guys like 30 seconds to add a word to the discord word story you have like 30 seconds so add a word add a word now uh because there isn't much for me to read so if you're in the discord jump into the word story room and add a couple words so there's something for me to read I feel like I just tripped back into a very in-depth conversation. So I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Time crystals just sound like something out of a freaking sci-fi novel. So
You guys good typing? Let's see. How much have you guys written? <clears throat> okay, that's, 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 this is a good way to start. Um, Microcline rocks are good and are, are used to decorate objects enormously. Uh, wandering through glacial fields is burning calories in Montana. Hell is hot, wrong, ch and cheesy. Together we rub. Orange! The fuck? Um, can't rise against two. Tyler won, unusually. Chicken is word eat, tasty crundle corn, beer ramblings, and lava cakes eating. What? Mules. Uh, no, cake. Food. All caught up. Hi, Rekalu. <laughs> Right. What, uh, what, am, what are we working on? I really should be working on defenses is what I should actually be working on. I should be working on bedrooms and defenses, but I'm instead of building these stupid sanctums. And this one's probably not actually going to get finished because they're going to be like, oh, no, it's not valuable enough. Hungry. Um, you know what? Screw it. We'll just do the rest of the floors then. Another mutilated corpse fighting again? Let's just uh, squish this. So here's a question. Should I lock the doors the dwarves back inside? I'm starting to think I might actually. Starting to get concerned with them spending too much time outside. I do need to trade up here, though. Um, so I will sell all of the used clothing. Uh, it's funny that they will just take body parts as free gifts. <laughs> There's something about that that's horrific and hilarious to me. Apparently I have two large gems, which I will sell them. Oh, probably because I've got nowhere to path no one. I think you've almost won. Here's the thing. Um, once you win, if you go down into the underworld, it becomes a basically like an untamed wilds biome where scary creatures will occasionally walk across, except they are like eight forgotten beasts in a row, right? Um, the earless old Zwari uh, meets with the outpost liaison. Uh, I am your liaison from the mountain homes. Let's discuss your situation. Uh, there is much to share. Information has been added to the civilization and world info. Uh, and I'm going to be like, give me all your wood still, please. Too lazy to request coal this time. Toys and splints, okay. The tavern in hell thing. That's like the, the big like win thing for me and DF. Give them, give me, give them all the wood. They they need to give me all the wood. Not the other way around here. Dear dwarves, give blind all of the wood. Yeah, that's that's a line I'll learn to live live down. All right, so we wow, they brought me two pieces of coal and a shit ton of wood. I'm literally buying their entire caravan. That's all that they brought was coal and wood, which is exactly what I requested. So thank you. I shouldn't request coal next time, so they also bring food. That's all that they brought? Yep. 
Coal's heavy, dude. I'm sorry, what? All right, apparently this right arm climbed out of the coffin. So we can just get rid of it. Gotta love this child playing make-believe and uh, trying to put this item in a tomb and then failing repeatedly. It's an interesting job, cancel and uncancel. What do we have here? Woodcutter has been possessed, okay. Um, I'm going to deconstruct this tomb and reconstruct it. And then I will put this tomb back. Well, yeah, because they made a bone artifact, clearly. This is going to get canceled because there's, yeah, because there's like three of them sitting right there. Well, that's fantastic. I'm just going to dump that body and, uh, Give them a slab because this is because becoming a problem. There we go. Recognize priesthood, the holy festival. They named dwarves. Bunch of rocks is now the holy festival of our fortress. Of the pregnant creed. Which once again I'm Undecided as to whether or not I like that name or not. Um, meanwhile, of course, we have Bastet, who's the holy flute of uh, the, you know, Earthen Creed. And then over here in the middle, we have the Chapel of Colors, which has uh, a devilish potato. Speaking of devilish potato, you were the most pissed off dwarf in the fort at one point. How are you doing now? Hey, look at that. Stupidly happy. Ain't that great? You're just meditating on dance all the time. Well, that's pretty great. Glad we fixed you. Yeah, you got a promotion, bunch of rocks. I, I give it to whoever's named, so don't feel too special. Chat, I really need to go use the restroom, so I will be back in a moment. Uh, stare at this tavern while it's paused. I will be be right back in a moment. Could I get a big round of beers? Here be. Bring out your dead!
All right, streamer returns. I really wish that there was a way to just like make the song play nonstop when I happen to not be here for a few seconds. Also, I timed that really badly. This an ad's about to start. All right, um, let's just go back to bedrooms because I've got to get these done. I'm going to say, sorry, no Craftsdorf Guild this time. Um, it's just not going to happen. I've got to get these beds done. Got to get these beds done. Hmm? Um, sure. <laughs> I never know how to answer questions like that. Always just like a... a No comment? Dwarves, goblins, and elves are the same size? Not necessarily, but they fit the same size clothing. Like, whenever people ask me questions like that, Joe, the only response is just like, it, like Admiral Akbar, that's a trap! <laughs> like, that's the only way I can respond to that! No, okay, so their leaders are the same size. They are the same number of cubed centimeters. They have the same volume, but they are not the same size. They do wear they do wear the uh, same color clothing though. Huh. Well, that's kind of exciting. No, that's a titan. That's not a It's not a giant. That's a titan. Hmm. Coal and webs, yeah. Nature's fighting back. Yep. Well, see, Dwarf Fortress has giants and they also have titans. Are we in danger? No. But also, maybe. I think I'm going to trap it, is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use it as part of my defenses, but... That is not nice. <laughs> no shot you can trap that? What? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you mean by that. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's it, it's it's a humanoid. Okay. No way you can trap that. Well, not in a cage trap. No. It's gonna kill the dwarves. You know what? Let's fight it. Why not? What could go wrong? I mean, I know for a fact I could trap it, but... Oh, hey, we actually got the lever pulled in time. <laughs> um, What's it going to do? It's clumsy. It's probably going to go after the giant puffins, honestly. That's what I'm actually concerned about is an undead hill titan. Um, let's turn this off for a second. That is in fact a titan, yes. Titans are basically just forgotten beasts, but for the surface. That's That's the simple version of what they are. But I'm going to trap it. Coral's not that strong. The scary part is that it's got webs. Coral itself is not that scary. The problem is that it has webs. Okay. 
Now we just hope that the merchants don't choose right now to leave, because if they do, we're in trouble. Got it. All right, so now that that's trapped, I can open the door up again. Uh, levering a door, I can lock it. Well, levering a door is, like, less gimmicky, I guess. There really is no difference. One is cheating, I guess is what I would call it. Um... would actually be my statement. Now what do I want to do with you? Kind of like the way the snow looks at the edge of the map. Like that little texture it's got. Kind of neat. Looks nice. I, I, I only just noticed it, like that little... Kind of covers the edge of the map to a degree. But yeah, no, we do have a big boy now. I didn't really plan this very well, but... Gonna have to be a little bit careful with how I do this, but it's perfectly doable in the long run. Question is, where do I want it to go? That is the actual question. What the fuck is that? That is a Titan. How about... How about we make it go up here, into this area right here. So if I go right here, I build a little walkway right there. Yeah. And I... If I go over here and I build a... raising bridge that and I fortify this along here and I build a, a little well oh we don't currently have access to it <laughs> that would do it and I build a little thingy right here I don't actually care if it's undead or not and then here on top of it I can do this build a little overhang even I can just put a doorway right there I can walk it around into here and then once it's stuck in there we can just pull a lever and suddenly we have a web spitter on my front door Also, some migrants have arrived. We have two really pissed off dwarves. And you know what? I don't blame them. I'd be pissed off too if I had to stand in here for more than 12 seconds. Who is this dude? Uh, that's a hill titan. Sorry. Um, it's a hill titan that just showed up, basically. Is what that dude is.
So I've been like paying about 5% attention to what you guys are talking about uh, with this crystals thing. And it sounds like you're halfway talking about from my perspective, and I, I have no idea what you guys are actually talking about. It sounds like you guys are talking about Marvel Comics fan fiction that somebody misread as an actual scientific study, and I can't actually tell what it is. Just, just, just so that you guys know where my brain's at with what you guys are on about, it seems like someone like misread like a a a, a comic and thought it was like a actual thing. I'm probably completely mistaken, so I apologize, but. Very funny, from, from my perspective. That's what this conversation reads like as somebody who has no fucking clue what you're talking about. I'm sure it's something that's real, potentially, but from my perspective, as somebody who has no idea what you're talking about, it just reads like Marvel Comics fan fiction. It also kind of reminds me of Sky Diamonds for some reason. All right, we're going to trap this dude up here, and he's going to be my front door. Eventually. 13 months of quality. Hell yeah. Thank you very much for keeping that sub alive at tier two and 13 months, Space Pirate. Appreciate you, man. Get that door constructed. And then we just need to go up here and we need to go through the middle over to there. 15 minute primer for later. No, nah, I'm good. I'm not gonna lie, I have almost no interest. <laughs> there's certain things that I have lots of vested in interest in. And then there's some things where I'm just like, I don't care. I just wanted to weigh in my two cents on that part of the conversation. Feel free to carry on. Uh, military can go back to training. Like, I don't doubt that it's real tech. Or something. All right, so now that we've done that, um, I should be able to lock this off. And there's nowhere for big guy to go. Um, so I will go down to the lever that hasn't been used yet. Name this lever, big boy. Um, and you're going to be linked to this. Is this like those batteries that last for a thousand years or something that are being built that also cost like bajillions of dollars and don't really have any practical use? I seem to have read something about those two. Really should have made this roof out of um, granite. Well. That's not what I mean, Orange. Giant burning ball of fire it doesn't power my cell phone. Outside of, like, you know, solar, but that's, again, not what I'm talking about. It's like you're taking one-tenth of a conversation. Twenty thousand years, okay. Twenty thousand years 
a hundred thousand years. See, here's the thing. You guys are so far down a subject that I do not care the slightest bit about that I'm going to try and have anecdotes, but if your response is to just be like, no, and I, I, I just won't take part because it's not a fun conversation that way. It just feels like I'm being schooled, and if I wanted to be schooled, I would go to school. I want to talk back and forth or just be told no. Okay. Um, I need this dwarf to finish this. Did you cancel the job or something? I'll leave her. Oh, you are Lynx. Wait, no, you're not. Excuse me? Why did you cancel that job? At least that's about video games, you dragon. I mean, chat can talk about whatever the fuck they want, Orange. It just means I'm not going to take part in it anymore. The difference, I think, between me and Chad here is I don't give a fuck about watching a 15-minute primer on a subject that I don't care about. <laughs> That's that's the real difference. And that's that's fine. I will live. Nothing, anxiety. You zone so badly, you mood. Convinced that your phone is powered by dark magic? Uh, no, the only dark magic in your phone is the dark magic that's like tracking you and uh, trying to tell you how to live your life. Only dark magic in your phone. Let's get that pulled. Now that's pulled. I can go down to here. I can double check. All right, we can unlock this door. Go, boy. Big guy go up. Big guy turn around. Big guy go up. Big guy turn around. Big guy go over. Come on, I just need you to go through the door. Through the door. Through, uh, there you go. Ha! Good night's rest? No, not really. Not in the slightest. Was up late transiting halfway across town helping get this orange person into my room. So he could pass out on the sofa. And it took until we well we didn't get to bed until like fucking one thirty in the morning because we got back to my place at like at midnight something. It's pretty bad. I mean, lurking would imply he's not talking. He's definitely talking. Most of the wasted time was your fault. How was it your fault? What? No, it was the transit security guy's fault. <laughs> Quite literally, it was transit security's fault. They're like, yeah, go to insert station here because there's more frequent trains. Go to that station. The trains are twice as full and half as frequent. Yeah, sure. It chose, it chose sofa over ground for some reason. Sofa's smaller than the ground setup that I have, though. All right, now that we got big guy caught, we can lock the doors back inside. We now have this Coral Hill Titan. Who is a towering humanoid composed of coral. He has large mandibles and a, a regal bearing. Beware its webs. But yeah, chat, you guys are more than welcome to speak about whatever you want. I'm just going to ignore the subject now. I don't really care personally. All right, and then we have the side door in case of emergency. And I guess I just kind of need to fill this whole thing in. Probably not a bad idea, actually. That was passable. That passable. Knock these two down. Coral Golem? No, it's Hill Titan. Not a Golem. Golem does not equal Hill Titan. Just because it's a... I thought I already... Oh, I, I did. I think I just didn't place it. Are you for freaking real? Just dump the body for that one.
there are golems sort of in Dwarf Fort, but not in the way that they exist in most fiction. Um, there are iron people and metal people, but, um, oh shit, we got chickens. Finally, baby chickens. I was wondering why there was chicks running around everywhere. Well, that answers that question. Why is things fighting? Did it come back to life again? Why? So, shout out to this kid that just killed a zombie. But man, that's dark. That is really, really dark. Imagine being told, throw this corpse into the body pile and then you get pulled in by it. We got undead. Oh yeah, no, it, it happens. Happens quite frequently in this fort, actually. Um, I just need to make sure that this is part of this. Oh boy. That's some walking dead ash. It kind of is. All right, kiddo, get out. Okay, um, I'm going to remove this layer from here. Or rather, I'm going to remove this zone right here from here. And then we're going to wait for you to leave. I realize that you're playing, but you're also seriously injured. So hopefully somebody comes and rescues you. I mean, it's a major injury. How injured are you even? Also, how did you kill it? Punched it in the lower body, bruising the muscle and bruising the left kidney. It was just like punching her. Kid does her profession, what, a legendary bone carver? I mean, she punched it, she didn't carve it. <laughs> Would have needed something stabby to carve it. Yeah, which is actually, so actually, if, if, if she's lost the ability to stand. Wait, hold up. Um, here we go again. Well, she gained the ability to stand back. And there it goes once again. Let's throw it away once again. Upper something as well. And just get it crushed. Diamond is causing me almost as much grief as a... Almost as much grief as a uh, were creature. Getting close. Pull the lever, dwarves. Man, calcium? That's a different day of the week. Now, cr come on. Come on. <laughs> How many times are you going to come back to life? You're mutilated. Extremely mutilated. <laughs> This is like, just needs Benny Hill theme now. Can, can we just clo clothesline him again? Okay, now pull pull th this lever again. Um, let's wall this off again. And um, throw that corpse back into the doom death pile of murder again. Okay, body back in there. Open this. Pull a second time. Just right now, just, just pull it. Somebody come pull it. Pull the goddamn lever. Please pull the lever. Pull the lever. At least we're getting pretty good at clotheslining the dwarf. There you go. All right, problem solved. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is goofy. The thing is, and this is the actual dark thing, is that dwarf that the child was told to throw into the body pile is another child. That was a, like, young kid dwarf. Um, <laughs> look at all of the depressed dwarves I've suddenly accumulated after dealing with that for a minute. Wow. Just fucking wow. This is a remote operate. Well, not a remote operated trapdoor. This is a remote operated uh, bridge already. Uh, Jen, I mean, this is the first time that's happened, so maybe not a bad idea. Um, or like a remote operated door or something. I'd rather never like imagine being dragged into a interrogation room by the FBI. But since you insist for this particular exercise and there's a direct rage to Robert, I would cry laughing. 
because I would for, I would think that I was stuck in a group of LARPers. Like, serious. I would just start laughing hysterically. Wouldn't even, like, cross my mind to be afraid. <laughs> I would just start laughing. I mean, come on. Like, if, if, you walked in, if you walked into a room and it was just full of, like, grown-ass adults that were, you know, sitting in front of a drawbridge, wouldn't you start laughing? Like, unironically and hysterically? I'll lock this door. You're laughing, so probably yes. Okay, well then, like, you've answered your own question. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. It, it would be like getting threatened by, like, a Secret Service agency, except, like, instead of threatening you with, like, weapons, they threaten you with a katana. It's like, oh, no, I'm so afraid, speaking. Oh, no, I'm so afraid. What am I going to do about these guys? You know what? I might just ignore these dudes for a bit. Let them catch themselves in my outdoor traps or something. I need to just work on stuff in the fort for a little bit. Although they're probably just going to go climb this wall. <laughs> also, this is true. They're, they're, they, the FBI have no jurisdiction in Canada. Like at all. Oh, well, never mind. They just walk in the side door. <laughs> All right, well, we get to fight them. I thought that I'd lock those doors again, but I guess I didn't. Well, looks like they are kidnapping Mistem. Don't let them miss them on the way out. I think that might actually get away with them. Nope, oh, maybe not. My squads were not ready to go. Why is there a naked peasant outside? Asking for a friend. Why do you have an arrow stuck in your lower body? Also, why are you naked? <laughs> I mean, you've got socks and shoes and gloves on. She was wearing a dress. I do have many questions. I think we should distract them with Big Boy. Well. He's not going to do much. <laughs> not until I actually get that built around there. Did they get thread sewn into their neck? Probably something like that. Well, the dwarves are all supposed to go inside. But they're not, for obvious reasons, because they're dwarves. Siege appears to be over on the bright side. I think I'm just going to get you guys training. Let's go train. And uh, we just lost a kid. Unless one of them is in there. Let's go out here and rescue you. Everything's good. Really now? I don't know if I believe that there, Dwarf. I think that the one that caught the kid is in the cage, yeah. I, I think so, too. I have to clear it, though. All right, well, let's just lock this door. <laughs> let's just do this. And then we will lock the rest of us inside. What? It's Frank. What kind of dwarf would you like? We're going to slam that door shut. You're going to be extended to there. Oops. Did I not? Oh, I see. It's set to erase. Why 
always do that. This dwarf is uh, very upset right now. I didn't realize there was so many outside. The zombie killing child? The child that killed the zombie, who may or may not still be on the map, actually. The thing is, I think they just got kidnapped. Yeah, okay. So this is the one you want? You want Mistum, the one who's currently uh in the in the cage inside of a bag uh being So you're currently in a bag that a goblin's holding that's inside of a cage. So we'll work on getting you out, but it's going to be like a three-step process. <laughs> but you can have this dwarf um uh Frank, uh she is uh never fails to seek out the most stressful and even dangerous situations. Really? Where did you think that game? I had no idea. <laughs> I had not noticed. Um, she never is moved by the emotions of others and relies on the advice of others during decision making. Takes offered help and gifts without feeling particularly grateful and is quick to form negative views about things. Does not often feel lustful and takes and likes to keep things practical without delving too deeply into the abstract. Is quite polite and is calm, has a calm demeanor. Does not go out of her way to help others and she occasionally can lose focus on the matter at hand. She can handle stress, I hope. Um, she's currently playing, by the way, inside of the bag, held by the goblin in a cage. Um, she tends to not lose focus on the matter at hand, and she can handle stress. Uh, she has a greedy streak, and she tends to be a little wasteful when working on projects. Has a habit of stretching her body uh, during pauses of, in conversation, and she needs alcohol to get through the working day. I mean, I would too. Uh, she does. <laughs> she dreams of raising a family, and... Uh, values nature and sees competition as wasteful and silly values cunning and hard work she must be very impressed by the cunning and hard work of this goblin uh likes gypsum electrum aquamarine uh water buffalo hoof picks and earrings and sheep for their tendency to flock boogeymen for their terror inspiring antics and the words of the berries of serenity and when possible prefers to consume unicorn typical girl uh unicorn cranberry wine one humped camel's milk and garden crest leaves and absolutely hates purring maggots That's a great movie. I mean, it's not a great movie, but it's a great movie. McJerby. Hey, folks. Um, so, Clino, we're currently reading the description of a dwarven child who is in a bag, held by a goblin, in a cage, being carried by a dwarf who's playing. Anyway, how are you doing, Clino? What's up, man? How do thing be? <laughs> it's, and no, it's not Nicholas's cage, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to dump this kid out of it. Well, I guess I will follow Nil, who's carrying this item. Oh, yeah, the kid also beat a zombie to death. For uh, re-death? Consecutive death? Again death. Also, hey, Stu- Also, the funny thing about Stuko's getting seriously injured is it's not the first time this dwarf's gotten seriously injured. <laughs> um, you thought it was humor? Why else do you think they carry large bags and are called snatchers? No, they will kidnap your kids and run off with them. We did lose somebody, though. Not sure who it was. Uh-oh. Linux Town, the dwarven child, has been found dead. Well, this ain't good. Zombies? Oh. Goblin corpse. Well, this is great. Military, I hope you have your weapons. Um, who else is dead? Iden? Iden want to think about this. Oh, no? Indeed, yes. Vengeful, vengeful, vengeful. 
Clear all of this. I'm going to keep all those up there. And I'm going to say, chuck Linux down in, into the crushing room. Uh-oh. Also lost a wood burner. Oh, there's more of them. May have to just lock the hospital for a minute. Fortunately, they go down quite quick. What a disgraceful place this is. All right, well, I'll just stand up here for a minute while they throw all the bits and pieces into there. Wiki is humoristic description. Uh, they always run when discovered. And I was thinking um, that they act like explorers in fortress mode. Nope. No, uh, they very much will put kids' bodies into bags and, uh, or p put children into bags and then run off with them. All right, I'm just going to pull this lever. I don't know anything about Krampus. But probably. I thought I always thought that Krampus like was more of an eat kids kind of thing. But what do I know? Alright, um, let's send the squads back down to training. And rest in peace for Linux Town chat. Um, who unfortunately didn't make it. It's very unfortunate. Uh so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to uh, engrave some of these memorials. So let's go. Hold on. Let's go. Or bam. Let's go. Uh, Ed Fath. Let's go. Eden. And. Maffle. But anyway, how's things been, Clino? In a minute. Let's put all these in the temple area. Zombie giant puffin? What? Where'd you see that? I don't see zombie giant puffin. I just see giant puffin. Fortunately, we are safe. From that level of horror. For now, anyway. Oh, um... What happened? Uh, a bunch of goblins attacked, and I thought I had the right doors locked, but I didn't because I was fiddling around trying to get this guy locked behind this draw drawbridge. And uh, long story short, I didn't have the right... Le I didn't have the right doors locked, and so they ran straight into the fortress, and then the result was... Um, the result was... Uh, whole bunch of um, dwarves died kind of in rapid succession because we have the yeah it has webs um, because we have this like annoying problem of um, what's the word we have this annoying problem of uh, like undead stuff coming back to life as you probably are aware and uh, when undead stuff comes back to life well we have to kill it a second time so we had to the, my, the dwarves kept coming back to life. So. Poking your head into dispel to dispel any rumors of your demise or whatever. Uh, posted a random thing on the Kitfox Discord and you were welcome back. What did... I mean, 
I've kind of figured you were taking a voluntary vacation. So you, last time I saw you, or one of the last times I remember seeing you in chat, you said something along the lines of, it's been the longest six weeks of or eight weeks of December of your life or something, and you're not going to be around as much. So I kind of figured you were just taking a voluntary internet hiatus. Which is perfectly understandable, sir. Given the uh, like amount of like hours you had to do. And unlike me, you can actually do that. You can just like go t take a break and like sleep for a bit and just come back and then people will be like, oh, I missed you. Whereas with me, uh, if I go away for like three weeks, then I'll come back and I'll have half the people watching. Actually, maybe at this point I might be beyond that. But, but no, I, I have not heard any rumors of your demise. You've just been busy. Busy, sleepy, nappy, all the same. Uh, I don't know if I'll be using it to make webs. I mean, I've got it outside. We'll see. I think I'm kind of leaning more in the direction of we'll use it for defense to slow down enemies. That's exciting. Uh, we have a Cyclops. It's like the game's starting to throw all things at me. This I can just kill, though. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Don't have to do that. Forgot those weren't trap avoid. Uh, anything that's, that lives can get resurrected as a zombie. So, yes. I mean, uh, never mind. Uh, maybe we'll... May, you know, maybe we could build a little zombie arena. This would actually be the fort to do it. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to build a garbage dump. I'm going to designate all these to be dumped and then remove dump. Has two eyes. Well, maybe it's a Biclops. Well, it's certainly not a Psyops. Well, because I'm slowly gaining this collection of goblins. I think I placed the right one. I'm second guessing. Man. We really need a engrave. Place engrave. Engra placed engraved um, slab option. Oh, uh, this is that's the exact reason I haven't opened up the caverns in regards to Forgotten Beast zombie spirals. I can't even see who said that. Um, but that's the exact reason I haven't opened up the caverns yet. I'm starting to think that this didn't work. Try dumping everything. Nope. Don't actually want to do that. Why are they forbidden? Are you alive? Yes. Can I check you? Can you let me do this first? It's mildly annoying.
There we go. That's what we needed. At least I think that worked. Looks like it. You did not. No. The only named dwarf that died in the turmoil was Linux Town. But, like, the turmoil is also not done yet, and I just kind of want to get this child out of this cage. So just bear with me here for a second. There's kind of a lot going on. A bone carver has been taken by a fey mood. So if you're storing item in stockpile, is it by chance that cage? Nope, that's silver nuggets. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to do it this way. Let's see if I can just build the cage. Probably not, actually, because it's probably still forbidden. Cyclops, goblin... Goblin, goblin. Okay, so it is still that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Cage. It's this one. Although currently it's not accessible. Let's make it accessible. Also, just going to lock this door up here. This dwarf was found dead dehydrated. I have no idea what killed them whatsoever. Just for reference, I have no idea. Um, I have a few possible I I ideas as to what might have killed them, but we'll just station the military right there in case it comes back. Depressed? Uh, maybe. Maybe, but unlikely. And we remove that cage from this spot. Looks like it. I just wait for the cage to show up again. In a fort with with 1,500 drinks? I mean, maybe I missed an artifact. It's possible. There's a few things that could have happened to it. But the, the, the depression shift in this fort has been recent and sudden. Th thanks, old Zwari. I figured this out, okay? Just let me figure it out. We'll, we'll get it. All right, so you right here, garbage dump. Yep. Seeing as this is the only time I'm going to get to do this, please give this tip to Orange for his moderation duties, preferably in the form of alcohol. Orange, go grab a beer. Unless you don't want one, then grab one later. Right, Orange, uh, chat just gave me $5 and told me to give you $5 in some format, preferably in the form of alcohol. I'm, I'm just saying. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, did we clean your crap off of you? What just happened? Nothing. <laughs> Blind's house just got a minus one. Yeah. Um, Orange is a part of unnamed dump. <laughs> There's something hysterical about that. Oh, did we find him dead a second time? No. Nope. Okay. 
Did I... You know, actually, I'm just going to do this this way. Let's just... Let's just stand right here and let this guy out. This will be much easier than trying to convince them to dump it in the right spot. Cave is forehead in. Can confirm he just opened a beer. Anybody gonna come and remove you from the cage? Got done watching your Let's Play tutorials. I've helped you so much. Thank you. No problem, dude. Means a lot, Deathless Angel. Your name makes me think of the band Death Angel. Um. No, unfortunately, you're a dragon. I was trying to do that earlier today, and I was like, oh, right, yeah, I still have to do it this way. So are they, um... I will replace this goblin with a... With a, with a dot. Can, can I not, like, just remove things by clicking a button anymore? Do I have to connect a lever to it? I mean, if you're going to make me do that game... I will connect a lever to it. I have enough mechanisms lying around. I can make more. I just want to get this kid out of here. I hate cage traps so much. <laughs> when they make me do this kind of crap... Oh no, a giant puffin has reverted to a wild state. Well, I've got a wild giant puffin around again. What happened to your trainer? Salty Tempest apparently too busy to train wild giant puffin? Hmm. I knew I shouldn't have let you out. Hopefully it doesn't uh, go completely nuts. You know what? I'm just going to build a wall right here. See, see if they can just do that. Because <laughs> it seems to just be sitting there quite contently. Nope, I don't need you to pull the lever. I just need you to link the lever to that. Wow, it doesn't seem super intent on moving. The heck is this trainer? I don't know, he's got zero jobs assigned. So that's a good question. Uh, praying, apparently. And very happy. Like, extremely happy. What, just wallet? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't quite say it's that kind of a solution, but it's certainly a solution. It's not a good solution, it's just a solution for right now. Alright, pull the lever, and it's dead. We'll just let them stand here for a minute until this thing comes back. The more important question is now, then where's the kid? If it wasn't in your bag. Oh. We got out uh, somehow in the middle of that. Well, that's good. That's Maybe I already dumped all the items off of him and the kid's been out for a while. I, I hate cages. <laughs> Go back to doing what you were doing previously. Gosh. Throw this body away, please, before it comes back.
I too would be upset if I had to do this job, kid. Okay, uh, let's do that. Lock this. And then I can read Lyagushka's uh, Lai um, mental state. Probably worse than mine right now. Bonk, okay. Apparently I need empty cages too. Well, that's useful. This dwarf's been killed twice already. Um. But uh, here, I'll just do this. I'll read off the living dwarves right now because I need to make bedrooms. Uh, a devilish potato, Aegis, Bastet, a bunch of rocks, Claiborne, Cilantro, uh, Earless, uh, Old Zwari, uh, FG Squared, Jerry Gord, Joe True, Kyra Asylum, uh, Lightning Roger, uh, Lyagushki, um, Squeak, uh, Ruby Squeak Bird, Salty Tempest, um, who's no longer going to be a animal trainer, um, Sterlonian, uh, Stilonatus, well, it's Frank. That is something you're having an issue with. You cannot seem to get your dwarves to get rid of the remains of things like lizards and snakes. Uh, if you're having problems with that, go to labor, standing orders, refuse and dumping, gather outdoor refuse, and gather outdoor vermin remain and gather outdoor vermin remains. Otherwise, they will completely ignore them. How old is your dwarf? Like six, I think. Sub ten. Nine. I got the number upside down. Completely empty. It's one of those annoying ones where it's like, I wish I could help you, but I can. it's going to be impossible for me to give you a direct answer as to why it's not working. It's going to be quite literally impossible. Calling is like the lowest priority thing in the in the game, from what I can tell. So I'm betting here that this thing isn't flying out because there isn't a way for it to path out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cage trap right here. They're in your main hall. Yeah, like, like I said, I if you've got that option set, I cannot give you a direct answer because I don't know what the rest of your fort looks like. It could just be a priority issue. There may just not actually be uh, anywhere for them to put it. Uh, it could be any number of things. Also, I really, really, really want to make a forge. So I'm going to begin making a forge like right here. I need forges, I need bedrooms, I need I need like a dozen things right now. <laughs> I need like a billion things and I don't have the time for any of them. How long, how soon do you want to get down to lava for forges? Whenever your heart desires it. There is no like strict timing. This is when you should do this thing in Dwarf Fort. Like I've had forts where I build lava forges before I make bedrooms. I've had forts where I, it's, you know, year 15 and I haven't started smelting yet. You know, like it, it, there is no strict, how soon should you do a thing? When you, as soon as you want to is when you should. That's the, the beauty of playing a game that has like no real meta to speak of and no tech trees is you can just kind of do things in whatever order. Doesn't matter. And like I, one of the big complaints I saw from some streamers who were streaming this game when it first came out on Steam was, um, man, I just do the same thing every time. It's like, well, that's a you problem. Stop doing the same thing every time. Go do something different then. All right, so currently don't have access to the surface. We're going out and loading cage traps. 
And the question is, did that trap the puffin? Nope. All right, well then, I will just simply place a cage trap directly underneath you. Is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, like, right here, and I'm going to... Oh, that's just a cage. I'm going to go, like... Actually, I wonder. Oh, that's interesting. It's still pastured. Do I have to remove it from the pasture? Oh, would you... I don't remember it working that way. Like, at all. I had a wild animal pastured. That's hysterical. Oh, oh no, my wallet. Opsy doodle. Guess I left this subscription running. Seriously though, good to see you're still going strong, blind, smiley face. Uh, seriously, if you need a refund, just call me. I could work that out. But uh, thank you very much for the 17th month. Welcome back, Prismatic. I hope that was a joke. But uh, cheers. It's good to see you. Thanks for sticking around after so long. Animal pa see, it seems like it. I, I don't know if that's a new bug report, but it's certainly a bug report. What's up, Wendig? Um, let's lock the dwarves back inside. Really, really, really don't want them outside unless absolutely needed. Currently, it is nut. Let's get them all inside. They can stop getting putrefaction snowed on them. What happened to the puffin? Um, my trainer is an incompetent dolt, um, which appears to have caused them to uh, leave them alone long enough that they went wild again, which sucks. But the weird bit is they then wouldn't go get caught in the cage trap that I made for them and just kind of were hanging around there until I unpastured them. So it seems like pastures, for some some reason, override wild animal, which is not the way it's supposed to work. Um, it's supposed to be wild animal overrides pastures, so when um, they cease being a wild animal, or cease being trained and become a wild animal again, they will then just, you know, leave, right? Fly away, go, go do other things. Um, but in this instance, it seems that seems to not be the case, which is... Weird. Okay. Well, it's it's definitely a bug. I don't I don't know how heavily reported it is, but it's absolutely a bug. Hey chat, you guys want to see some good news? Like some really good news? Like some of the best news I've seen in a while? Um, regarding video games? Take a look at this. Roblox is still losing money. Yay! Although they're just like, the game platform continues to grow revenues, but expects con to continue reporting losses for the foreseeable future, which is hilarious because I thought they were profitable. Okay, so they were profitable throughout 2022, but then they got a net loss at the end of 2022 of like 900 million. And uh, since then, they've been just losing money, which is interesting. Here's the full article if anybody wants to go read those. Wait, like shorting Roblox? Am I like understanding your terminology correctly there? How does what happen? How does, like, Roblox lose money? Um. FG, you, you tamed the, the giant puffin. Oh, man. Another dwarf is stricken by melancholy. Man, I, I need to... I need to fix this fortress. <laughs> Shit's kind of gotten bad. I need to unbreak this fortress is what I need to do. 
Let's just give dwarves bedrooms. Let's focus on that. Focus on bedrooms. For everything else. Stuff's fighting. That's not good. We've... Oh. My lord. So. One of my chickens died. That's actually kind of hysterical. <laughs> I didn't think that another one would die so soon. I was waiting for there to be like... 200 chickens in there. Anyway, so one of my one of my roosters died, I think. Um, my fort dies to an army of zombie chickens. I'm gonna laugh really fucking hard. All right, guys, get in there. Do your dirty. Do do your job. This is what you were trained to do. I there's intestines uh, and bones flying everywhere. Why is this chicken still? St okay, it's dead now. That, <laughs> well, at least nothing of value died. No, these are definitely not horse sight. These are just, these are just chick, these are chickens. <laughs> these are literally just normal ass chickens. <laughs> um, how many did you get, ton? None, okay, how about, how about you, C Claiborne? You killed two zombie hens and a zombie horse, by the way. That that's your kill count for this fortress. That that is absolutely hysterical. <laughs> and then uh Lycott here. He's got how many? One one zombie rooster and one zombie hen. A zombie goblin and a zombie two humped camel. I think this guy's kill stealing. All those chicks are gonna become zombies too. Uh, yep, and it begins now, which is why I'm leaving the military stationed. I don't think... Okay, like, are they going to do much damage to us? Like, there's no way. There's no way. The Mace Dwarf punches the corpse in the right wing with the right hand, uh, shattering the bone. Hammerlord bashes the corpse in the... Yeah, no, like, they're, they're not... It's not even scratching us. The Mace Dwarf bashes the, the hen corpse in the lower body with his bismuth bronze mace, etc., uh, etc. Et mace Dwarf bashes the hen corpse in the throat with his left hand. I, d <laughs> I No, but this is hysterical. Any of you dwarves die, you deserve it. That's all. This is going to increase the kill count so much. Look, it's like it's like whack-a-mole. It's literally like whack-a-mole. They kill one, another one pops up. They kill another, another one pops up. All right, let's see if I can just get all of these. Okay, don't don't dump the hen egg. Those are actually important. Y y I got to admit, this is pretty this is pretty hysterical. Fortunately, one, somehow one of my hens lived. I mean, yeah, this seems. I was gonna joke about that. This seems like okay training. I mean, like, not the worst training. Killed two zombie hens and one zombie rooster. We're going to be looking at these in, like, a week's time and just be like, man, how many kills do you have? Oh, right, yeah, remember that time you had to kill a bunch of zombie chickens? <laughs> <laughs> it's training plus lunch. These ain't edible, dude. <laughs> these are mangled bodies. Oh, wow, that is funny. All right, let's put the chicks back in here. <laughs> and then maybe pay a little bit more attention to how many are in here. Also, that rooster can live in here and that guinea hen. Any any fowl, like that duck, can go in here too. And the hen just vomited. <laughs> um... The mangled hen head. Yeah. I mean, we still got a bunch of chicks left. That is too funny. I had, like, I hadn't, that, that thought hadn't even crossed my mind. What if, like, 
what if one of the chickens dies of old age? <laughs> that hadn't even crossed my mind. Well, no chicken cord on dwarf. Um. Okay, why why are you guys in here? Kyra Asylum's been found. Did did. Well, I mean, I'll just pull the lever and crush you. But, like, wh what? Were you fighting with something? Kyra Asylum was fighting with... It's fighting with the hen corpse. The hen mutilated corpse strikes the miner in the right lower leg, chipping the bone. <sighs> Pons, thanks for the raid. Cheers, man. Um, I just had a dwarf die to an undead chicken. And a rooster. Deserved it? I hate to say it, but I... Yeah, I'm gonna say it. I think this dwarf deserved this. Um, I love just the blood mash, the smash right there. It's just, why, there's just a blood smear there. It's, it's fine. We're in a situation. Yep. Yes, we are. We are, in fact, in a place, currently. I don't think the, I don't think those were the lyrics, Orange. But uh, you were dark and darker ing all day, right? Finger licking bad? That sounds pretty bad. <laughs> Your assumption would be anyone who managed to die from any sort of chicken deserved it. Yeah. Last day of dark and darker test. Gotcha. Gotcha. I think these dwarves need a vacation chat. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think they need a nice vacation of doing nothing but making beds for a bit. Or making bedrooms for a bit. Um, that was Mel Bill S. It's not my proudest dwarf I've let die. The dwarf manatee? I mean, if there's an undead manatee, please let me know because that sounds terrifying. All right. Undead chicken whack-a-mole. Sounds like, like a, dwar a dwarven hobby, honestly. What are you playing? Undead chicken whack-a-mole? All right. How many dwarves need bedrooms? Because I've got 96. Two dozen or so? Okay. These are not assigned over here yet, so let's... Get these beds placed. Let's get flooring placed over here. How many uh, siltstone boulders I've got lying around? 13, that's actually not that many. And also, I'm just going to permit native silver ore in this stockpile for a minute. Because I keep seeing them hauling them down, and I don't want them doing that. Right, Kalu, what kind of dwarf would you like? Um, you might die to an undead chicken. Where goes everything? I didn't realize there was things to begin with. Oh, your, your tickets, I see. <laughs> 
You had me mildly concerned there for a second. Then I realized you were talking about tickets. I was like, oh, well, that's real. Hello, Aldo. Yeet. How's things, sir? We just had an army of a bunch of dwarves die to undead chickens. That, it's been a day. I'm at the point right now where I think if we get sieged again, I'm just going to lock the door and just wait for them to leave. <laughs> because, like, oy, it's been a day and a bit. <sighs> Hi, Lump. Hope things are good. Probably out for the chickens. The chickens? What about the dwarf that died to them? Those poultry fought back. One of them died of old age, and the massacre began. It was horrific. It's like the most losses I've had in recent memory. And this entire fort has been in like the last hour and a half or so. But uh, Hobo, since since you've been a stranger since uh, still recently, how's things been? What you been up to? Oh, the like the literal first five minutes of the vod. That's what he's talking about. Like, as soon as I turn the camera on, basically. That's a good emote. Of course, MST3K has that emote. Of course they do. You're a newish player and you've been watching a ton of your community forts and uh, it has you wanting to start a new fort and you're about to go seek fun. Hell yeah. Always a good time. I need, I need ideas of what to scatter in between these. Thinking about starting to build more housing in between them. So having like these lower houses and then also the upper houses. You love the room designs? Well, thank you. This has been a fun one to mess around with. Yours are just plain squares? Uh, pro tip, if you want things to be less plain squares, um, cut the edges off. Like, cut the corners. They immediately become circular when you do that. Makes them a vis visually immediately different. You... How do you, okay, how do you accidentally give away 25 subs t on, on a channel on Twitch? Is this like an oopsie, I accidentally. Anyway, 25 gift subs. <laughs> Is that a challenge, what, accidentally giving away a gift sub? It's exactly what you want it to be. I wouldn't necessarily call it a challenge. You don't want to be lazy by cutting corners. <laughs> I don't think that's the definition of cutting corners. I think that's just called design, but if anything, it adds more clicks, so it's the opposite of lazy. Also, I gotta say, it's like those giant... Um birds have been on this map for a very long time and we've had no other animals show up on the map. I wonder if they're like stuck here or something. Like refusing to leave for some reason. You know what? It's Frank. You de you deserve your own bedroom even though you're only a child and you don't actually need it because you did punch a zombie to death multiple times. 
and also got kidnapped by a goblin and then released by same goblin. I did kind of fuck up, though, deciding that all of these bedrooms are going to be the same color flooring. Nobody actually told me that. Neither did I. I never even said it out loud. I've just kind of decided it in my head that they're all going to be the same color. So now I'm having to specifically mine out more siltstone to make more bedrooms. Bedrooms don't need doors, no. They just need to be an enclosed space. Which means you can make a bedroom without a door and do the Sims thing and be like, ah, no door. Uh, more uh, migrants have arrived. Also, I definitely never gave Raikulu their dwarf. I'm going to go check and see what they wanted. My choice, bearded. My happiest. Oh, boy. Looks at angriest. Loses his hope. Um, searches by happiest. Uh, you're a soap maker. Oops. Never mind. Ran off. Um... Searches by happiest again. Never mind, you are a farmer. And you are currently napping in your bed. There you are. That you. He is trusting and quite ambitious and is curious and eager to learn. Has a tendency to consider ideas and abstractions over practical applications. Uh, over practical applications. Uh, he tries to keep his things or orderly, and he has a greedy streak, and he has a tendency to uh, toward forming deep and emotional bonds with others. He lowers his eyes when he's annoyed, and he needs alcohol to get through the working day. And he doesn't really care about anything anymore. Uh, he personally respects the law and values good craftsmanship and dreams of mastering a skill. I think I might put this word for the military, actually. Since you said my choice, and I've been looking for more squatty dwarves. I'm not lying to anyone. Um, and uh, you, you now have a hammer. A silver war hammer. And a copper shield, nonetheless. Uh, you are married to Aerith, and uh, one of your kids is dead. Uh, your older one is still alive, though. Probably why you joined the military, I would assume. Uh, you're interested after watching a performance. You felt fond of when speaking with acquaintance, and you want to practice a martial art. Well, that's fitting. Uh, you're a member of the Earthen Creed and a member of the Farming Guild, and uh, um, also a citizen of the Accidental Ceiling and a member of the of the Whales of Drowning. Could name them Maxwell Edison? I don't understand the reference, really. <laughs> Um, let's, uh, get a bunch more bedrooms placed. You must be old. Seems like it. You said it, not me. <laughs> I might also just be incompetent. So there's, there, there is very much that. Give yourself more credit. It is highly likely that I might just be the idiot in the room. And that's usually the case, I've found. Just because you know a reference that somebody else doesn't know doesn't mean you're old. It just means the other person doesn't know the reference, meaning it could A, be obscure, B, just be something that was known in a certain part of the world that isn't known in other parts of the world, or I grew up in a little box, which is much more likely. Oh, I don't like the Beatles. That would do it. <laughs> At least not particularly. I respect them as a band. They have some good bass lines, but I couldn't name three Beatles songs. Actually, that's not true. I could probably name three Beatles songs. It would be hard for me to name more than three Beatles songs. How's about that?
It's sort of like when people make JoJo's ref JoJo references. It's like, in theory, I should know everything about that stupid franchise. But the reality is I know nothing about it because I just have a hard time caring. And I don't actually think I let any of my migrants in, so I should probably pull this lever. You mean I didn't? Oh, nope, there they are. <laughs> I'm kind of a bad person. I just left all of these people outside in the raining vomit snow for a good long time. Hey, look, another chicken. You have a Gorlax scholar? Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. You should let him stay if he asks. Gorlax are awesome. Odd choice there, Dwarf. I'm kind of jealous. I, I haven't had a single visiting Gorlack in this fort yet. The walled coven now has many worshippers and now requires a temple and a priest. Got another temple request. I think I might ignore it for a bit because, well, I can dig out the area for it. Well, I can put it down here. This whole area is just becoming a big old temple complex, mostly. You know, actually, I was thinking about what to build here. Maybe we'll build it right here. Yeah, let's let's build it right here. Make it out of granite, even. We'll have to hollow this out, obviously, but... <laughs> Blinds black space. <laughs> it's like... It's, it's like the moderator pilgrimage. Those that stick around eventually end up in my apartment somehow. Although it's been a long time since Hobo's been over. A long time. It was a lot more cluttered in here last time. Hmm. And then you put it like that. It sounds weird, but... How many mods could we fit? We could probably fit the entire mod team in this apartment. It's not big, but there's also not that many of us. I can hear orange snickering from here. Get your brain out of the gutter, you weirdo. Unless he's watching another stream as well. All right, there we go. That'll be a new temple. Um, let's go down here and see how many... Okay, all of those are done. I dig out... Uh, there's one down there that I can work on, so I can leave the game unpaused and we can queue this up. It's going to look like a clown card? <laughs> I mean... That, that would be a... I mean, okay, actually, in this space right here, yes, it would be a cram. It would be crammed. Cramped. Is. Cause this this little this little corner of my apartment is maybe like a meter and a half, but like me ish. They're being booped. Oh, by Bastet. <laughs> I don't know. Bastet boops people. I don't ask questions.
All right, I've had several artifacts fail because I haven't been paying attention. Let's make sure this one doesn't fail. Like this guy. This guy is stricken by melancholy right now. Um, so where's this artifact? Which one is it? Uh, it's a gem cutter. So green person? Nope, not you. Oh, I understand the problem. I don't have a I don't have a jewelry shop currently. We'll need to build a dormitory at least for your mods or they'll get unhappy thoughts. Yeah, that that's the thing. Like, uh, it's it's difficult to have one person crashing at my place for a couple of days. I don't actually think I could have more than one person crashing at my place. It's not bad. It's a, I, I have a bed and a sofa, and the sofa is too small for a human. And then also some camping gear for somebody to be on the floor. So, like, theoretically, tops, we could have maybe one more person. This this apartment is just one room, so. It's one room and a bathroom. This is true, though. Hobo is, Hobo is correct. However, I have enough weed to remove the unhappy thoughts, generally. So... Okay, why is there just piglet? Why is there pigs everywhere? Where did all this goddamn livestock come from? It's useless critters. I might actually just start throwing them into cages and just sell them. Maybe I'm a bad person, but like. Need to cut some trees and craft some beds. Well, we do have plenty of trees here. And some of them are smokable. I love I go in I go in to like look at jobs and the vast majority of the dwarves are just queued up to sleep. <laughs> Something kind of funny about that. Sleep is the best job. Sleep is considered a job in Dwarf Fortress. Or a task, actually. More specifically. Um, I will make this into temple. Now let's see if I can remember which one it was. I know it'll be one from the list. I can remember which ones I've already made, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Legendary sleeper. Mood. I wish I was. I'm definitely like an amateur sleeper at most. Temple. Earthen Creed. The, wall, the Walled Coven. The Pregnant Creed. Fabulous Creed. Or Fabulous Coven. 18 worshippers. Right. I'm pretty sure it's the Earthen Creed. I don't think they already have one. Okay, the Earthen Creed is there. Pregnant Creed is there. And then this one is... Fabulous Coven. So then which one's this one? Might be they just need me to add on to... Okay. Might be this one. Oh, never mind. It's been ignored. The Walled Coven is the one that wants it. So, which one is it? That one. All right, well, I can build it for them anyway. It took too long. Typical dwarves, picky picky. Where you do not breathe for two minutes? What are you, a scuba diver? I don't know anything about this, but that doesn't sound super healthy. <laughs> if 
feel like I'm starting to get better at this design. All right, you go there. And you do this, you do this, you do this, and then we'll do one right here. Which won't fit on the top side, but that's okay. You know, maybe what we could do actually is I could do it over here. And then that'll be it for right there. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I I, I hadn't contemplated that pot that particular detail. Giant Puffin has reverted to a wild state times two. Because you have a dirty mind, Tyler, would be my guess. Just a slight possibility. All right. Um, where's the dwarf in the strange mood? Oh, has begun a mysterious construction. Perfect. What did they grab? Rough adventurings. Well, we're getting a perfect something or another. Today's just been one of those days where it's like, everything's going wrong, like, constantly in this fortress. And I kind of wish that wasn't the case, but here we are. I do love this fortress layout, though, and the more I look at it, the more I like it. Oh, shit! An adventuring great! And here I was expecting a, uh, you know, uh oh, zombie. I was expecting a perfect gem. Dog skin is fighting? Well, that's a shame. Oh, that's also not good. Run away, Dulmot. Run away. You can get out. Come on. I know that the, the zombie is, like, poking you in annoying ways, but we can kill it. And we can save you. This is all doable. Please, zombie, don't come back in 18 pieces. Um... We're currently locked in the burrow. Yes, we are, which means this is not in the burrow. It is now. Overexerted. There we go. Got a dwarf coming and rescuing you, I think. Yep. I love just the teeth on the ground in the hospital. It's like a dentist's office all of a sudden. Okay, so you've been evaluated, brought to rest, uh, treatment required. Uh, you need a mobilization in your bat, in your uh, hand, and a setting, and your finger needs surgery. Well, I think that'll be doable. Your construction engineering presentation starts to feel like it makes sense. Uh, you've made an error. <laughs> an interesting take. Do I have enough uh, immobilization? I have nothing, actually. I never... Did I really actually somehow never put a chest in here? Wow. I'm terrible at making hospitals.
Well, I got the surgery done. Oy vey. It's blind IRL guy? Yeah, he's great at this video game. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's just functioning on significantly less sleep than he's used to, so he's like annoyingly drowsy right now. Oh, hi, shark jumping wal walrus. Are you on your way up? That's your fault? No, not really. I could have been like, fuck you, stay in an Airbnb. Combined effort, how's that? Increase the number of these. And those. This particular dwarf? I mean, it was just their finger. So three pieces of pigtail thread, looks like. Yeah, it was just compound fractures in their finger. Lower back teeth is gone. It's literally just like their hand is fucked up. Ability to grasp somewhat impaired. Already gonna go get a drink. All right. Um, let's get these floored up. There's like a bunch of, th I, another thing I, I really need to do is I need to get clothing industry going. Also, speaking of clothing industry, how much cloth do I have? Hey, true freak, how's things? Um, Actually kind of a lot of case spider silk cloths, sheep's wool, decent amount of plant wool or plant cloth rather, plant wool. Um, I'm gonna make a loom just outside of here, like maybe down here somewhere. Because I currently don't have a loom in the fortress, I don't think. I might. Do I? Okay, I do. I need to move it, though. Workshops, clothing, loom, mudstone, mudstone, mudstone. Three of those real easy and quickie. Did I run out of coffee? Don't make me more coffee. It's 5 p.m. I'd like to sleep tonight. There's a point where you get diminishing returns. But no, I still have a little bit left. Oh. Can the dead, can that dead chicken? There's another dead chicken? Where's this other dead chicken? Oh, that's not a chicken. That's a guinea hen. Goose probably killed it. Nope. <laughs> but, uh, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, no, there is a dead chicken. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, no idea. We're gonna build stone. More silt stone. More silt stone. And more silt stone. No, oh, no, thank you. Actually, dumb question. What even is the carbohydrate counts of those? It would probably just spike my blood sugar and make me sleep here. <laughs> Unless for some reason they make sugar-free ones that I'm unaware of. I'm just curious. I don't actually want one, though. Um, that, 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 bed, 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 bed. There we go. I'm just trying to get all of these dwarves housed because we got what, it was like a migrant wave followed by a siege that we should have handled better followed by a titan, followed by a siege that we should have handled better, followed by a uh, fucking chicken catastrophe. <laughs> um, 
followed by like, and in between each of those was a migrant wave. So, I just, like everything just kind of got screwed up all at once at the same time, and it's just it's just been kind of a mess cleaning it up since. Just trying to get all of these dwarves into beds so that we can like actually take some basic care of them. 34 carbs. Ah, uh, I'd be fair. That's like that's about half of a monster. Actually not that bad. For 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 an energy drink, that's not so bad. The Hundus Oh yeah, also there was the Hundus of it. Yep, that that also happened. The Wears of it. Um that killed a kid. That can, that then came back like a dozen times. We had the the kid get snatched by a snatcher. That took way too long to sort. Wear Civic? <laughs> you know, honestly, if someone wanted to put like a wear truck in this game, that would be way too funny. That would be a very funny mod. It's like, what's this? Oh, it's a wear Honda Civic. Just wait until you see the, uh, you know, actual scary cars. Uh, and I've got a ghost on the surface that is spooking. Wait, hey, hold up. Dwarf that's on the surface. Why are you up here? Why why are you up here? You're hungry and dehydrated. Well, you had one job, and that was stay inside. Where Jeep kicks dwarf with a four by four drive. You know, okay, I, I would play a truck for or actually no, not 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 truck fortress, that's the wrong term. Uh I, I would play a dwarf fortress overhaul mod that just makes it into cars. It's like Tomator attacks thing. Repeat. Speaking of things that I handled poorly, another vile force of darkness has arrived. So you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do the last time I said that they, uh, what I was going to do when, when they attacked, which is lock the doors and forget about them for a bit. You guys just hang out outside. I need to fix the underground. You kill anything, that's cool. Oops, wrong lever. Pull that again. You're supposed to lock the door, though. There you go. Your designations would be hella weird with that mod. How so? <laughs> Car goes and grabs a pickaxe and runs away with it. You know, weirder than the like Star Wars mod. All right, I didn't really want to go with clothing industry here, but I guess I am. The cloth stockpile there. These are all made out of what? Mudstone? Mm. Let's go with granite. Give them a little bit of color. Although there is one other thing I need to make sure is locked. That's these. One, two. Yeah, ramps, ramps everywhere. No stairs. Nothing would be able to take stairs. Hmm. It, it kind of, it's making me think actually about like the droids in the uh, Star Wars overhaul mod for Dwarf Fort. It's kind of what it's making me think about. All right, Um. right, let's just queue up some more slabs. I feel like I'm running out. Make you all out of thumb. So something happened which distracted me from reading this artifact, which is a aventurine great. A craft store ship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of square, brilliant cut adventurines. 
And because I am still serious about making this into a um, artifact hall, what I think we're gonna do is I'm just gonna make granite floors real quick in here. And we're just gonna place it in there. Put two doors here. You shouldn't be surprised that there was a Star Wars mod. It let you play as Jawas, and there was hundreds of droids that it added. It was basically just like you play perfectly normal Dwarf Fortress, except a bunch of stuff was renamed to droids things. What? Wait, is there still combat happening? Okay, we lost a dwarf somewhere. Um, but yeah, it basically just like massively over exaggerated the the number of things, random entities that you could have. What a grateful artifact. I'm very grateful for that artifact, yeah, I agree. Uh Long Night. Which has also got a version on the workshop already. It's just only compatible with classic, which like you can only play it with ASCII glyphs. Which is kind of unfortunate because I think it means that the vast majority of people will never touch it. Yeah, no, they definitely didn't. They definitely did not have time to make it in before the siege. Now that, now that you remind me about that. All right, well, I'm going to place some pedestals in here. And then these are going to start getting artifacts. that I'm not going to use for other things placed on them. At least other things right now. All right, Birdie. You're semi-wild. All right, semi-wild Birdie. You get put over here on the chain. Then your cage is going to get removed. God, those giant... Giant semi-wild puffin flapping around the fort. Fortunately, a bunch of rocks got him. Poor critter. It got to feel free for a moment there. You've been enjoying the uh, long night, although the glyphs did take uh, some getting used to. To but you enjoy the content. That's good. I I'm I'm glad that you've been enjoying it. I I played the long night a, a handful of times on older versions, and um, it was very enjoyable. Also, I think what I'm going to do, kind of for the remainder of stream that I'm doing right now, is I'm just going to kind of stare at chat, read chat, and just try and play slower. Because my the, this this fort just has thrown so much shit at me in the last 10 minutes, I'm just going to kind of ignore this siege, and we're just going to try and fix it. Funniest memorial slide we've seen in the game so far was bled to death, slain by... <laughs> so, I can explain... <laughs> That's a, a very skilled usage of miscellaneous objects. Just like, you know, the, the dwarven um, skill of throwing anything to kill anything with anything. Um, like the very classic lion... Uh, hold on. I, I, asked this, I have this, like, bookmarked. That's how many times I show it on stream. Um, this classic image of um, the, the spinning lion corpse strikes the lion in the upper body... Uh, bruising the muscle and jamming the left false rib through the lung and tearing apart the left lung. The lion is having trouble breathing. The lion corpse has firm... Th the lion corpse has firmly lodged in the wound. When a hyper predator arrives <laughs> at the 30 trade caravans, it's always an interesting time. Oh yeah, no it is, truly. Truly. I mean like, I, I, a bronze colossus could so kill somebody by throwing cheese at him. They're strong enough, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty damn sure, actually. All right, so um, we got beds being made now. 
Also, um, I would like to take this moment to remind everybody, if you want to support the stream directly, uh, you, you could buy yourself a, a hoodie or a t-shirt or a mug or a sticker or a different sticker or a different, different, different sticker. Um, and be one of the actually 100 different people that have purchased stuff from my store. It's kind of crazy. Or no, that's also completely valid. Shipping's expensive in some re regions. Um, let's do this, that, and the other. Place a bed. And bedroom. Got your mug today? Yay! It's pretty great. One person had a mug arrive broken, which is, you know, I'm hard to avoid at times. It's really weird. I can hear orange typing, and then I see stuff appear in my chat. Should be a cheese runner event? Probably should be, yeah. Do you know a good mod that either overhauls or adds in some eldritch horrors? Yes, but I don't actually know the name of the mod because it was included in a mod pack for older versions of the game. I don't... I'm, actually, look into the Dark Ages. I think it's the Dark Ages mod. Has some of that. Adds a bunch of different weird lycanthropes um, that are hard as hell to deal with. Um... No, it's fine. It's just it's it's just odd. It's just something I'm not used to. Um Can you make safe water slides? Define safe. Doesn't immediately kill things? I mean, I I open up the uh the 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 uh, I'll just say this. I open up the Steam Workshop and this is the first thing I see. It adds the thing, the the thing from the thing. Um, that's pretty eldritchy. <laughs> I don't know if it's um. Playable, but like, have fun. With Gremlins starting as pets and allowing all... I, ages ago, used a mod that let me um, have Plump Helmet Men start as pets, which was really cool until I realized that that mod also allowed me to brew them, and then I stopped using the mod because I felt bad. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I get to have Plump Helmet Men in my fort. And then it's like, oh, it wants me to brew them. Well, <laughs> I'm good. Moving on. Um, so I used that mod once, and it was kind of neat, but. You don't use any mods, you just alter the files. That's the best way to do it, actually. Dwarf Fortress is a super malleable game if you put a little bit of effort into it. I mean, generally, that, that is what most of the mods are, except now they have sprites associated with them. That's really all that most of the mods are is they're just like somebody changing a few numbers and then associating a different character with it or in this case now a sprite i guess i haven't seen any anime titties emotes yet and you know what i'm okay with this I'm totally fine with, like, there not being anime titty mods for Dwarf Fortress immediately. Maybe, like, the reality is is too many Dwarf Fortress fans are just actually, like, massive furries, so they don't need the anime titties because they're just happy with all the animal people. What'd you tune back into? Nothing of value. <laughs> Uh, Wanderkin, what kind of dwarf would you like? Thanks for the distraction. <laughs> I'm not sure beards perform the same function, but sh I don't know. <laughs> Hey, 
Any kind of craft dwarf? All right. Well, here I'll, I'll scroll through the craft dwarfs and you you tell me which one you want. That's our list. Bone Garver? You mean, you mean uh, Toulon up here? Wander Kin. She would never, under any circumstances, speak up or otherwise put forth her point of view in, dis in a discussion, actively avoids exciting or stressful situations, and feels strong urges and seeks shortest term rewards she tends to be swayed by the emotions of others and likes to take it easy she is often cheerful and she tends to tries to get things done perfectly she finds helping others to be very emotionally rewarding and is given to flights of fancy she uh, uh, generally acts impartially and is rarely moved to mercy and often feels discouraged she clicks her tongue constantly when she's trying to remember something and she chews her lips when she's angry she dreams of raising a family, and she personally uh, finds friendship burdensome. And she sees competition as reasonably important, and values cunning, and peace over war. She likes gabbro, bronze, sardonyx, and sloth bear leather. And uh, reindeer for their large herds, and the words of the page of aquamarine, and the sight of the prim sheen, and when possible prefers to consume large rat, and persimmon wine and finger mullet flower, and sunberry seeds, and caper leaves, and absolutely hates mosquitoes. Welcome to the fort. Um, we're going to do silk bag. 30. I need bags. I need to fill this stockpile up, and I need extras. Also, I'm going to fly up to the surface here, and I'm going to go to here, and I'm just going to get rid of this stockpile. The stockpile needs to go bye-bye. It's causing problems. It's poor dwarf. Um, you know, I'm more on team fuck deer flies, but mosquitoes are also pretty bad, yeah. I, I guess, like, the problem is, is my brain is like, well, there's far worse out there than mosquitoes. Like, yes, mosquitoes suck. They really, 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 really suck. But there's far worse. <laughs> Uh, deer fly. Bugs on screen in a second if you're scared of bugs. You may want to close your eyes from, like, until I say now. Okay, so, uh, right. Okay, there, bugs on screen. Um, so this, this is a deer fly. Um, they're super goddamn fast. You can't outrun them, and they literally remove chunks of skin and cause bleeding. I, I would rather... Uh, be swarmed by horse flies than deer flies because I can walk faster um, than a deer fly. I can't walk faster than... Or I can walk faster than a horse fly. I can't walk faster than a deer fly. All right, bugs are off screen now. Those are deer flies. I've walked through clouds of them. Oh no, another undead chicken. <laughs> These chicken are becoming a liability, chat. Oh no, wait, what? And another dwarf was found dead. Uh, A S I M S A L F E B. It's a fair nope. <sighs> there another day on the job for you? Oh God, I'm sorry. Lightning Roger is apparently throwing a tantrum. Things are going kind of rough here, or through a tantrum. Maybe I maybe I need a prison. Let's um finish bedrooms and then make a prison. Something about Dwarf Fortress, if you let bedrooms get out of hand, oh my god, it becomes like dangerous for the longevity of your fort quickly.
Uh, nothing can destroy walls. Unless it's fire and the walls are made of wood. So just don't make your walls out of wood and nothing can destroy your walls. Dwarven um, construction is uh, something. <laughs> There's a reason they say all craft store ship is of the highest quality. And currently nothing can destroy doors either, which is ridiculous. Normally, or as long as I've played this game, any big creature, basically, anything troll and bigger, more or less, can just used to just be able to rip doors off their hinges. But for some reason, in this particular version, that is no longer the case. So we're all kind of under the assumption that that is an oversight bug that is going, or like, uh, like a like something that got cut or something that is coming back. So, but actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if we've heard like direct comment as to whether or not that's coming back. It's goofy as heck, so I do hope it comes back. Like, the amount of shenanigans you can get up to with just, like, completely trivializing any threat right now with doors is crazy. Thanks, Hoff. I'm currently digging it. And also I dig it as well, which is why I'm using it. It looks cool. The problem is it's super time-consuming to make. So I've been having trouble uh, keeping up As of late, but doing my best. All right, so while they dig those out, I'm going to build these. Wrong button. No five by five boxes everywhere. I try so hard not to make boxes. I try really hard to not make boxes and not make rude shapes. And apparently I fail at both of those things sometimes. And every now and again, there's one person who tunes into my YouTube videos and is like, Your forts is ugly! And I'll be like, I mean, matter of opinion. I wouldn't call your fort ugly if I just tuned into it. No, the teardown walls is completely de has been completely deactivated since, like, ever as far as I know like the skill is there but it's just not active because that's something that's being added into the game after um the siege rework which isn't is very far from being in the game right now some more migrants have arrived but the front door is locked so we open that and uh open that Non-min-maxed boxes. Yeah, they can be rough on the frame sometimes, though. I need... Do you want me to make ballista arrows, Mayor? Oh, boy. Oh. Well, that wasn't what I was expecting. Immediately, just a bunch of gob uh, undead goblins run over and get caught. So, a uh, dwarf's body gets, runs over and gets caught, and then uh, two undead goblins run over and get caught. Well, then. I guess that dwarf caused something to die. Or something caused something to die. The siege must have just kind of dealt with itself then. You know, I'm kind of just shocked constantly right now that this fort hasn't, like, keeled over <laughs> yet. Like, we've been, like, riding on, like, the scene of our pants with, like, what, what we can do to stay alive here. We've been flying pretty close to the sun for a while now in this fort. I'm just going to lock that door. Turn this off. Yeah, exactly. You just need one or two dwarves to zombify and then the whole thing just falls over. All right. Um. Kind of. Hmm. 
Got a bunch of bags. Those bags are over there. Jump over here to this kiln. We're gonna make plaster powder. Just repeat until we run out of it. There's another thing I was going to do a while ago and super didn't. Um, can go back to these. Those are all assigned bedrooms. We can go over to these. Just work, I'm just focusing on bedrooms currently. That's the only thing that matters currently. That stream is beautiful. I want to make a, um, what's it called? A, uh, a, a, a mist shower somewhere, but I don't want to make like a powered one. I want to just make a mist shower, but I'm realizing that if I go and I start redirecting to a, <laughs> to a different thing right now, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to get distracted again and then nothing's going to get done. So I'm just focusing on bedrooms, focusing on bedrooms. I also realize I super duper didn't read the Discord word story, so I'm gonna go do that now. Yo, somebody made a great sphinx. Go go look at the Discord in the DF Save Sharing Room. Somebody made the pyramids and a and a, and, a, and a great sphinx. I don't actually have that much to read, so I might just refund that one just to make everybody's lives easier. Chat, go add stuff to the word stories so the next next one, there will be stuff for me to read over on Discord. Uh -huh. Go another five points to get a dwarf in the fort. As soon as there's one available, then you snipe it. It does kind of require a really quick trigger finger, though. Although it is getting easier to get into the fort, though. It's, it's like the kind of... Um, uh, the one kind of happy positive of Dwarf Fortress hype calming down. It's like it's easier for you guys to get named in the forts again. Is the carpenter still alive? Yeah, that's one thing that I will ask, though, nicely, is um, if you do have a dwarf alive, uh, don't request a second name. And yeah, I think they are. We can do a, a name check in as soon as I finish with these four. Current dwarves that are living in the fortress. And if you hear your name called, I'll check in on you. A, devil, a devilish potato, who I'm amazed is not dead. Uh, Aegis, Bastet, Bunch of Rocks, Claiborne, uh, D Dr. Linden... Um, Earless Old Zwari, FG Squared, Jerry Gore, Joe True, Lai Gushki, um, be, uh, be, uh, be, uh, Ruby a Squeak Bird, that looks like a B to me, um, uh, Ryloku, uh, Salty Tempest, Sir Sterlonian, who's a stone cutter, um, Stellanius, Wanderkin, and Wa! It's Frank. You too, you too. <laughs> I mean, like, that dwarf's been through a lot. And was also, like, the most pissed off dwarf in the whole fort when you got named. And is now, like, the happiest dwarf in the whole fort, which is crazy. So. Clearly, that dwarf getting named blessed their life. With good luck. You died? Mm-hmm. Actually, no, you were never named because uh, yeah, you never told me what kind of dwarf you wanted. You just said an orange beard, and we don't really have orange beards. So, no, you were never named in the first place. You were busy? I'm Yes. I mean, I could give you one of these siege engineers, like this guy down here. He's orange, but he doesn't have an orange beard. This dwarf is just orange with the name. Siege NG works already. Orange is getting a siege engineer. Orange, who is also orange, is obsessed with 
order and structure in his own life, with everything kept in its proper place. Seeks out exciting and adventurous situations and has a low sense of self-esteem. I'm sorry. Uh, doesn't often uh, feel envious of others, and uh, he doesn't focus on material goods. He prefers that everyone live as harmoniously as possible, and he is trusting. He generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity, and he is given to flights of fancy, and he finds helping others to be emotionally rewarding, and he enjoys helping the company of others. He needs alcohol to get through the working day and doesn't really care about anything anymore. Dreams of mastering a skill and personally finds the ab even the abstract idea of romance uh, repellent. Repu re even the abstract idea of romance, repellent. There we go. Uh, thinks it is of the utmost importance to present a bold face and never grouse or complain, or even show emotion, and values independence and is somewhat put off by family. I should put you in the military. Uh, he likes brimstone, zinc, uh, ver vericite, peregrine falcon leather, warthog hoof, and the color, uh, and the color clear. Oh, yes, the very elusive and debated color clear. Um, male shirts and alpacas for their jutting teeth and flame monsters for their bloated appearance. And the sound of the luxurious queen and when possible you prefer to consume prickleberry wine and you absolutely hate, hate oysters. And uh, you're married <laughs> to one of my doctors. Um, definitely not a romantic, I can say that much. <laughs> That's kind of hysterical. Um... You're part of the fabulous Coven. You worship the god of metal and music. Metals and music. Um, I'm putting you in the military. Hold up. Just because, like, you very much would do well in the military. Which means I would on honestly say that dwarves in the military in this particular fort probably have a higher chance of not dying purely due to the fact purely due to the fact that um, they actually have weapons. <laughs> So when, like, a zombie chicken starts pecking at them, they're less likely to get wrecked immediately. Oh, it's part 10. Raise your beers, chat. Uh, dancing is what's on the itinerary right now. Joining in with the party. big is your tavern it also doesn't happen that often i don't know exactly what causes the song itself to trigger but just because the song is playing doesn't mean they're not partying and dancing um they need a big enough dance floor to be able to dance though 
which may have something to do with that. I only have one planter right now. I need more set up planters. That's why stuff's not actually getting harvested quick enough. That one poor dwarf. So I need to make a thing for, oh, nope, not you. For a rackist. You come in from your ramen sushi adventure and you get a song. Hell yeah. Best. Uh, what's on the itinerary for tonight? Um, I'm like blasted tired because we were up late last night after like collecting uh, this guy from the like uh, station on the way to the airport. So I am plastered tired. So I don't really know what's on the itinerary for today. I was kind of thinking maybe some Caves of Cud this evening, but I'm at this point probably close-ish to just being done for the day and just ending early and actually sleeping tonight. Well, you see, here's the thing with the music in this version, right? Taxes. Also, holy crap, you just had the name Taxes with an underscore. That's impressive. Um, I, I, I think that... Um, oh, no, why are you tantruming? I think that... Um, the, the music in this version is, like, largely written by modders. So, like, anybody who's been around the Dwarf Fortress community for a while, if you've ever encountered Stone Sense, it's like... One of the people who worked on the soundtrack for this version of the game has been writing Dwarf Fortress music for fun for a very long time. So I think that the community has just simply been practicing for years to give this game a great soundtrack, and now it just has the official capacity and budget to have it. Uh, apparently, Orange is paying his taxes. I mean, I have to pay my taxes. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> it's very important. You did a tax write-off? I'm not certain that that's a write-off, but... Although me gifting subs in other streamers' chats is a tax write-off. Same with me gifting subs in my own chat is also a tax write-off, which many people don't actually know. It's considering it's considered marketing budget, which is kind of whack. Um, next year's taxes, yeah. All of this tracks, I would say. Putting cabinets everywhere, spreading around furniture. Dwarves can put their clothing in places. You know, it's funny. In, in, by all accounts, this fortress should be doing totally fine. But because it just also happens to be a resurrecting undead biome, it's just like <laughs> where things would be totally fine and everything would, should be going really smoothly right now. I just keep getting like the dumbest wrenches thrown at this fort. Yeah, like fuel, I would assume would be a write-off for you. Do you get to write off your food while you're en route? Food, yeah? Okay, that makes sense. I've had some streamers try to explain to me that I can write off any food that I eat on stream. And my tax lady said, maybe, but you're going to get funny looks from tax people. And I was like, okay, yep, not doing that. <laughs> If it's like they if they're gonna give you funny looks, it's like, alright, I'm out. Not never doing that. Noted. I love that the minecart's still running. I don't 
know if our tax. I think it's it's not the it's 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 not it's tax revenue services. Um, not IRS here, but yes. Yeah, I, I know a handful of streamers that have been audited, and it's uh, not worth it. They've got a Stoneworkers artifact coming along as well. Also, Orange, thanks for being the first person to chuck uh, money at... The, well, I guess, aside from the, the Prime six minutes ago. Um, thank you to the two of you for being the first people to chuck money at the stream in an hour and 48 minutes. Appreciate you guys. What mockbung streamers do? Uh, gain weight. That'd be my guess. No idea about taxes. You know what? Let's just make, let's see how these look with the darker colored staircases. Should fit the surroundings, I would think. Ooh, a second door. Man, I feel like I'm cheating. Uh, Obok, the paper maker, has created Anokasular, a siltstone door, and claims it is a family heirloom. Imagine this door is my heirloom. You shall not take it from me. This is a siltstone door. Our craft store ship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with round native silver cabochons and decorated uh, with sand pear wood. This object, of course, menaces with spikes of siltstone and bitumous coal. You used one of our two pieces of coal to make a door. I'm not thrilled with that, but also not that upset with it. Does that mean it's his house now? I I mean, it's his temple that I just put it in. <laughs> this is such a lively little fortress. Such a lively little fortress. How's the bedroom counter doing? Okay, so we need like what? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Let's just say 12 more bedrooms. So let's just queue up 12 more bedrooms. We'll just do that. Because I think that that is entirely doable. That's one. That's four. So I need to do basically four of these. And that should be enough for everybody. So I think instead I'm just going to do five of these. So theoretically, and I, I've heard conflicting reports about this, right? And this, I guess, is like the beauty of Dwarf Fortress, right? Can, when you get conflicting reports about mechanics. Um, I've heard people say that dwarves get pissed off if you sell artifacts that they claim for themselves. I've never seen that happen. Not once. So I don't think there is a difference mechanically. For the player, I think it's just kind of a do you want to roleplay this way or do you not um, kind of difference. But, um, yeah, I mean, they, they don't use them for anything. Um, the only dwarves that will use them for things are dwarves that are assigned to them. So I, I do not think that there's any major mechanical difference between any of the options. But in my experience, you can just sell them all. You can assign them to whomever. You can put them on a pedestal, let them get stolen. And I've never once seen a dwarf get upset. With the exception of me setting one on fire once on accident, that uh, made the dwarf upset. <laughs> something, something art defacement, I think, was the thought that they got. So, 
I guess, like, by that logic, it, it's possible to upset them somehow, but you have to, like, literally destroy the thing. And then they claim things like animal traps. I, I think the classic one that amuses everybody is a uh, dwarf has made themselves a sock or a shoe or, like, a mitten. <laughs> it's, like, not a pair of mittens, a mitten. An individual mitten for the cold hand, obviously. Right as their old masterwork was mistakenly destroyed. Oh no! You know, like that. Uh, that's 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 beautiful. Like genuinely, that that is that is kind of beautiful because it's just like that. That that just I, it's just the power of Dwarf Fortress. You know, the um, there's enough systems that it's hard not to derive meaning from completely nonsensical, meaningless occurrences. It's just it's. That, that's why Dwarf Fortress is powerful, is because it is so easy to just, like, point at that and be like, that means a thing, when it really, really doesn't. So that's, what, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20? So that's 20 more bedrooms. Oh, should be good. Hope pop Hope pop Obviously influenced by the King of Pop. I'm not... What? By, what, by, like, Michael Jackson? Wearing a single glove? I guess he does kind of do that. Or did kind of do that, rather. Pardon me. Dwarves wearing a single gives you of mice and men vibes. Dwar it's it's funny how Dwarf Fortress can go from like a whimsical town builder to the most serious like grim dark nightmare fiction in a matter of minutes. It's like it, the fortress can go from just this beautiful little kind of scenic city to just suddenly Lord of the Flies in like a matter of minutes if the wrong thing happens and everything starts to collapse. All right, let's just let them build things and dig things. Except I need to uh, dig out these. Like, everybody watching this right now, looking at this beautiful scenic village, knows it's going to be covered in blood at some point. Why is there blood in my tavern on that topic? Okay, short task tantruming. Okay, short task, who are you? I might actually just expel some of the most pissed dwarves. You, right here. Please leave. And also, there's a ghost there, which I think I made a slab for already. Yep. Place that. Which will make this merchant go away. Oh, this wasn't even one of my dwarves. This was the merchant that died in the water well. Well, at least just relieved after being near a waterfall. Rackist has been put to rest. That's good. Let's 
beds here. Are we making more beds? Nope, we stopped. Let's just do 25 more beds. For display only. You know, I you see, like, you, you say that, but, like, they have those in shoe stores. <laughs> you know, just, like, individuals of, like, extremely expensive shoes just, like, sitting out. It's like, it's not that inaccurate. It's just their one-off prototypes, right? Which I'm sure exist. It's a drinking vessel. Now, I like the way you think. I think dwarves should be able to drink out of their shoes. If, um... All right, chat. If you want to make a mod, uh, just make shoes in Dwarf Fortress act as mugs. But maybe they don't get as good of a thought about it. Like, they get irritated if they have to do it for a while. It's called a shoey. Not a, what, what's a crocky? Never heard of a crocky before, but I know what a shoey is. I was gonna, because, like, I, I, this is something that people I know from Australia talk about, and I've never heard the term crocky before. You ever drink Baileys from a shoe? I'm old Greg! Moving on. Drongo does that, yeah. Soggy boots from booze and sad wet feet. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, certainly not not an optimal state for feetsies to be in. Need skull goblets? I need to sell skull goblets. You know, like, joke, jokes aside, uh, um, I got harangued so much as a little kid about old Greg, it's not even funny. Well, I mean, in Canada, that's more like three cents, but thanks for the two cents, Orange. Is that visitor dwarf left yet? Get out of the fortress, you haggard brewer. You know, for two days, this fortress has progressed wonderfully, gotta say. Like, that initial room worked out quite well. What did the brewer do? A tantrum three times and kill a cat. Or not a cat, a chicken. Cat of the bird world. Was named Greg's place? I don't know. Did you bully me when I was in high school? If if not, then no, you're you're fine. Name things what you want. <laughs> Although once I got past high school and I got a, my first, one of my first jobs, uh, for a bit there I worked with a guy named Greg who was a lot older than me. So we had old Greg, young Greg, which wasn't me because there was a guy that was younger than me also named Greg, other Greg, which was me, and then shut up Greg, who was uh, this kid who never stopped talking. So it certainly like led to comedic moments later in life, but early, at, at the time when like, that stuff was blowing up on the internet. It was uh, kind of nightmarish. Playborn, thanks for checking us sub at Goth. Cheers, man. We are Greg. I mean, it was pretty confusing when, like, somebody would shout, Hey, Greg! And then, like, four people would be like, Which one? <laughs> there was definitely many um, schedules like that, to the point where, like, one of the managers, like, refused to work shifts if there was more than one Greg on the shift. Which is also, like, hysterical, because, like, 
there we, there was one point where we had three mics and Ike, and um, that wasn't confusing at all. Three mics and an Ike. I accidentally caught a magma crab in a cage trap, and they burnt out in the merchants from the mountain home. Oh no! Got all your traded items. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's that's kind of that's that's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, for whatever it's worth, unless they, unless like you've stolen stuff from them a few times, they're probably on good enough terms with you that they'll just like trade with you next year. They'll just bring less. Like unless you're intentionally killing them every time they show up, you're probably fine. It was spelled with a Y. It was one of those like kid had very wealthy parents and gave him a weird name. Kids. Not quite like, you know, Elon Musk wealthy, but like that kid had a job because his parents made him have a job and he would show up to work wearing like thousand dollar sneakers. It was one of those kids. Like his parents were artists and they lived in a house that was octagonal. I'm not even, I'm not even making that bet up. That part's completely true. His dad, like, designed their house. It was one of the ugliest houses on the, on the street that they lived on. At least they made him get a job. I mean, they paid for his car. But, like... Yeah, I guess they made him get a job. Timmy is, is a pretty good bit from South Park. I haven't seen that much South Park in my life, but I've seen that one. I've seen that bit. That's a pretty good bit. Timmy is pretty good. Also, chat room, I just have to say thank you for, you know, helping keep this sub count up. We're still holding above 2,000. Relatively strongly, too. I don't think it's going to uh, get back to the, the, the crazy numbers we had in December anytime soon. I'm more or less just kind of accepting that that's not going to happen again until Adventure Mode releases, probably. But, uh, you know, we're doing a pretty good job. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Most things are. I read Wanderer. <laughs> that's a good name. Thank you for uh, the Prime Sub. Cheers. Honestly, like, the only real difference between... Like, January and February versus December has been, like, in December, I think I got, like, like, 1,400 Prime subs or something insane like that. It's, like, more than halved since then. Ace Grizzly, thanks for the Prime. Cheers. Maybe I just need to say Twitch Prime out loud more often. Although then I'll sound like Ninja and I hate it. All right, we're getting more beds set up. I can get these last few signed. I think we're finally catching up. All right, let's just make coffer 60. Almost a train getting there. We're gonna make six, not 601 cabinets at 60. Um, chat, what not standard piece of furniture should I give my dwarves for their bedrooms? Like, should I give them all a weapon rack? Make them out of granite, actually. Should I give them all a, a, a weapon rack? Should I give them all, like, statue? Prime Twitch makes you sound like an uncontrolled jerky activist. Um, I don't, I suppose. A slab, they'll get that eventually anyway. Don't worry, they'll grow into that one. That's when they don't wake up anymore. I'm also kind of amazed I haven't hit the caverns light yet. I dug down to layer 50 and I've been chucking around in here and found anything weird yet. 
Grand pianos? Oh no, I am not making musical instruments for everybody. Built-in tomb? I mean, I could give them their own coffins. I saw a fort like that once. Oh no, screwed up that one. Put the wrong floor color. Bane, thanks for the 2,500 bits. Last week wasn't enough, hey? <laughs> Cheers, dude. Thanks for the $25. Appreciate you. Still placing the last of these. I think I, I think I might just go with an armor stand for every dwarf. Like a personal portrait? Ooh. I don't know. That's a bit tedious. <laughs> Twitch is lagging? I'm not dropping frames, sentient. Sorry if it is me. Oh, your Twitch is lagging. Well, there's a hype train. Um, that seems to be about it currently. Uh-oh, someone's dead probably. Oh, nope, caravan has arrived. Tis the dwarves. Um, what's on the surface right now? Giant puffins, a bunch of caged goblin cor corpses, etc. My titan of the hills. Yeah, we should be good. Can open it. <laughs> you know, that's. I think that's like up there with Peaches for dumb songs that just get stuck in your head. Getting Lauren. hyped. Getting hyped for the 20th month, Nervicious. Thank you very much. Playborn, thanks for gifting a sub to Gristeth, who's here all the time. We got a sniper out there today. Problem is I'm still not really working on any goods for trading. Wimmy Blade, thanks for gifting out two subs. Cheers, friend. And uh, fire in with the prime. Big thank you, chat. Um, I guess I could just cut some. Gem I, I I feel like I'm just wasting gems at this point. But like I I don't really have. I still don't have a good crafts industry set up in this fort, which is a problem. It's like I have any sort really. On the bright side, though, we're getting to a good number of. Let me wait. What? Let me blade. Thanks for gifting out two more. I thought I was seeing double for a second there. Thank you. I'm gonna set up a repeating job actually for um, uh, process plants. Um, when number of available is greater than two, or greater, yeah, great, greater than two. What just happened? Uh, Doctor Mac Daddy, thanks for checking out the five pack. Appreciate you. One of these years, I'll catch one of your streams again. Um, got quite a bit of charcoal and we're making more. Let's just do silver. I didn't even see what number that was. Um, suited giraffe. Thank you very much for checking out the 10. Cheers, man. 
We're going to forge a bunch of silver warhammers. Let's just do 20. I don't actually know how much silver I have. Back bars, 15. Okay, not enough. But I have 220. Okay. I've got 220. So I'm going to um, smelt. Why do dwarves laugh when they run? The grass tickles their balls. I don't always tell dwarf jokes. But when I do, I keep them short. Ha! I don't even know who said that, or where that was, or when that showed up in the list. Because I'll be honest, I completely missed it. <laughs> oh, this is Clayborn with a dollar. Thank you. Um, Hobo, thanks for the $6.66. <laughs> um... Lumi Blade, thanks for checking out another gift. Actually, at least I don't need to bring all that much. Although I literally only have the one, so we'll just wait for a minute. Although I could just bring a bunch of hammers. What actually do I have on the map for weapons? That silver mace. Two Warhammers. We'll sell those. If you, um, in advance, if you refresh, if you haven't done the notification bit yet, it'll count when you get the notification. If you refresh, you'll get the notification. Um, Old Zwari meets uh, with the Elpos liaison. And uh, we do the same thing we've done before, which is just ask for all of the wood. I don't have much to chop down, and I still haven't hit the caverns. So I guess plan for tomorrow for this fort chat is get to the caverns. And pretend that we are, um, you know. And pretend that we are, you know, um, a certain action hero. I'm still waiting for the 666 bits notification. I, I will I will wait until that joke is read by the text to speech lady because I think it's funnier that way, Claiborne. Stallone? So get to the chopper? No, that that's definitely Arnold Schwarzenegger from um uh Predator. Get to the chopper! Ah! When did that change back? How did that happen? I mean, it's short enough to not DMCA me, but actually, like, how? It's supposed to be hobo singing. What do you get from a dwarf cow? Do me a huge favor, chat. Milk. Please don't use that alert. <laughs> I'm gonna go delete that. How the fuck? That's been removed from my alerts for like years. What do you call a dwarf police officer? A guinea pig. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty good. You know, out of context, these would be really insensitive. Uh, Disable. All right, that one should be disabled now. What a fuck? Hold on, let me edit this one. Um. Oh my god, some of these old sounds that I have uploaded. I'm going to look into that one later and be like, why? why? Weird. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's always been you. I, 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 I don't know what the, the fuck. <laughs> I, I will figure it out later. It's disabled for right now. That one's still working as intended. Alright, well anyway, let's let's mark these and get these traded. <laughs> um I unfortunately can't afford all the logs. Chat room, thank you very much for the um $37 in bits and the 25 gifted I subs. Saw a dwarf scaling down the walls after escaping my fort's prison. That's bad. I thought to myself, that's a little condescending. I'm trying to unpack that one. Let me get back to you in five minutes about it.
Yeah, really, right? It's shit on everyone's fun and, like, made everybody super cautious of, like, saying nice things about record labels and got them a lot of shit talked about. Thanks for being around to be gifted a sub. Gonna remove logs until that gets green. There we go. And then trade. <laughs> Right. So everybody should have a bedroom by now. Except for the babies, which is fine. Hoive. All right, chat. So everybody here, um, a little it's a little con descending, yes. Right? That's why I said I need to unpack that one for a minute. Um, so chat room, I what need you- What is a pirate's favorite letter? A message from His Royal Majesty, a rite of safe passage. Oy vey. Um, I, I need a big round of beers for everybody's gener generosity in the last, like, three minutes. You guys are crazy. Thank you. For the, like, 800 millionth time. You know what's kind of funny? Somebody, like, added me at, with a timestamp in one of my VODs on YouTube recently that was just, shut the fuck up, you deserve it, when I was just, like, talking about, like, guys stop throwing money at me. It's kind of funny. It was very funny to see like five days later in hindsight. Hey Dave, what's up dude? Cajun Bard as well, thanks for lurking. They weren't wrong. I mean! <laughs> I mean, I would say that you're slightly biased because you're sitting on my sofa right now, but what do I really know? Hiking what's trip was great. What's the pirate's least favorite letter? Dear customer, we have detected downloading of copyrighted materials from your IP. <sighs> I've never actually gotten um, one of those emails. Weird DF situation. You have a stockpile with obsidian uh, mechanisms sitting in. When you go uh, to build a gear assembly, there is no obsidian mechanisms listed. The fact that you were able to make them is strange. Um... I don't know if this would affect it. Do you have it um, allowed to be used under stone use? I don't know how you'd make them with them not. You can't resub from my channel because you've recently subbed, but I have a message that says that you haven't received the email to, uh, receipt or invoice from your bank account. You have to wait. That's okay. That seems weird. That doesn't seem like Twitch. That seems like it's the payment processor or like Amazon payments or whatever that's causing the weirdo there. But um, that would be my assumption. Actually, that's not totally true once. My older sister got one of those emails once. for downloading a certain TV show where everybody dies. I realize that's very generic and doesn't actually describe a lot of TV shows, but. All right, let's let's uh, let's make more river, I think, is my project for the next 12 minutes. Because it makes things look way prettier than they already are and uh, doesn't take much effort. And also gives me, like, fun direction of where to build. And um, I'm not going to dig it straight through this person's bedroom. I, I realized that NIMBY dwarves would be funny, but, like, maybe maybe I shouldn't actually, like, channel a stream into that dwarf's bedroom. I remember a lot of people around here getting them for Game of Thrones specifically, which is the one that my older sister got it for. I love it when my dwarves birth a new baby into my fort. It's a beautiful product of their shortcomings. <laughs> I... Okay, I hate it. I, I think that 
Uh, you win? <laughs> oh, that's horrific. Um... Damn it, Clay. <laughs> exactly. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Clay, I think is the appropriate thing to say. I have a question. Are you coming up with these, or did you just Google dwarf jokes? Because either way, that is awful. <laughs> You're Googling them? Oh, that's... Mm. I don't know if that makes it worse or better. Just wow. That's all I actually have to say is wow. You need a bigger adult. Many people do. This layer needs to be allowed for us when we're in the burrow. Because this probably needs to be pushed. <laughs> Ay vey. Chat's just like devolved. What have we become? Aside from a like destroyed husk of what we used to be. Speaking of a destroyed husk, a husk of what we used to be, uh, while you guys are all paying attention, uh, I've been doing uh, secret co-working streams over on my bots account. Which is over there. Um, and uh, as of, I guess, yesterday, uh, I have a sub button over there now. Um, which means if for some stupid reason... Um, you subscribe uh, in the future when Twitch decides to accept them because Twitch takes forever to accept emotes from affiliated accounts. Um, we're getting terrible emotes. And by terrible emotes, I mean um, these are the first two that Cooler made for me. They're things that are on my desk. Or just like, you know, follow that account if you want to hear me listen to records and edit YouTube videos. Mayor Gorge. <laughs> I mean, it is rat and duck. I kind of love that the minecart runs through like the housing complex there. Um, I do need a gems stockpile, like here. You don't, Sentium? It's his bedtime in the UK? Well, you have a good night, dude. Snooze good. Time to smoke. Did I kill my, Did I kill your dwarf yet? The current living dwarves in the fort are a devilish potato, Aegis, Bastet, a bunch of rocks, uh, Clayborn, uh, Dr. Linden, uh, Earless Old Zwari, uh, FG Squared, Jerry Gord, the peasant, uh, Joe True, Lyagushka, Orange, Ruby Squeakberg, Reiklu. You're still alive. You're also doing an individual combat drill. Um, no, Orange. Uh, Salty Tempest, uh, Sterloin, uh, Stiladius, uh, Wanderkin, and Wah! It's Frank! So, yes, you are still alive. Going strong? Yep. Your individual combat drills are probably coming along all right, in fact. Uh, let's, let's check in. You're very happy, actually. Like, extraordinarily happy. I mean... 
You feel you often feel filled with joy after becoming a parent. Well, that's good. I want to acquire something. How are we doing on cloth now that I've been making cloth for a bit? I had 186 pig tail cloth. Let's just make 120 hoods. Cloth hood. 120. Three. 123 cloth hoods. Everybody gets a hood. These dwarves are going to be a bunch of dwarves in the hood. You know there's there's many oranges in the world? There's also some apples, too. I don't know, Orange. Do you watch Dr. Lupo? I kind of doubt it. Doesn't seem like your kind of person. Merchants will be leaving soon. Probably for the best. I'll be honest with you. The only time I've ever seen Dr. Lupo's content in my entire life is in the advertisements that Twitch puts him in some, t that Twitch used to put him in on Twitch. So I've never actually seen the dude's streams. I've only ever seen ads for his streams, which is like not a phenomenal way to get introduced to somebody generally. I just think this will look cool, so we're going to go all the way across here with these copper bars. No, I know he's a YouTube dude these days. I installed a mod today to alter my starting dwarves. It's called the Snow White mod. Six out of seven dwarves aren't happy. Right, okay, because one of them is grumpy, right? Mm-hmm. I get it. it. Took me longer than I should. I'm like, I've seen Snow White. I know I, I know this story. What okay. That actually would be kind of a funny mod. <laughs> This, this is my orange, and there are many like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> Grand Guild Hall. The Born Guild has many members in Waterlungs, and now requires a Grand Guild Hall. Well, one of the easiest things I can do for right away is I can rip the goddamn hinges off of this door. This one. And I can give them a extra door that has hinges. And then I guess we'll have to... Huh. You know, I think I know what I'm going to do with this guild hall. Because this needs to become a grand guild hall now, right? This needs to go from a value of 8,000 to 30,000. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build a flight of stairs going up, basically. Um, I'm going to go around the side here. Going to ramp up here. We are going to basically dig out this. And give it a huge kind of dining hall upstairs. And uh, we can give them a space in the middle here where they can look down on the fields. Which is a very like doc like um, what what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, Farmer-ish thing to do, I would think. I automate almost nothing, almost nothing. Not an automation person.
I'm going to be completely blunt with you, Goth. I don't get the reference. I probably should, I guess, but I, I don't. Still don't. Am I planning on flooding that area between the wall and glass? What, this area? Why would I flood it? Wh wh which area? Where? <laughs> Probably heard it. But I, I couldn't tell you a single Jethro Tull song. One over to the left. Um... Some more migrants have arrived. I, I, wait, wait, which room? Because no, I'm not planning on flooding anything in here, really. You're trying to right click out of everything? Oh, I definitely do that. Oh, that, that explains it. Up to 32 more dwarves. Oh! A Minotaur! Well, at least it's not a large tour. The Minotaur, Albi, Eumathastil, Rachmal, uh, Genkush has come. A giant humanoid monster with the head of a bull. He angry. Also realizing, I think this is the first time he's... Ah, smoke him if you got him years old. Um, I, I gotta be honest. I think this is actually my first time seeing a Minotaur in this tile set. Well, in that case, let the games begin. Let's see if we get to him before he gets to the arcade traps. The Minotaur Alibi, um is fighting, and uh, the Hammer Lord bashes the Minotaur in the right hand with his Iron Warhammer, bruising the muscle. Uh, the Mace Dwarf attacks uh, the critter, but he jumps away. The Mace Dwarf over here is wielding a uh, Bismuth Bronze Mace. He's trying to fight with it. Uh, pulp Gorged the Lashes of Onslaught, which, by the way, uh, is a good name, so I'm going to um, engrave it right here. Uh, related to a historical figure, uh, Pulp... Pulp Gorge, the Lashes of Onslaught. Is a Minotaur is one of the first of his kind? Okay, there you go. He's gonna, gonna go right there. Um, so I, I will I will remember this. Um, he fights and he's bleeding. Uh, he's probably getting crushing wounds. We're gonna have to kill him twice, probably. Um, the Hammer Lord bashes the Minotaur in the right hand with his Iron Warhammer, chipping the bone. The Force bends the right wrist, tearing apart the muscle and bruising and tearing apart the muscle and bruising the bone. A ligament has been torn, uh, and a ligament has been bruised, and a tendon has been bruised. Uh, the Minotaur, uh, wait, hold on a second, what happened here? The Minotaur uh, bends, so the Minotaur uh, locked the Mace Dwarf's ankles with his left arm. So basically put him into like a, a chokehold type thing. Um, and then the Minotaur... Uh, bends the Mace Dwarf's left foot with their left lower arm, uh, and a ligament has been torn and then missed twice and then releases the grip on his foot. So, put his foot in a footlock? Well, his name's pretty golden. Stone. He's grouchy, shaken, and afraid. Uh, Tun seems to be in pain and bleeding. Claiborne is doing just fine, euphoric, and uh, is beating them to death still uh, with that silver mace from earlier that we made. Um, and the minute with that, the Minotaur dies. And then I'm going to tell the military to stand here. You got two dwarves that are seriously injured. Because this thing, if it comes back, could be quite strong. All right, now we wait. Please tell me you're recovering wounded. I invited wounded. a nope. performance troop to stay at my fort made up of one human and one dwarf. 
their friends and the human as the dwarf's mentor. It's a beautiful thing. The dwarf really looks up to him. Oh, pfft. I I don't know where I was expecting that one to go, but it wasn't there. All right, you. This is the one carrying it. That joke was over shortly. But thanks for all of the bits today, Claiborne. And all the kindness from you crazies in general. And uh, let's just get this mashed. And done. All right. And engraved on this wall is an image of Rithma Lathers, Leather Noble. Lather Noble. Lather Noble. That's a, that's a name. Lather Noble. Um, the human and uh, Albili, Abili, uh, the Lashes of Onslaught, the Minotaur, by Atir. Uh, the Minotaur, the Lashes of Onslaught, is striking down the human. The artwork relates to the uh, striking down of Rithma, and the artwork relates to the killing of the human Rithma, Lather Noble, by the Minotaur, Al Albili, uh, Pulp Gorged, the Lashes of Onslaught, in Puzzle Grizzlies. In the early spring of 96, during the rampage of the Minotaur, Abili, Pulp Gorged, and is no more indeed. The Lashes of Onslaught, uh, during the Lashes of Onslaught in Puzzle Ridley's. Let's see what's actually on the surface currently. Not much at this exact moment. Although a giant puffin is fighting? Oh, we're hunting giant puffin. Well, that seems good. We, uh, chat, we hunted a giant puffin. <laughs> Does that mean that my hunter is returning kill? Yep. That's gotta be heavy. Wow. Shout out to this, 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 this mom here, Thob. Um, she's carrying a, a giant puffin's corpse and her kid. The fabulous coven has many worshippers in, in water lungs and now requires a temple complex and high priest. All right, chat. Um, I've been streaming for just under 10 hours on five hours of sleep. And that's an artifact. On five hours of sleep, and this fort's been a lot. I think I'm going to call it a little bit early today. And um, we'll pick this fort up tomorrow. And uh, if I'm more awakey tomorrow... Uh, We'll, we'll go longer, and um, I just want to just let you guys know that um, there will be a stream on Saturday this week, and there probably will be a stream on Sunday this week, too. I'm going to, I'm trying to do a little bit of the weekend streaming uh, this week, and we'll, we'll do some cut over the weekend or something, um, but uh, it's time for you guys to say goodbye to YouTube. Light Lightning Roger just started, so now's your chance. Now's your time to shine, chat. I feel like I was kind of spacey most of today, but... They was kind of awesome. You guys are great, as always. <laughs>